buck. Let's go back here. Three for fifty. All right, cool. Happy birthday to me, man! Look at this, the sixth. Please load. All right, YouTube may be back up. I can't tell you if it is or not. I'm gonna try to find out here. What was my sound? Oh, wait! I don't have. Wait, what? Get me back in here. Right, can I back out, please? It's decided to fucking croak on me. No sound. What's the game sound, man? Oh, this is crap. All right, let's just back out. Like, nope, nope, nope. I mean, again, I could do the play-by-play -play sound for you. No thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna exit the game, but this YouTube stream should be back up. Let me uh go to the chat here. It, it's a different. Because I'm sure. I'm sure Captain Picard would definitely go like ooh woo, and I can do that for you. No doubt. I'm sure, I'm sure this is exactly his uh his phrasing. Those ex Japanese yep. cheeks. <laughs> yes. Yo, what? Are, why does the sound give up like that? It's up there. Thank you, Doc. Much appreciated. Cool. All right. So I'm gonna have to refresh the chat because I got it all linked up again. Let's see if let's do the test real quick. Let's see if I have to. S T. And we'll see if it comes up or if it doesn't. It probably won't. Test. It is working. Okay. Snake, thank you. Thank you, brother. Okay, cool. Test. It is working. Okay, cool. So it's coming up there. So I just need to exit the game and go back in. So I'm going to do that. It's out for too long. I don't know why it does this. It shouldn't do that, but it does. So, all right. Let me just go here for a second. Can I leave? Can I, oh, wow. I know what to do. All right, exit game. I would love to exit game, yes. Can I exit the game? Just let me exit the fucking game. Please. All right, exit game, yes. Thank you. Now let me make sure I have sound through whatever I have. Go here. Okay. And... Yo, Cat Williams is everywhere, man. He is everywhere, son. Oh my god. He spoke he spoke uh Yo I don't have sound. I don't have sound at all. Oh, did I mute it? I don't recall doing that. Uh settings audio. Yeah, that doesn't work. Yeah, I don't have sound from my game system. What? What game is it? Midnight Castle Succubus? What the fuck is that? Alright, same answer. No. I don't have sound at all. Not with uh, my gaming setup. With some bullshit. Okay. So, do one last thing. Hit the refresh on this. Go back here. Game full. Oh my god. I didn't have this much trouble. When I refreshed the last, when I did this the last time. Oh, I think I have sound now. Let's see. My bad. Definitely because of me. Welcome back to the heavy. I, I got it. I got it. I just had to refresh. My capture card is going. I'm thinking that's it. It's just having difficulty keeping the sound going. God damn it. First off, close you restream. I get out of here. All right. Cool. Now let's try this again. It's loading up, it's loading up, it's loading up. I gotta get in the water. Yo, now. Shoji, don't don't judge uh oh, Snowboard Snowboard and, like that. And it's hentai games. I got so many. <laughs> Those are games of culture, man. No, games of culture. Games of culture in the fullest. <laughs> mm -hmm. Alright, let's see here. Back out of the studio shit. He said, "I should, I should be streaming those. <laughs> I, I know of what I can put on. <laughs> I know of what. Man, uh, you missed your chance on that when they allowed uh, artistic nudity or whatever. Oh my God, did they? Uh, did, did they let people play anti games? Uh, oh. well, there was a point where, yeah, Twitch they were saying artistic nudity is allowed, but it was really." 
it was ill-defined. Yeah. So yeah, straight up for like a few days, like on a front page, oh, yeah. people were like streaming hentai. Wow, that's so stu that's so wild. Jesus Sorry, Christ. Right. Deep Space Nine pinball. People was the hentai. Yeah, that I saw. That I saw. People with the strips on them. Yeah, I believe Twitch now they banned that now too. Yeah, they, they keep waffling between whether they're gonna do it or not. So ridiculous. Yo, look at Commander. S I mean, Captain's fuck. Captain Cisco. Well, it's obvious they're going to keep doing it because, like. That kind of racy crap brings in more viewers, but at the same time, they don't want to upset their sponsors. They're just slowly trying to figure out what they can get away with to where, you know, they get the maximum profit. All I know is that one of the things about streaming that is just, just kind of like burned me up a bit is that I've come to realize it's free labor for Amazon. It just is. We sit here streaming our hearts out. You know, it's difficult to even get partnered. It would probably be wise kids, kids that are underage are working for this company, streaming content all the time and barely getting rewarded for it. You know, it's such a, it's such a, it's such a grift. Unless you're like, you manage to hit. If you manage to hit, which is like one in a million, you know, you, 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 you can become someone and, and, and make a good living. But it's so congested now that it's difficult to do that. Super difficult. So for me, it's like, man, if, if I'm gonna do this, I need to come up with a gimmick of some kind. Fuck, man, fuck! Ball save, good shit. Well, I'll tell you one thing. Um,. One of my old friends, he actually came onto my stream not too long ago, and he was like, yeah, I mean, as much as it is like one in a million, and you need some luck to really get through in Twitch, yeah. there are a lot of things that you could do to kind of start pushing in your favor. The problem is you just really got to get it started. Like, and you're going to have to pay to win. Yeah, for the most part, I mean, they just they just uh, exposed a bunch of people who are um, who are who were uh, using um, bots to inflate their numbers, and then mm -hmm. I Twitch and uh, what's that other one? Kick. They like shut all these motherfuckers down who normally have like thousands of people watching, exposed them to only having like two thousand people uh, watching when it was once said like twenty thousand. So it's 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 just. It's a it's a grift, man. It's a fucking grift. I think you have That's a better. Just weird. I, I think you have a better shot if you make content. If you actually. And your your sound's dying out again, man. If you could hear me. Well, at least the record. It has been an honor serving with you. Testing one, two, one, two, testing. How do I yep, sound? There you are. Yeah, we hear my, you. It's actually my mixer. Hold it, I had to turn it on and off. It's for my Jesus. mixer. Ah, uh, you're cutting out again. Damn it. I'm working on it, guys. Uh, we heard that uh, you're working on it. All right. I 
microphone check one two one two three testing yep all right uh so am i coming through clear or it's still garbled bezos didn't let me talk his shit huh apparently <laughs> not uh, hey, how, how do i sound testing one two sound good okay i'm not sure what component it is it's either my uh my uh I, I move my mixer close to me now so if it was overheating that might have caused it to happen i don't know at this point okay all right let's try something else testing one two microphone check one two doc says it's fine so far i can hear that yep. at least um snake says it's working the show says mixer's older than God. Cookie Mom says uh, much better. Doc says there you go. All right, cool. Want plenty of fucking trials? So let's go to Marvel. Marvel champions. Let's go to Avengers. The Avengers. These bad uh, uh, celebrity impersonators. It was an idea. Let me try clearing out the cat air. Um. <laughs> so when you I'll have to. I'll have to do my best to clear it out. You were made to be ruled. Oh, I love you, man. I'm amazing. Looks like an Earth's Mightiest Heroes type thing. YouTube seems to be working. Yo, Ed, thank you, sir. Choose your Avenger. What are you asking me to do? Let's give it like two turns per bowl. Damn! Yo, I'm the king of shooting down the middle. I forced people to kneel. It didn't turn out so well. Choose your been here with a mission, sir. Let's go, Captain. Yeah, I feel like you should be playing FIFA or something else. Oh, FIFA. <laughs> <laughs> Sports game. I don't know about that. That'd be a short stream. <laughs> well, that game, well, those games, you're supposed to get the ball in the, like oh, yeah. in, uh, oh, no in the hole. I can feel your hatred, Bruce. So about Indiana Jones next. Ooh. That actually has Harrison Ford's voice in it. Let's go, Captain. Great job, Get those flashing targets. Test my resolve. It's AC Coulson, man. I want to play him. There you go. It's my man. Yo, Phil? Woo! Let's go, Captain! That's what I'm talking about, Tweety. Get Yeah, man. You, talk, you thought you had me. You thought you had me, Gravity. Fuck you. Fuck you, Loki. <laughs> Get that middle section. Oh, it's a, it's a fucking hole. Oh. What have I to fear? I'll show you what to fear, buddy. That middle section. Come on. No! Oh, you piece of shit. Need to work as a team. Cookie Monster said, "Do I have attack on Mars? Is that a, is that a pinball game? I'll have to look it up. Maybe there's a trial." Tony, I'm bringing the party to you. Bring the party to me, motherfucker. Bring it to me. Okay, hit that middle one. <laughs> it's just gonna be deadly to fucking aim. Wow, wow, man, come on, son. We're not quitting that easily. Yeah, fuck you. Stay in the Jesus pocket. Jesus Christ, Stark went dark pretty fast. <laughs> <laughs> Got his ass. <laughs> Hand it to him. Ooh, demon in the bottle. Fuck! Need to work as a team. Demon in the bottle, son. Alright, let's switch it back. Boo. Game over. Game over. Oh, we'll try one more time. There was an idea. Damn, you reached end game already? Yeah. So Earth the three real quick. The thing I don't like about some of these newer boards is they're so small. You were made to be. Gentlemen, you're up. 
It's like an Earth I don't know, the only, p the only pinball game I was ever Jesus. able to really get into you, was the one for Virtual Boy, just because it's Virtual Boy. Man, I will say this, uh, other than Star Trek Next Generation, the pinball game I loved the fuck out of was Sonic's Pinball. That was my shit. The fuck! Those flashing holes? Get Hit them now! The battle, Avengers. Yeah, I will say, that was a pretty good game, even though it was a stopgap between uh, Sonic 2 and 3. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it certainly was. It's made by uh, an American studio, too. Mm -hmm. I don't know why it like, looks so different. What have I to so, fun fact about that one, I'm not sure if you know or not. Fuck! Um, the different regions... <laughs> the different region releases for Sonic Spinball, they use different theme music. Oh, did they because know? Nintendo of America... This didn't know that they lost the license to use uh, the Sonic theme from Dreams. Oh, wow. That's unfortunate. You know, I told you yeah. about Sonic being playable in the Nights of the Christmas Dreams. I should have played that during the, uh, the holidays. I should have played that shit. They, I, I don't know if it was a, a feature or a hidden thing that you could play Sonic in that, but I know you could play them. Let's go. Jackpot increased. Jackpot, bitch. I am excited about the new Sega revivals that are coming. Yeah, it was a cool trailer to see, man. I was sad they didn't have a uh, Virtual Fighter in there, but according to their stock report, they are working on new Virtual Fighter. So we'll see whenever that comes out. It could be years from now. We'll see those see it. Mm -hmm. when you think about Virtual Fighter, they always kind of lead the industry of 3D fighting games. Or the the genre of 3D fighting games is some of the best fighting games, best looking fighting games. Ever made? Oh shit! That was my first death with uh. I can feel your hatred. With Natasha. Let's see if I can hold it down. Shot increased. Ooh. Let's go, Nats. Speaking of Natasha, apparently Scarlett Johansson is working on a, a new Marvel project. Kevin Feige hinted towards that. Okay, so she's in jail or some shit. All right, let me go. Let me go with Hulk. Is that Hulk? And I stopped trying to keep up with the MCU. I mean, I I watched it up until Endgame, and then after that, I was like, I just fell out the loop. And then it's like I have to do. It feels like I have to do research just to get into crap. So it's not that difficult. All you have to do is like watch a a 15 minute Mana recaps video. Like when people say that all the time, it's like, yo man, I gotta do homework. It's like, no, it's just, just watch somebody's recap video. It's 10 to 15 them, minutes, it's not that bad. <laughs> it's, it's better than watching six hours of a show. If you don't have time to watch the show, that's, I, I just, that's what I say. I mean, I keep on. Oh shit, it's Bruce. It's old Bruce. Uh, I do love the way Banner turns into a giant green No, the fight. Monster. Holy shit, I'm in the pocket, baby. Ugh. Might be the best I've ever played this today. Or uh, period. Fuck! I had to open my fucking mouth. Yeah, I'll probably not get back into the MCU until uh, the X-Men are back in. Oh, be a few years yet, but X-Men 97 comes out this year, so you like the animated series, it picks up where that left off. What, you mean the OG from, like, the 90s? Yeah, it's a continuation of the Fox animated series from the 90s, yeah. It's called X-Men 97. Oh, I didn't know that. It starts up on Disney+, Plus, and I don't know when it's going to start, but it is uh, the same look, and uh, if you want to see the conclusion of some storylines and some other ones from the comics of that era, you won't get your chance. Oh! Let's get back into battle, Avengers. Let's go, Hawkeye. Skill shot increased. Skill shot. Get over to Shield HQ to change. No Metro and Pinball, son. That was a cool game. Can't even front. It didn't I didn't get to play so as much well. as I wanted to, but it was cool. Game over. Game motherfucking over. Fuck. Metro and Pinball. What was that? That was DS, right? That was on. I want to say it was on the uh, the Game Boy Advance, or it was on the um, the Game Boy Color. I remember it was a bigger game than most. And it stuck out the back of the uh, the um, the Game Boy. I want to say that's what it was. Show will correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, I remember it was like in a kind of a transparent uh, cartridge. It had, a, I think, an extra battery in it. It vibrated. Um, I'm probably getting my fucking wires crossed. But uh, yeah, that's what it. Uh, 
that's what it was and it was a cool game on one of the game boys all right let's move on to something else let's go back to tape get the fuck up out this tape see uh doc said not doc but uh cookie mom said attack from mars let's see if they have it at least uh the trial of it probably one of the original games right so let's go Twilight Zone. Fish tails. Attack from Mars. Anything with. Oh, there it is! Boy. I hit says I'm horrible at pinball. Huh. But clearly I am as well. <laughs> Alright, so this is a trial, so it's gonna stop. Play some pinball. That's what I want to play. Or some Devil's Crush. Fucking Devil's Crush. That with all the pentagrams and shit. Shit was freaky, baby. Just remember what I said before Metroid Pinball. Uh, he says uh, Expo needs to fire up a DS emulator to play the best pinball. I see you. <laughs> well, if you play Devil's Crush again, uh, you have to you have to play it on the original on Turbo Graphics because. Oh, yeah. Virtual Console, they freaking uh, censored it. to pentagrams. Oh, they, ne they neutered the fuck out of it. But they did that, like, years ago anyway. There's a, a version of the game called uh, Something Crushed instead. Uh, and they took out any kind of devil imagery. There's some left in there, but not a lot. Woo! Awesome. Will be Eat that shit. I'm gonna put on Indiana Jones next, though. Oh, Indiana Jones. I mean, since since I'm here, should I pull out the Asian accent and be short round? No, no, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> let's let's not let's not disgrace our man, uh, my man, uh, Kihi Kihui Kwan. Yeah, your sound's out again, man. I'm gonna have I'll let you know when I get sound back on my end. <laughs> Microphone check, one, two. Microphone. Yep, there you go. Oh, I'm good? Yep. Okay, cool. But no smoothness coming out of your show. I think I might have, I might have found the problem. Am I, am I echoing? No. Okay. One of the buttons was pressed. I don't know why it was pressed, but it was. Okay, let's see if that helps to fix it. If, if, let me know if I'm too hot. If I'm coming in hot. C coming in hot! Sounds up, man. Testing, one, two, one, two, testing. Hello? Yep, there you go. 
I don't know what. Yeah, I need this. This mixer's dying. I knew this was gonna happen. I knew this was gonna be the year this mixer was going. I knew. Dude, it. you have a decent PC. Why? Why don't you just do like a software mixer? I I I I prefer an XLR. Uh, just because of all the, if I have to record multiple people in the same room, I, it it mm. works. But I've had this. This served me well. I've had this. I want to say since 2009. Um, and it is. It's been it's it's 15 years. It's a long time for a mixer. Son of a bitch, I'm gonna have to look up. Fuck. Alright, I'm just gonna have to fucking hold that. Or bring it down and I can take a look at it. Maybe it's just something loose in there. Maybe something needs to be reseated or something like that. It could be the case. Let me know if I go out again, though. Don't hesitate to let me know. Yep. That's why I'm here. <laughs> Is that the one you used to take to Megacon? Yes, it definitely was. Definitely was. Let's go, Harrison Ford. What the heck? No, the Joaquin. Oh, fuck you. Have yourself a good night, Cookie Mom. Cookie Mom, take care of yourself. Thanks for coming out, stopping by. It's always good to see you. Let me uh, raise this audio sound. No Cookie Mom for a long time. We used to all hang out in this forum called uh, System Zero or um, Perfect Zero back in the day, like in the late 90s, early 2000s. Yeah, that sounds 90s as F, at, uh, AF, so... It was, it was uh, initially uh, like a Sega, it's a Sega fan site. And it was the heyday of the Dreamcast, there was plenty to talk about. There was a lot of Saturn fans there, and we were Saturn fans, and... We went there and just talked shit. A lot of fighting game people there, too. God damn it. Yeah, it was a shame about the Saturn in the U.S. Because Saturn got all the really good arcade ports at the time. It did. But they never and came the, over. The four made cart was like the it was a godsend, but they weren't trying to hear that shit because they had, they had poorly marketed the system here. They released it uh, way way too sudden for people to even mm -hmm. go out there and get it. They fucked over a lot of third party developers. Top men. Top men. Oh shit. Top men. Yeah, that 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 was. I got what they were trying to do. Yeah. They were trying to be edgy and they are like, Oh, hey, you think this is impressive? Well, guess what? It's already in stores. And... Uh, when they did that, shout out to Jen. Because, um... KB, they were like, Nah, we ain't gonna play that. And they refused to carry the Saturn because of that. Damn. Damn. That, that's, that's rough. A lot of things were against it, but Sega... Sega fucked up too many times, man. They fucked up. They released too many systems. Um, they always expected their 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 fan base to pick up whatever system was coming out, um, or what system they had on deck. You know, they just they, they bollocked it up, man. They bollocked it up. No, the worst part about Sega, I love, like I love the Sega IPs, mm -hmm. but the problem I've always had with Sega. The Sega of Japan is so dumb. They have been they are they have been dumb every step of the way. The only reason they lasted as long was because of Sega Europe and Sega US. Yeah, Tom Galinsky was one of the main reasons why that company was really um, really popular in the 90s. He he helped to market that system well. He sold that system. He he made sure the right games came out. He was he was a cool dude, man. He came from Mattel, did his business, man, and um, then. But Japan was like very very hard headed. They had a lot of grudges against other companies. Um, they didn't like the fact that the game. The no, they had so grudges cool. with with their foreign departments. Like yeah. they looked at. They looked at Sega US and they're like, what are you doing? Yeah. Sega, they, and they're like, we're making you money. What the fuck are you talking they about? Like, they don't like how the American side of it operated. So there was rivalries inside the company. You know, all this shit was going on. But um, the guy running Sega was a total idiot. Uh, and Jap the, the, the Japanese uh, CEO was a fool. It wasn't until the dude that um, got in during the Dreamcast, that guy was pretty cool. 
but the guy during the Genesis era, that guy was. That was Bernie, right? Bernie but, with well, Ber uh, Bernie Stolar came after uh, Tom Kalinsky left, but um, right. but but in Japan, uh, there was the one guy that was running it during the 16-bit age, and then towards the Dreamcast age, it was a really cool dude. They came in there. They even used them in their um uh, in their advertising um for the Dreamcast uh, in Japan. Uh, they used the CEO of Sega at the time, but um. But yeah, in Japan they did Sega, Sega Saturn Shiro, which is a great av um, also ad campaign. That's why the, I think the Sega um, Saturn did decent in Japan, not as well as the Sega uh, sorry the Sony PlayStation. But they had a chance to team up with Sony, they turned it down because of yep. ego. They had a chance to uh, work with another company, they turned it down. Um, they thought they could do everything themselves, and they underestimated how much it was going to cost to develop a system. God damn it, dude! But uh, yeah, Shoji is absolutely right. Shoji's like, you should listen to Japan about not releasing the 32X. Yeah, that that was an absolute stupid move. Sure it was, was a, it was, if I remember correctly, it was just like gut panic because of the Jaguar. They're like, okay, well, Jaguar is a thing. Well, I, I, I don't even really know what was going on. It, it still perplex, perplexes me to this day where a lot of consoles, they keep pushing for these uh, non-standard peripherals and expecting them to catch on. Yo, shout out to Ed. He says, shout out to Hiroshi Fujioka, the actor behind the character of Segata Sanshiro. He was the original um, um, uh, common writer, right? I want to say he was. This is one of the earlier ones. All right, I'm gonna back out. Let's go to a different game. Oh my God, where is this? Hopefully my mic is not crunchy anymore. We'll see. God damn. Can I back out, please? Exit. All right, cool. Uh, hey guys, what's up? Hey, what's yo, Yazzie, what's poppin'? Uh, yeah. Happy birthday, Stall, bro. Thank you, sir. Yazzie, um, uh, 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 I'd like to introduce you to Luke. He's a uh, Milky Mommy. Here in the chat. Oh, hey. how are you doing, sir? Hey. Let's see here. Just in case. Uh, sorry, I, I should ask before I came in. So no, no, you, no, you. It's, all, it's business as usual, man. If anything, is no problem. Dollar, welcome. I saw Luke randomly show up in our in our movie yeah. movie night stream. He's probably like, <laughs> what the heck is going on? He was because uh, I, I think we were watching Bakura Banzai. Oh, were you? Oh I, shit, that's a good movie. Yeah. Oh, I, 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 I want to stop laughing every time we, we saw a big movie. I want to go so far as to say big good, but entertaining. It's is entertaining, yeah. yeah it's entertaining. It's a movie, movie fucking owns, dude. I love that movie. Hey, yo, Enron, what's popping? Yo. Good to hear you. Oh, also, I, I, happy I, Insurrection Day, so, bro. It, it, it is Insurrection Day. Happy Insurrection Day, indeed. My, on my fucking birthday. I got birthday. two words for you. Uh -huh. Oh, Brandon. <laughs> it's Let's Go, Brandon. That's... Get sorry, right. let's oh, go, I didn't even sorry. think about that. Holy crap. Oh, <laughs> Unfortunate day for your birthday. So wack. I know, right? <laughs> so yeah. wack. It's upsetting. My, well, my sister has the same birthday. My, my younger sister, she has the same birthday, too. So oh, you, we oh, agree with it on her, too. Oh, happy birthday to your sister, man. That's cool shit. Yo, man, that's what's mm -hmm. up. Yo, oh. Oh, yeah. There's a few other people who, whose birthdays just passed by. My brother, Andrew, uh, his birthday was on the 4th. Oh, al along with Eric, a.k.a. Um, Eggman. Uh, so shout outs to Eric mm -hmm. as well. Uh, happy birthday to him. Uh, my friend Paula's birthday was on the second. Um, some other people. Mm -hmm. There's like a, a bunch of them that are like early January. Uh, shout outs to fictional characters. Cammy's birthday is today as well uh, from Street Fighter. And then uh, uh, oh yeah, Jury's birthday from Street Fighter is on the first. So New Year's Day. There's another fighting game character whose birthday is on the first too. Got to go back and look. I want to say it's Yamazaki, but I could be wrong. I have a I have a cursed birthday as well. I was born on November sixth, which is election day. So. Oh, brother, I'm so sorry. That yep. sucks. <laughs> it's trash. That's gonna be the worst day ever, dude. I know. It sucks. <laughs> it's gonna suck mm -hmm. balls. This, man, this is gonna be the worst election. It's gonna be the worst election. I ever. feel like we say that about every election. Every 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 election every four years is the worst election. So. This one though, this one's gonna take the cake, man. This one's gonna be fucked. I hate to say it. As a man, Joe says he shares a birthday with a Cheeto brother. I will trade you. He does. He my, does. Cur my cursed birthday for your Cheeto birthday. <laughs> he 
does share his birthday with Pacino. <laughs> Mal says his uh, dad was born on September 11th. Oh, no way. My cousin, mm. my cousin Josie's born on September 11th, too. Yo, Mal, oh. shout out to Mal. Poor Josie. Oh, I was going to say, Dalo has the same birthday as a PlayStation and the Sega Saturn, I, I believe. Dreamcast. The, the fuck out Dreamcast. 9-11? Oh, sorry. 9 9 9 9 Yo, that's what's up. I wasn't that born the in Kane birthday. I, I wasn't born in 1999, but uh. <laughs> wait, wait. Oh Jesus Christ, we're old, my guy. Oh no way. Let's see here. I'm fine. Wait, I'm born I'm, before I'm, it, but I've yeah. been my thirties for a long time, so it's fine. Oh, As we jokes. joke with Enron, he uh he crumbles the dust every day. Yes. And puts so, back together. Enron, I can't remember if you were the big fan of Konosuba or not. I do like Konosuba, yes. Yeah, uh, uh, all, uh, all these guys are like all Konosuba. Mal's a big fan of Konosuba as well, I Luke, think. Luke is on the call with us. He's Milky Mommy. Uh, he introduced me to Konosuba when we went over to his house uh, on Christmas. Uh, was it Christmas Eve? I want to say it was yep, like, Christmas yeah. Christmas Eve. Yeah, we watched the whole first season and the uh, OVA that closes out the season. Um, he said, <laughs> Mal says, good job, Luke. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna, I was gonna say, like, I'm looking at your, uh, looking at the Discord. Yeah, you joined on the fifth today. Oh man, welcome, welcome. <laughs> yep. That's what's up. All right. Thank you. Well, we're pretty loose in the Discord, so it's like kind of whatever. It's uh, Konosuba is, is a, a, a good way to describe it to older, old, old head anime fans, I guess. Is yeah. that it's like a more, it's like a more frenetic Slayers. Yo, did it start out as a hentai, like a hentai comic or anything like that? Or I no, think no. I think the artist may have had another life as a yeah, as a dojin artist. I got the um, vibe. I, I got I get the vibe from the show. Yeah, that, that might, it might, be a it might just be a joke too because it's over the top too. So yeah, because I saw yeah, a I saw on that. I saw a bit of the episode with the uh, the Chimera the, episode. the Chimera character. I didn't see the second. Oh yeah, episode. yeah, yeah. Oh, the the Chimera character. That was um. OVA, that was a movie. Right? That, no, that was yeah, a movie. That was a movie. I showed him that movie. one scene just yeah. because it was hilarious. The very problematic movie. Oh, is it? Oh shit. Maybe right. not. You watched it, haven't didn't you? No, we uh, we only. Well, I only saw showed him the it. scene. That's yeah. it. He showed us a clip. Oh. Yeah. I'd seen that clip like beforehand though. I'd never seen the show at all. That's the first thing of that show I ever saw, and it was maybe about two years ago. Someone had put it up on Twitter or something like that, and I was like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> Yeah, so like the, the that, that particular character in the in the movie is quite problematic. Oh my god! What? But the movie it's the movie itself is awesome. It's like because Konosuba is pretty good, but if if you imagine Konosuba just with JC staff staff and like big budget effects and money, that's what the movie is. And it's just like good sound design, explosions going off left and right. It's pretty fucking crazy. <laughs> god damn. I won't spoil it, but uh, yeah, you should definitely hurry up and watch season two, and then get get the movie. Well, I heard that this one. Season I actually, that... I actually hooked him up with uh, season one, season two, and I also got him the movie and the spinoff. Oh yeah, the Mega Mean spinoff. Mm -hmm. if, I, if I was to wager a guess, I believe Show probably has it on. Uh, I didn't, I didn't mention this when I was at your house, Luke, but I have a friend. Uh, Show in the chat, Shoji. Um, he runs a server on Plex, and he has a bunch of anime on it, and I bet. I bet you anything Kona Soup is on there. I haven't looked. But um yeah, that that this is a, but if it's not, then I got you I got the ones you gave me this back up. So at least there's that. Oh no! Is it on Cartoon Roll too? Oh I'm sure it is. I'm not sure if it is. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure I think it is. Next time they make yeah. But it's 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 it's, 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 a, it's it's a wild ride. I like I in uh season well I don't know if it's a season three, but there's like a third project coming out. Um, yeah. oh, explain to me this. No, I believe they said it's season three. Is it season three? Okay. Yeah, that's, what, that's what Mal was saying in the chat. Oh, show says I because you know I've seen it and I liked it. I'd say it's on there. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, yeah I Mal says season doesn't three, like yeah. the super that's, that's seen it. So multi like on the super, you know, that's actually quite fun. So and also, what were you gonna ask, Shil Sobro? Oh uh, well, it says it's a fun show as well. What I was gonna ask is um, um, I know that there's a prequel series featuring um. Uh, the one fire uh, explosion. Yeah, that's that's, that's yep. spin off. That's, that's spin off. Spin off. That's a spin off. And then yeah. there's a legitimate season two. Yep. Okay. Yep. And, and then there's and a, some OVAs. There's a, there's a movie and then there's some OVAs, right? Yep. Yep. Okay. 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 Fair enough. Fair enough. Let's watch the release order. That'll be fine. So. I think I will. I think I'll, I'll just start continuing to to eke it in with watch it with my wife. Uh, with my wife. 
Because uh, yeah, but why if she work. normally hates comedy, mm -hmm. she hates comedy anime. Yeah, but she yeah. loved the hell of uh, Konosuba. So man, I am all I'm most people, yeah, it's a quite popular show. So people, most people are enjoying it. So it's definitely a fun one, especially with a run of isekais. Maybe it's probably the one of the more popular isekais out there. So man. they kind of lampoons the genre too. So. It definitely lampooned the fuck out of it, that's for sure. I've also tried to get uh Soulbro to get into uh my absurd uh my absurd Very cooking fun. skill. Very fun. If you guys know that uh Isekai. What's yours? What's that? Oh, oh, there's like three or four different Isekais were that involve cooking, so which one are we talking oh, about? Oh the, uh, the one that started, the one cooking online the grocery. The one with online grocery oh, skill. Oh, I don't. That one I don't even. Uh, that one I'm not familiar with. Is that, that sounds like the campfire one. Hmm? Is, inspired. is it the campfire cooking. one? Campfire cooking? No, no, it's yeah. not. Oh, campfire. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's the one. Yeah, I know that one. I know that one then. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, that was pretty fun. Yeah, that's a fun one. And then the one on Netflix started today or yesterday, uh, Dungeon Meshi, well, Delicious in Dungeon. That's the one I, I saw. I have to ask for. There you go. That was not Isekai, that's actual regular fantasy. Yeah, that's regular fantasy. There's no no Isekai involved in that. Oh, okay, fine. Yeah. You know, all this Isekai and they don't bring back El Hazard? I'm mad. I'm mad. That's. that's, that's ah, that's do we really favorite. want El Hazard back, though? Of course, man. I, uh, more Janai and more Mr. Fujisawa? Yes. It's always room for those cats, man. I love it. Mr. Fujisawa, the originator of the Kitsune eyes. I did not know that was the actual term for those with the slit eyes and everything, but apparently it's yeah. called Kitsune eyes. I did not. I only found out what the term meant last year. And then, and then, and, and, and then, when the when the Kitsune eye character opens her eyes, you know some shit's about to go down. Yeah, like Brock, so, like Brock on uh, on on Pokemon. Pokemon, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, you, said, you said you said the teacher, right, Mr. Fujisawa? That's yeah, Fujisawa. Yeah, Mr. Fujisawa. Yeah, yeah. Fujisawa, yeah. yeah, yeah. We saw that. Yeah, so that, he's like the first one I came. Yo, speaking of that True. Speaking of Pokemon, indeed. man, I'm I'm in mm -hmm. love with Pokemon Concierge, man. I fucking love that so, show. So Pokemon Concierge, the op the the theme song for that show yeah. is um is the Plastic Love singer. What's her name? Maria the Takeuchi? Is it really? Wow. Yeah, yeah, the one that sings Plastic Love, the city Yo, pop classic Plastic Love. I know it recognized the name. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, she's the one that sings the uh How old is the, she the theme songs for Concierge. She's like probably fifty something, sixty. What, man? I mean, the person plays uh the Hitoshi, I guess. Ash, 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 that's Rika Matsumoto, right? Shows as uh, his boy oh. in three by three eyes. Yes, yes. Uh, Kitsune eyes. A thousand percent. Kitsune eyes. Yes. So it's it's it's, it's fox eyes. Yeah, that's fucking cool. I had no idea that's the term. Yeah, that's that's what I, I did not know it. I, I always I always ask I always ask myself what does that what does that mean? And when someone says so, 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 somebody is Kitsune, I'm like that makes sense. I, that makes perfect never sense. to me. Because when you say anytime you see Katsune's, uh, Kitsune's uh, depicted, their eyes are like that. So I had no idea yeah, that was that was the term for that. That's fucking wild. But it, but it fits. Yeah, I need I need I, I, I want to watch that too. Like I don't really normally I don't give a shit about Pokemon. Yeah, um, it's four episodes. But, uh, it's like it's a hangout show. Yeah. It's a hangout show. It's all it is. Uh, you you meet this main character. She uh she's she's uh, getting out of a bad relationship. She uh ends up deciding to um change her life and go to the Pokemon Concierge Island to work. Uh, and she gets there and all sorts of fucking stuff happens. It's only four episodes. It's super short. You'll be through it in no time. It's like, damn, it's already over. It might as well have been a movie, to be that, honest. But um, well, it's because they did they do that someone with the silver wings or something, which is you know totally like a, like a bunch of chronologies or something uh, for different characters. Maybe they handle their Pokemon. Mm -hmm. So those like very short formats. So yeah, it's, it's actually been success for that in the past. I'll say decade. I would say. So. Yeah, I, I definitely want to see more. Uh, the the main the the black girl in the show is voiced by uh Furuzai, uh the woman who did the voice of uh Jolene Cujo. Right? Jolene, yeah. Yeah, she she. For, yep. I watched it in English, but I I saw the names in the credits, and I was like, oh Furuzai, she did <laughs> she did uh she did this girl's voice, good shit. So uh yeah yeah that's it. Uh, if anything, if I could recommend anything, I'd definitely recommend that. That's that's a fun show and a quick watch and uh. Um, I had a lot of fun with it when watching, so. So, bro, are you, what are you doing for your Single birthday tomorrow or um, today? People coming say. over to hang out. Ed is, show is, majors, uh, and, uh, the Wonder all coming over. Wonder probably bring his son. Um, and mm -hmm. we're hanging out. Wonder, the one that suffers night terrors? The one, uh, I, I don't know if it's, is is it's probably Mike, but he might bring both. But, uh, I don't uh, know, I don't know if he suffers night terrors. Maybe he does, I, I, I totally forget. 
if that's the case. Well, who is it? Who's in it? Uh, oh, wait a minute. No, that that's your nephew. Else in that's in your nephew, yeah. Yeah, I think yeah, like, my, your nephew. Oh, my watches, nephew. Like, all the, yes. Yeah, your nephew watches like all those like uh, night, uh like watches all that shit. Posters. All that <laughs> shit, man. It fucking annoys the fuck out of me. He's like, yo, young man, <laughs> please stop watching. Please stop watching Five Nights at Freddy, all that shit. Yeah, yeah, show, show right to the chat. No, you're not Terrence's nephew. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah it sounds like his nephew. because Oh, show. my God. Yeah, screaming. Waking up. Screaming. Dorian. Yo, yo, Steve, how you doing, baby? Maria Taka Takauchi is like 80, right? Because she was like, she was in her... um. I looked it up. She's 68. She's 68. Yeah, yeah. There you go. There you go. She was like in her 20s, if not like early 30s, in the 80s when that song hit big. So I, I don't imagine she was in her 20s. She's married. She's married to another huge pop star from that era, like the um, what's his name, Tats Tats Tatsuo Yamashita, or something like that. Oh, seriously? Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's um, what's his name? Hold on, Tatsuro Yamashita. Yeah, that's her. That's her husband. But you, you may not know his name, but like you'll know his songs. Like oh, his you, voice, you hear, you'll hear his voice, and you'll be like, oh yeah, I've heard this guy before. His name sounds familiar. So, bro, you shared the same birthday as uh, Yuji Hori, the creator of Dragon Quest. No way! It's like it was meant to be. He is 70 years old. Today? And still oh, shit. 70 years old today, yeah. I don't feel so bad. Trending, yeah. <laughs> I don't feel so oh, bad. Yeah, he's, still, he's still involved with all his works and everything. He's 70 years old, so... Oh, well, God bless him, man. That's what's up. He's, made, he's giving me some of the best hours of my life. Fuck! Also, we're creating one of the few oh, RPGs where religion is not the antagonist. Oh, yeah, well, that's true. Well, some people worship the dragon, uh, the dragon lord, but yeah. But, oh no, no, by saying that's no like, no like the church is not evil or something, which is usually the case in every other thing. Dragon Quest oh, is true. not. There's actually legit good people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they usually keep it real simple but, for the storyline. So far, man, uh, I feel like playing uh, Breath of Fire too. Oh yeah, man, Pretty, that fucking game is ooh, so hard. We were talking about uh, that. We were talking about that earlier, fuck! but is it really Mickey? Was it Mickey Mouse or was it just Steamboat Willie? I thought it was just Steamboat Willie. Steamboat Willie. Steamboat Willie. Steamboat Willie. Steamboat Willie. Steamboat Willie. Yeah. yeah. And so and not, sure. e not even the voice of Mickey is public domain because he didn't have a voice in that. It's basically the way he looked uh -huh. and the things he did and anything having to do with Steamboat shot. Willie they can use. But if it's like today, modern day Mickey, there's two things holding uh, going against you. Uh, number one, um, modern day Mickey is basically like they keep reinventing Mickey anyway, so they're always going to stay ahead of the curve. Mickey's also um, he's also got a trademark on him, so there's certain things you can't do with him. Um, I know that people are trying to make games and movies with this motherfucker. Come on, in it. we don't have time for this. <laughs> but it's uh, it's super crazy. I, I, a very very good video that came out about it is uh, Steve Shives, who normally talks about Star Trek. He does uh, once a year a uh, a video where he talks about everything from uh, public domain. Uh, becoming um, becoming free to the public, basically. And uh, he did one mm -hmm. right on New Year's Day, talking about it, and it was uh, very informative. Uh, one of the, one of the, Charlie Chan's, sorry, not Charlie Chan, but uh, Charlie Chaplin's last silent film is now public domain. Basically, it's most uh, things that I are know, like 95 uh, years old. But go ahead. I was gonna say, I saw Lupin had to go public domain. Like, probably like the early 2000s. That's the reason that Lupin the Third could not be uh, localized. Uh, the name localized for a long time until I saw Lupin was Lupin was public domain. I think it was like probably late 90s or very early 2000s. So. Oh wow. That's why you you got. That's why they did to change his name to Wolf. You know, for Castle Cagliostro and stuff like that. Oh. It's a little really? translation. Oh man. Yeah. Because Arsa Lupin is based off you no. Know, Actual series of books. Gentleman, see, fictional kid. Yeah, yes, I, I, and I, I, he's, he's related to the grandson of it, so, or fictional grandson, they cannot use it. So, wait a minute, how did Monkey Punch get away with using it in Japan all these years? J Japan copyright is much different than global uh, copyright. Right? So, but, but they Japan also have. Plus. Lupin goes around the world, though, when it comes to the show. Like, it's been well, no, no, on, on, on in America. How they pull that off? Well, that's the thing. After it became public domain, that's why they they, they actually localized it. They they could use the name you know, trade the name out, outside Japan. So. Oh, okay, cool. So it's, they, they it, it was the out. actual it was the actual name. That's why the Castle Cagliostro, it, it was localized the earlier versions of it, but not using the actual name. That's why they they, they called him Wolf because Lupin oh, means wolf in French. Oh, yeah, absolutely. So that's why everything else they could do. It's just the name for him and. Uh, that's why you had like a dub in the early 2000s when they changed, you know, Tony Oliver, you know, plays the character like Feed everything the else, but they called it the actual name. So. Well, I'm glad they worked that out. 
Oh yeah, the the French government was not or French uh they did not want to they, they did the restricted by like until this is public domain, you're not allowed to use Lupin anyway, because Arsene Lupin himself in the world of you know Lupin, because he's his grandfather, he did show up in one of the more recent anime as well. Right? It's a fucked up character. But... Oh, is he really? Oh shit. And bisexual too. So. Oh hey, no doubt. <laughs> Hey, he's One scene he's a bed full of women, and another scene he's a bed full of men. There you go. And he's an old man. <laughs> Is that what the French do? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yo, this game's pretty cool, man. Yo, Rogue One, baby. Where's my man Cassian, man? I don't get a Cassian. I don't get to see you again until two thousand twenty-five. I'm mad. I'm fucking since mad. Since we're dude. talking about like copyrights and public domain, from my understanding, I think I part better. in parts of the world, Lord of the Rings is now public domain now. Oh, well, that, that came out in like the 30s. But is it really in some parts of the world? Uh, Lord of the Rings is not the 30s. It is like uh, the 50s. Oh, no, it's not. It's, it's the 30s. And here's the reason why. Yeah, I believe it's yeah, earlier. Yeah, it's the 30s. Are you and the reason, about the, Lord of the Rings, the books? Uh, I want to say so. Hang on. Because I remember there, and, and, and there was a conversation yeah. in... Um, 1954. In 1954. But there was a conversation in... Um, what the fuck was it called? Uh, Falcon and the Winter Soldier. And um, Falcon was talking to, to Bucky and he was saying, are you familiar with the Lord of the Rings? He's like, motherfucker, I read it before you. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. It might have been The Hobbit he was talking about then. Give me a second. I'm pretty sure The Hobbit is what you're talking about yeah, because you The might be Hobbit right. was way before yeah, The Hobbit Lord was from 1937. So, and, Hobbit, correct, because that's when it started the whole thing. So. Mm -hmm. The, the, Hobbit, itself, rather. The, Hi the Hobbit itself got retconned into the Lord of the Rings, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. So, technically, kind of rec retconned back to 1937. Yeah, with, uh, like, a, like rather the actual direct name. So I remember when I was a kid, they used to show us that whack ass Hobbit movie for like 1975. You know, oh, yeah. You know, oh, you know uh, that's anime, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I had no idea until like two, two months ago. A Japanese animation studio did that. Uh, in the seventies, they, they, they. I heard about it in like I in like the nineties. I want to say yeah, is yeah. when I learned about that. But I remember they used to they used to fucking show us that thing. I swear to God, at least like three times a year yeah, on like I, movie I, day or whatever. I sit on cable all the time, and I would immediately change the channel because I had no interest. Yeah. <laughs> but... They would they would, like roll, they would they would they would roll out the fucking TV cart with the v, with the v, with the VCR. The, happy, yeah. the happiest day of your life in in school. Yeah, but it was like when our in our day though it was like this big ass TV on this big ass cart, and the VCR yeah. was not like the VCR you had in your house. This motherfucker was enormous, like it was as wide as the fucking cart, and it, you pushed the button to, to eject the tape, and it was like one of those top loaders, you know? Yeah, yeah. Like, no. the fucking top came open, and it was this giant metal tray that you slid this tiny oh, cassette tape into. Yeah. Fuck yeah, it was. Yeah, I mean, it was still a regular size VHS tape, but it just looked so small because the, the holder that popped up was just like enormous. I think I at my school they I... had that shit on laser disc. I remember it. Laser disc goes for me, so we both just watch when I was. Damn, y'all had laser disc players school. in, your, in your schools? I, I had one in my back school. Back in holy shit, yeah, back yeah. in two thousand elementary school, we had one. <laughs> Uh, as yeah, far from as like 1998 to 2000, we had a laser disc player. We did not have DVD players. Damn. Yeah, like but by the time I was getting into high school, we were still using VHSs, and halfway through high school, they got rid of it for DVDs. I was in that transition point where they used film strips. Oh yeah, I remember. Yeah, me too. Yeah. VHSs and very rarely the laser disc player. It could, the laser, there was only one laser disc player at the school I went to, so it was rare when we got it. But it was primarily for like maybe like a, a video about volcanoes or some shit like that. So uh, mm -hmm. yeah, it was. It was it like our construction trucks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I remember the film strip, the film strip shits. The film I, remember, strip, I definitely don't. Because uh, the, the film strip, so the film strip project, projectors, if you didn't have like one of the old school motion picture film strip projectors, like because my school had those too, where it was like two reel to reels. Like an old school movie projector. Oh yeah. Um, if you got if you got the small the small film projectors, usually we use these for like learning films, like science films, things like that, where you had to like kind of advance the film on your own. Oh yeah. Um, those the audio for those you had a cassette, and you actually had to have a cassette player, and you had to start it at the same time you started the film presentation. No way. Yeah, yeah I remember, you remember that. These? You remember like these? Oh, you know what? I, I, every once in a while. Yeah, I remember yeah. Just yes. to let you yes. know the change. Yes. Yeah. 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 I remember that. Yeah, yeah. 
Shit is crazy. I will say he had those old ass projectors in elementary school. We talk about this shit as if it was another age. <laughs> it was another age. <laughs> it was. <laughs> uh, last thing I saw laser disc, we we were showing the episode of Go Night of Science kind of laser disc. No way. <laughs> I knew laser disc players existed. Oh yeah. But I had never actually seen one until I got to college. That I was watched, the first time I ever I've first time I ever saw a laser disc player. I've only seen one full movie on laser disc and it was uh what was it? It was um I wanna say it was cocktail. I was at somebody's house and they just put that shit on. It's like, really, this is what we watching on laser disc? Can we watch Star Wars? Please? Words? <laughs> Star Wars on laser disc? Consumer actually had laser disc? Yeah, it was a friend of mine, yeah. I was gonna say, uh, uh, Bro, you didn't, a, you didn't, you went, you went down with the hippie hippie shake? Yeah, no, not at all. <laughs> Fucking, I've seen, what was that? I've was only, that? Uh, you didn't want to go to Kokomo? Kokomo, baby. <laughs> <laughs> you get there fast or you will take it slow. I, I, have, I have said, never seen that. I have never seen a Betamax player in my life. I wow! Have. I I, I learned how yep. to record on Betamax, dude. I learned. You my, had to. I had, dad, my dad was uh, a, a firm supporter of Beta Disc for like we had we had a player for like ten years, but um we didn't have a VHS until like maybe five years into that. But my the first thing I ever recorded was the Care Bears movie, uh, and uh -huh. then I started recording TV shows and all that shit. And um, when I got into Star Trek, I started taping uh, Next Gen. Um, I taped Dragon Warrior on um on Beta. And then I started transferring things to VHS once I got a VHS player. I, I begged my parents to get a VHS player because like all the good shit was on VHS. And all your friends are making fun all the friends your friends are making fun of you for having beta bags. Bro, I, I met a girl. Her name nah. was I met a really cute girl. Her name was Sherry in middle school. And okay. she had every episode of Robotech on videotape. And I had wow. not seen Robotech since nineteen eighty five. And this is when I was in uh, eighth grade middle school. And she said, I'll let you borrow all the tapes. As and then you be watched it, you'd be like, I can't believe this is this bad. How did I ever like this? It was the VHS version. Uh, sorry, it was the FHE version of Robotech. FHE, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was like fucking condensed and cut uh, cut up and all that shit. And um, yeah. we, I, 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 meant it, I taped everything. I'm not cross, so high ironic. What I did is I taped everything from the VHS onto the beta tape. I had like a, a specific tape for beta that I would take, it'd be, it'd be my transfer tape. I'd have to record it onto beta and then record it again onto VHS. Mm -hmm. And so that's how, what I did. So there was always like de degradation, but that's when I learned yeah. the importance of uh, taping shit in SP. SP is like yep. your best friend. Uh, yeah. It's the best quality yes. basically. And, and so I learned that, that, but of course, SP will fill up a tape fast. Like you, if you tape an SP, that's two hours basically for a tape. Spend itself. a lot of money on tapes. Yep. You sure are. But I used to buy tapes like a motherfucker, man. I, used I to did have too. So many fucking tapes, man. Audio well, that's tapes. That's why VHS was the was the winner because it was cheaper compared to Betamax. Betamax was the superior format, but yeah, it was. VHS was cheap as balls. You know what pissed me off about Beta though is if you pause the video, you couldn't see the video pause. It would go blank. The screen would go blank every time. Well, the other thing too on VHS is that uh, it was a longer format. You could mm -hmm. record longer things. So it was like, I think the average uh, uh, VHS tape was like three hours. So you had enough time to like to cover like the average uh, film at the time, which was like at maximum probably like two and a half hours, and that was very rare. Right. Well, again, it was a cheaper format, so consumers were going to go for it. That and the licensing for it was a lot cheaper too compared to Sony because Sony they always love to charge up the nose for licensing. Yeah. Yep. And funny enough. The porn industry was a big reason why VHS took off oh, because they were going to pay Sony that shit. Exactly. They made that joke at Tropic Thunder about the Blu ray. Oh, yeah, that shit was fucking brilliant. Oh, I'm sitting there when I saw that in the theaters. When I saw that in the theaters, I was bugging because I knew everything he was saying. And I, I think I was right next to the show and he knew everything that motherfucker was saying. We was like, it's like, yo, finally, finally a motherfucker that's on the same same wavelength as us. We, we lived it. The only one that, that has right the whole movie. Oh, no. I've, I've seen only one, exactly one movie in. Uh, what is it like uh D hd B uh, dvd mm -hmm. only one movie and that was the uh, the transformers movie oh what oh wow one. man that was well, the only one never, i i don't even know what i've never seen the hd dvd movie i i, I don't think i don't even can't remember the, the one time i've seen on sale for anything i remember when best buy used to have hd dvds and like i swear to god they only stocked them for like a year no man i still remember divix fucking stupid. oh yeah i remember divix divix players i remember divix players fucking whack Ooh, multi-ball, let's go! 
And then I remember when the DivX format, you know, the DivX container came out, and that was a thing on, on PC. I was like, is this like the player? Like the DivX player that was around in the late 90s? Is that the, is this the same DivX? That shit was awful, man. My, my, um, Circuit City was a big proponent of it. Yeah, they were. Yeah, I remember they used to sell them shits. I was like, so you mean a DVD, a DVD I can only play once or twice? Go, go fuck yourself. <laughs> yeah, no shit. Oh, I remember that. Yeah, these studios. And I wonder why they did, never caught on. Yeah, but you know, Divix became like the the primary compression. Well, for, like, to be fair, they were cheaper. That's time. why it was sort. Oh yeah. yeah. They were trying to compete against like Blockbuster, oh, yeah. which was relevant at the time. True. What's a Blockbuster? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I mean, oh god. I just love it. I sit down. Off. I watch. I watch this training video for Blockbuster every so often because just to unwind at night before I go to sleep, I'll put this stupid mm -hmm. training video on. It's oh, this god. uh. It's this parody of Siskel the Neighbor. It's so it's so <laughs> dumb, but I fucking love it. It's just. It's, it's the, I'm telling you right now, the best training videos are Wendy's training videos yes. from like the late '80s, the, early '90s. The, the grill skill. Oh, oh. The grill skill. Fucking hot coffee. The hot coffee the, one. Yes, yes. So, and the grill skills. Oh, I and, think I see that one. And the yeah. one with the fucking um, the one with the goddamn um, the chili dude. The the, the dude Come serving up the chili. It. That shit is yeah. so wild. And the guy's rapping. Yo, it's still yeah. terrible. It's yeah, that was that was that was the hot drinks one oh, where the uh, where he was rapping. Yes. Oh my god. The best one is when he's teaching the dude how to grill on the um how how to how to grill burgers and he's rapping the whole time. I was like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> they really put they really put in some work for this shit. Oh my god. And Dave's in it? It's so it's so ridiculous. Show says I remember Dave the one rapping too. Buying... Show says I almost remember buying uh, Akira on Laserdisc, even oh. though I didn't have a player. I would. I, would, I, actually, I actually own several Laserdiscs. Like I, I own several Macross Seven Laserdiscs and Macross Plus on Laserdisc. I just don't have a player for them. <laughs> I wouldn't mind owning. The ideal some way to watch uh, the ideal way to watch the original Laserdisc like, like, is the Laserdisc version. You do not want the DVD version, which is just, which is a stupid cropped up, Dude, I... uh, old and new animation. Well, yeah. So the best part about the Laserdisc, though, like the the cool thing about Laserdiscs is that they're they're basically. Fuck. Like L, they're like LPs. Okay. Um, it's it's the whole it's the whole cool. You know, you 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 own this big, this big nice album jacket with nice art on it. Absolutely. Um, they usually came with a bunch of inserts, mm -hmm. um, which are like which are usually miniature posters, or mm -hmm. in the case of like Macross, my the Macross Plus laser disc, they they came with like a bunch of line art on Man, the inserts. You reminded me, I had a chance to buy. Do you remember love? On uh on uh laser just from Florida Railroad Trading, and I slept on it. I just didn't see the sense in it when there was some, mm -hmm. the, some DVDs I wanted to buy, uh like or about the and this shit. But they had it there for fifty bucks. I kind of wish I did get it just to just to see. Oh, you can it. you can find it on Laserdisc. Like there will be some people on Dude, on eBay. Subtitles, oh, yeah. There'll be some people on eBay that will try to scalp stuff like that. You know, and be like, oh, Laserdisc of DYRL for like one hundred and fifty dollars. And then you go to some random ass, like you look on Discogs or whatever, and somebody with some random ass record store in like Shibuya or some shit will have one for like 25 bucks. No doubt. Oh, fuck. Uh, you yeah. You like, did you can, can. It's like a gold mine for things. You can find shit. You can, you can find shit. Laser just cheap. Like those, those Macross Plus laser just that I bought. I bought those from the, um, from the first time somebody tried opening a Japanese bookstore here in Metro Atlanta. Man. Um, it was down the street from my, it was like 2008 or 9. Mm -hmm. And it was down the street from my office, and I wandered in there one day, and I was like, "Yeah, that's what I figured. It was a, it's a bunch of bunch of uh, manga tankabons, a bunch of um, bootleg VHS tapes for rent, and then oh, what is this over here? Laser discs, <laughs> and they had all the Macross Plus laser discs, and they were like nine dollars a piece. So I I motherfucking bought all of those motherfuckers, um, and they've been sitting in my closet for like four for ever since, so like fifteen years, man, Yo, with no player." Going to what uh, Show had mentioned about Akira on Laserdisc, I know that um, the Wonder has a shrine at his home for all the versions of Akira he owns. Like he has an Akira shrine. I, I think he may have the manga as well, but I don't know if he has the Laserdisc. The manga is available easily, so yeah, yeah, was, like a three omnibus set, I think it was. Oh, absolutely. It's a phone book. And then there, were, then there was the uh, the graphic novel format that came out here. I forget who was who published it. In... I forgot this is the Dark Horse. Possibly um, the Dark Horse might be. I'm, I'm not 100 percent sure. What is this Marvel book of it too? Not Marvel wasn't. It might be Marvel. Who knows? I have to take a look. Kira graphic novels. Because I, I, because I, I bought, I bought, 
I bought several oh, of them. Wait, wait, audiobook. That's it. Well, this is this is back. This is the first time it came to America. This is like back in the late '80s. Mm -hmm. um, I bought several of them as a kid. Uh, Griffin Novel Publish. I can't remember if it was Marvel or not. To Jurassic Park. Yeah, yeah, Epic Comics, which is an imprint of Marvel. Mm. 1988. Mm. Yo, good shit. Ah, back then, okay. Land the ball in the nest. Because it, it was all in color, too. Um, all color? The whole book? I think so. Damn, that's fucking I might, awesome. I might be misremembering, but I'm pretty sure the first graphic novels we got were in color. Yeah, they were in color. I'm looking at them right now. They were all in color. That's what's up. I, have the, I need to start collecting that. I've never read. I, I think the movie's just the first volume, and it goes even further from there. Uh, no, I think the movie takes place in the middle of all of I it. Can't, I it. I can't remember. I have to go. I have to take a look. I've never I, read the manga, manga, so I would not know. know. Like, yeah, I believe the movie takes place like in like at the halfway point of the manga. Hmm. Oh fuck! That's kind of odd. But... Because I believe, if I remember correct. The beginning of it was they went more into depth about the the children in the facility, in the and then they and then they had the the movie, and then they had the society after the event. Nice. I think I have a couple of episodes of Eighth Mobile Suit Team on Laserdisc too. I know I've got at least what? one Laserdisc. Oh my god! I know you have a poster. That yeah, you remember the poster? From, yeah. From like double O eighty three. Yeah. Oh no no that one no no I, I have I have an eighth mobile suit team poster that got out of that laser just as well but I think it, I just have one volume of that though. Is Miller's okay. report on Blu-ray or is that a videotape exclusive? It's 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 on Blu-ray right now. Gotcha. No, not Blu-ray. Sorry, it's, it's, it's on, it's on laser disc. Oh, yeah. Oh I don't know. I bet I it, it's, it's got to be on. It has to be on laser disc. Oh, I hope so. They've never. I know it came they... with a DVD. I know it came with a DVD Fuck. and a Blu-ray release. So, man, I, I miss having face. anime posters. I used to get them cheap from Oriental Trading when I visited Orlando. Yeah, man. I, I spent place. many, many, many years looking for the Haruhi Suzumiya poster that I had. To find. Oh my god! I remember when Nick was huge in the Haruhi Suzumiya too. Like that was that was a whole phase. That and Lucky Star. And they both celebrated the 20th anniversary, right? I think together. No, no, oh, they're, they're not. They're not that old. I, not, there, no, there was some celebration about them. Um, no, Haruhi Suzumiya no, is 20 years old from the uh, novel. From, from the, the novel, right? Yeah. And, I know yeah. The, that and Lucky Star are celebrating their anniversaries together. Well, like, Lucky Star, is, Lucky Star was 2007. So. Gotcha. It's still like almost 17 years, so it's still been quite some time. And yes, Blue, uh, Miller's Report does almost exist on uh, Laserdisc. Nice, nice. Yeah, we're, we're just too used to see it bundled over here with the, with the, with the TV, oh, no. with the, 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 the OVA, it's not, it's not yeah. a TV show, so. Mm. It's a 13 episode OVA. I think, uh, like, correct me if I don't own 8th MS Team on, uh, in any format, and I need to get on that someday. It's on. It's on Blu-ray. You can like, you can buy the Blu-ray set for cheap. I still got my DVDs, baby. The Blu-ray come. The, <laughs> the Blu-ray version comes come with a sh with a 3D uh, short. It's so, like Fuck. the 3D battle short. You know that was like came out like get it go. Uh, it's extra. Yeah, yeah, it came out. It came out with the it came out with the Japanese Blu-ray set as an as an extra. It was like Battle in Three Dimensions is the name of the. It's the it's like a five minute OVA where they fight a goof flight type. Yeah, it's like right before they go to the final battle at the end. Yeah, so like story. Yeah. I think it's r r briefly mentioned in Build Fighters randomly by. Uh, by oh really? Fellini. Yeah, just it, just in passing. It's like, did you see the new the, the new double uh, O A? Did you see the new like uh, FMS Team OVA? It's amazing. He said. <laughs> I think it's in the think it's in the party scene. So I feel bad because uh, we've kind of been ignoring the YouTube chat for uh, oh, shit. Soul Bro here. Oh, my bad. Uh, Snake. Speaking of Dino yeah. there's a Dino Crisis, which is uh, like the Resident Evil, me Resident Evil meets Jurassic Park. Yeah, definitely true. My friend has a laser disc player with the Matrix and First Contact. Dur uh, Steve Durian uh, over in the chat says uh, Durian Music. Um, man, he's got fucking the. Oh, he's got First Contact though. I'm more interested in that than the Matrix. Our scene gets around, <laughs> yo, Ed. Yeah, I mean, I know people who collect laser discs just for the jacket artwork, and they frame them like some people do album covers. Mm -hmm. And I, there's one guy I know that he goes and collects uh, laser disc, Japanese laser discs of all the sci-fi and horror films that he likes. Oh yeah. 
uh, mm -hmm. because their because their artwork is different, of course, and like the you know you, the titles will be different, obviously. Of and course. he's got those framed up around his house, um, and those are pretty cool. And I thought I, I was going to do the same thing with like eighty sci fi anime, so I thought like, well, maybe I'll like you know go find like a Megazone and Laserdisc, you know, oh, yeah, man. Um, some Bub Bubblegum you, Crisis, Bubblegum Crisis, you know, and put and just have those framed up in my uh, my living room over in my vinyl corner. But uh, I've never actually gotten around to doing that. Oh, man. <laughs> I mean, I've got all those. I have all those Macross sevens. I've got uh, you know the, the Macross plus ones, and I've got Eighth Mobile Suit Team, and I think one or two other Gundam, Gundam things on Laserdisc. Mm -hmm. But like, I have frames for them, but the frames are just in a pile in my closet, and <laughs> the Laserdiscs are just like in a in one of my uh, cubbies where my albums are. So, eh. Man. I'll get around to it one of these days. But thanks to you, I have it. Uh, the Cowboy Bebop album uh, on uh, on vinyl. Ooh. I yeah. So, so bro. Get Get your rec get your checkbook out because just I, I just got it in in the mail last week. What's that? They just released a 11 LP box set of every single piece of Cowboy Bebop music. Oh shit! 11? It's How 11 LPs. It's also 275 dollars. Oh I wow! It, I, I, thought it, I thought it came out to being 300 for you. Well, yeah. What with, with shipping and tax and everything, it was, it was like 300 bucks. But that, uh, that's still that's still 300 in my mind. That's yeah. crazy, man. You know, it's funny. But yeah, it's. Today turned out to be. I, I bought I bought my um, my arcade cabinet. Um, I I got the uh the arcade one up, uh, what's it a uh, cocktail cabinet for uh the Marvel series, uh, the Marvel Art, uh, versus mm -hmm. series, and it normally it sells for 700, but uh, what was it? Uh, it was being sold on um, on Amazon for three, so I picked it up, and uh, show had put it together. Uh, when he was over here, uh, after I got it, I'd gotten that. Like, he's still, still building your shit. He's, he's still building. Hey, man. And now you're <laughs> he's, he's good at that shit, man. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let him rock. <laughs> I'm gonna let him rock. But uh, yeah, so, he, put, he put it together. But, but you move up. Uh, you you move you you move Gunpla build fighters. You put build fighters. Build. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. So you got this cabinet for three hundred. You got this cabinet for three hundred bucks. Mm -hmm. Got that? Um, yeah, for three hundred bucks. Show is this the build fighter? <laughs> yeah, I got it, and um, yeah, it was um, I, I was I was I was glad to get it. Well, I wish it had Wi-Fi built in, but I really don't have to play it online. I can I can mess around with um, what's it called um, training mode? No, what's the program called? Uh, Fightcade. I can uh, use that to play online, but it's pretty cool to have it at least. Uh, the sticks though are not Sanwa, I, so I gotta I, get this says, I build it. He breaks it. He breaks it. You bet. <laughs> what are the? Uh, what's the hardware in it? Um, it's just like, I don't know what the brand buttons are in it, but the the buttons are like, they're not nearly as good. They're concave buttons, first off. So you could chafe your fucking fingers, which I was to always do on the Saturn pad because those buttons are yeah, concave. Yeah. Um, and then the sticks were normal, were regular uh, bat sticks. But I was able to unscrew the bats off and put on the um, put on top of them instead the um, the ball tops because I, I, ball ball top, yeah. I can I can wine glass the stick. But fuck, she went right into the garbage. You can, I mean, buttons are cheap. Mm -hmm. so you can you can just buy whatever. Oh, I already got them. I just. I oh, can't. Okay. I can't get the. Uh, for some reason, the contacts that hold onto the buttons are on there so fucking tight that I'm afraid I'm gonna break them or, or fuck up the connections. So I know. Um, I know that um, the Wonder's very good at that, and he, he loves the. He loves the replacing buttons and shit, in arcade sticks. So when he comes over tomorrow, we're gonna. We'll, we'll all probably you all work just on have to have a pair of pliers. No one actually good. likes doing that. I remember I replaced it on my arcade cabinet. I was like, "F this! I ain't doing this ever. <laughs> F again." It was, yeah, it's. You need you need a pair of pliers, but like you need just to uh, just pull straight back on them and don't wiggle because if you, if you if you try to wiggle them, that's where you start bending the contact and that's oh, where it breaks. Gotcha. And, uh, but if you pull straight, if you pull just straight ass back on that thing, um, you know if it's in there too tight, I could see getting scared. Yeah. But like I always I always replaced. The, I was never satisfied with buttons that came on my joysticks. Yeah, man. Like just all those years we played Extreme Versus, like dude, I replaced the buttons on my joysticks like eight thousand times. Which I had done um, too, because I was able to do it on on both um. On, uh, primarily the TE stick that I had because it was easier on there. They made it so that you could replace them. And, yeah, uh, so mm -hmm. on my Razor, I had problems on my Razor stick, uh, which is the latest one that I bought that are used. The button, the Razor buttons did not want to, the contacts did not want to come off those buttons very easily. But, you know, just 
after just pulling straight back on those things, you know, it had, you kind of have to be careful and go slow, and then you have to, you know, once you feel it give, you know, you know that you can pull a little more force on it. Yeah. You just, got, have to be, you just have to be, like, super careful when you're doing it. I got one off, and then uh, the second one just would not give me any inch. And so I was like, fuck this, I'll, I'll, I'll hold off until uh, I can work with other people to get this off. But yeah, it's, yeah. Uh, it's terrible. <laughs> Thank you, show, for that nugget of if gold. You... Wow. <laughs> uh, if you want to go o full OG for your uh, fighting game uh, experience, you need to find a way to to get that Wu-Tang uh, PlayStation 1 controller and like, weld that onto your arcade cabinet. <laughs> you gotta, that's how you go OG on the fighting game. <laughs> That, that shitty Wu Tang controller, I don't know what psychotic moron <laughs> tries to sell that shit. I don't know what were they thinking. This is Josh. Yeah, my man Quint, ready to get eaten. Wow, that shit went Did right it, into this ring. Didn't Robert? Didn't someone from like uh, Robert from Jaws say? I think they said the way they're gonna show up uh, in another shark movie, apparently. Really? Oh wow. It well, Robert, it's not, it's not Rob. It. It's not Rob Scheider. It's Roy Scheider because he's dead. Yeah, Roy Scheider. Yeah. No, Robert. I know Robert it, Shaw played. It was uh, probably a. Uh, oh, you have a Richard uh, Dreyfus. Dreyfus. Yeah, Dreyfus. Yeah, R Richard Dreyfus. He's actually he's showing up in another Shark King movie. How about he died? Because as long as not as stupid alive. as uh, Jaws I just, Revenge. I just read the story. So. Yeah, he's still alive. I keep trying to. I keep trying to kill these people who are still alive. <laughs> what? <laughs> Maybe I should go alone. Get a fight I do this all the time. We we, we talk on you know other the other stream. It's, it's always like, is that guy dead? Didn't he pass away? It's like, oh, he's not dead. Fuck. <laughs> They're still kicking. The Mandela what? effect. Yeah, the Mandela effect. Yeah. Oh, let's go. Fuck you. Trying to fuck this shit is like, shoot your shit right down the drain. There you go. Kiss my ass. I don't know, man. Can, can anything get as be dumb as Jaws Revenge? So we're a shark trying to get revenge for his family, which is was that part four? Dumbest. I think it was the third. Movie. Is it Michael Caine in it? Oh, right? oh yeah, it was part four. Yeah, it's Michael yeah, Caine was in that four, one, right? Yeah. yeah. Michael Caine did that for his beach house. <laughs> yeah. I, I've only seen the first two. I haven't bothered with any. Yeah, any, I've, any, all, any I've, I've only seen the first oh, one. Yeah. That's it. I somehow don't think you're seeing the same, right? Not missing you. Not watching the second one. Oh, Jaws. Yeah, yeah. Jaws Revenge is the fourth one. It's the dumbest one. Out of it, was, it was the last one. Too, yeah, so. Spielberg didn't direct it. I ain't watching it. <laughs> I learned that lesson the hard way with uh, with with some of the Jurassic Park movies. It's like, yeah, yeah. This, yeah. Well, they so came dumb. out with Jaws 18, featuring Matt Spielberg. Oh, you watch it. What was the, what was the one in uh in Back to the Future? I think it was Jaws uh, 18. Jaws, oh, Jaws, the, it was in like 4D or some bullshit. Now, which one was the one that had Mario Van, Van Peebles in it? Is, oh, is that, was it the fourth one? It's either that or three. Fucking awful. Goddamn Sunny Spoon. Oh, yeah, man. My man Sunny Spoon? Yo, let's go. I love that fucking theme song, though. That shit was great. Oh, yeah. That was only good about it, but yeah, theme song oh, was great. Oh, God. I forget who. I'll, I'll never forget. I'll never forget Marvin Bad People and his father, uh, Melvin Bad People, for making one of the shittiest movies I've ever seen in my, all my life, which is Sweetback's Badass Song. Right, Fuck that movie. It, it was revolutionary for its time, but it, it, it could be a little I bit I have never fallen asleep past my life. <laughs> <laughs> and yes. uh, and a, a seven-year-old boy having sex with a grown woman. Really? That's what happened? Oh, no. That, uh, that, the, that the kid was Marvin Bad People as a kid. Hey, yo, my God. What the fuck was? Oh yeah. <laughs> what was it called? Oh, sweet, 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 sweet backs. backs, badass song. Oh fuck! It's a black exploitation movie from 2003. It's a horrible movie. Oh god. Well, I gotta head out. I got a kid who wakes up pretty early, so oh. I catch you later, uh, Soul Bro. All right, Luke, man, take it easy. Thanks for coming out, man, and make sure to check out his channel, Have a good The one, Milky man. Mommy, over on Twitch. And uh, thank mm -hmm. you so. Uh, if anything, Luke, I'll, we'll catch you later on this week. Yep. Catch you later. Take it easy, man. Peace. Peace out. Let's see here. Hey, Adam West was in that movie. David Allen Greer. Really? John Singleton. Wait, which one? Badass. Oh, Adam Sweet. West was in that? Yeah, that's badass. David Allen Greer was in that? Single player. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. Player? So, the badass that I'm looking at, the, the badass that I'm looking at is a movie about... Okay. The hey, film hey, and distribution of movie. Sweet Sweetback's badass there you song. Go. There you go. That's what it is. But I mean, it's still it's 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 yeah. it was still Mario Van Peebles. So. 
He wrote and directed. Yeah, I'm thinking about the original movie, the like, from Melvin Van Peebles that Mario was in as a kid. Ah. Uh, yeah, 1971. Uh, oh, show says uh, Jaws three is great. Lou Gossett Jr. and Dennis Quaid are in three. Takes place in SeaWorld. I remember that. I remember that from the trailer. It says you got to get a pack of cigarettes and smoke them into the arcade machine to get that Rockets replay feel. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Rocky's Replay, for those that don't know, was the arcade that was around these parts back in the day. Um, arcades are coming back, though. Surprisingly enough, there's um, Arcade Monsters. We have two, lo sorry, three locations, I believe, here in Florida. Maybe four? Um, arcade Monsters just opened up a new uh, mega arcade over on International Drive, which is like the big tourist trap here in Orlando. So, um, but mm -hmm. it, you can go watch videos of what it looks like on the inside. They got, um, they got the latest maxi boost. Uh, sorry, uh, what's it? Full, what's the latest one? Um, for Gundam maxi, maxi boost, boost on two reverse. Yeah, they got it. They, ha boost. they have that boost cross boost, boost, whatever. Cross. I don't know. Did they have that game? Uh, X boost. Yeah, there you go. They go, Mal. They have, they have that here and local. It's, it's kind of wild. Um, they also Damn. have that one, um, shooter game. I forget what it's called though. Um, has a bunch of like fancy anime characters in it, oh, anime looking characters. But yeah, Gundam is that I drive. Sure is. When he finish, when he begins. So crazy, man. The original Star Wars. Do we have Poltergeist on here? Poltergeist? Oh, you know, I hope that I hope they do. That would be a fucking great pinball game. You know what? Make a fucking great pinball game. They never made it. The price is fucking right. Why has because no one made that too, shit? Because it's too expensive. Yeah, maybe the license is too expensive. I don't know. But if they can get Star Wars, I, I can't imagine that being less uh, uh, less expensive than the price is right. But um, Free, Free Mantle needs to get to it. Do they have the Journey the Journey pinball game in here? Oh, I would love to play that. Uh, the, the music alone would probably be. Yeah, 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 yeah. That, that uh, uh, what's that space, you remember? That spaceship pinball oh. game from 1994? Oh, oh, which, what game from 94? A pinball game does in uh, 95 or something, or the, the spaceship one. I forgot what it's called. That old. And I, vague, game. I vaguely know what you're talking about. But, um, Enron, you're. That's the only game I ever played on PC. I was about, I was about to ask you, do you, do you remember playing the uh, the Journey? Oh, yes. The big ass Journey Cab? Yes, that shit was fucking. Yeah. They, had, they had a fucking video game, didn't they? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Like oh, yeah, the big yeah. fucking cab. Like it was a huge fucking cab that had like uh, the, the one I'm thinking of. Yeah. They had they had one at the Aladdin's castle in fucking in fucking um Dallas. Or, was it Dallas? It was actually in well, Dallas. All I remember is it, super. It may not have been in Dallas. Anyways, it was a giant cab and yeah. like it had it was one of the ones that had like the big screen overhead screen where everybody yes. could gather around and watch you oh, play it's, it. It's so wild, man. I remember yeah. Steve, Steve Perry's big fucking head. You played like yep. super deformed versions. Oh, oh, with, that, with, that, with that fucking piano that was like floating around yes. in the air or some shit, yes. yeah. <laughs> Holy shit! Shit was insane. So they spent more money on that game than they did that one music video of theirs? And probably. <laughs> the main games yeah, like that back in the day, I was, there, there was several band related games. That was one. Aerosmith had uh, Area 51 or some shit. Uh, I remember. I remember the Aerosmith game. Yeah. It was uh, like it was like uh, had to do with the aliens. Michael Jackson game. Oh yeah, Moonwalker. Moonwalker, yep. Yeah. I never, he had to sue Space I never, I never played it though because it looked lame as shit. Well, not someone I, else else. I did play Moonwalker to Genesis until the Genesis version, but I did see it in the arcades at least. Oh fuck! Genesis has probably been. another bad game out there, but I can't think of it. If I like the Moonwalker it. game had some pretty cool stuff. Yeah, retrospect, I, I, I like it a lot, and I, I wish I had played it in the arcades just because it was the better looking version. Yeah, the arcade version definitely was way better. No one denies that. I just say the uh, the Genesis one, just for the sound effects, are pretty pretty oh, nostalgic. I have felt it. You almost spilled Vader. Let's go, Vader. But, come at me. Come at me. Come at me, boy. I've been uh, meaning. I've been meaning to go to the speed of arcades. I've been meaning to go to the round one here in Atlanta, but I just, I, for whatever reason, I just, I just never get around to going. Yeah, and that's that's the story of my life. <laughs> there, there was a game called Spice World. I, I, oh, I never saw yes. that. Wow, really? Ice World. Yeah, who made was it? made, and guess who made it? Place Sony Computer Entertainment. Sony. Wow. It is technically a yep. first-party game. <laughs> That's insane. Wow. Oh, come on, spell favorite. I don't. Right I, don't I don't remember the game. I remember the movie, but I don't remember the game. 
And of course, there's the Wu Tang Shaolin side where you get that controller. <laughs> oh no, I remember that game. Yeah, that game was terrible. Yeah, it was, uh, it was I didn't see it. Kill X. It's, it's a re rebuild of uh, Thrill Kill, if I recall correctly. Thrill Kill was like this this rated uh, X game or whatever that was gonna come out, uh, and it was just too too violent to release, so they dulled, they dubbed it down a little bit, and put a Wu Tang us. skin on it, and then released it. Come on. Oh, I was uh, gonna so ask. When we were talking about vinyl, I was gonna ask, did you ever buy a record player? No, I have a yeah. shitty one, but oh. uh, when I, I, it's not even worth playing. So we just got a sound system uh, in our house because we just bought a um, what's it called? Sonos. Sonos. No, we bought um, a love sack couch, and it uh -huh. built inside of it is this audio technology called Sound Tech, where on like the side pieces there's left and right speakers. And then the mm -hmm. subwoofers underneath the middle seat. The cool thing about the um, the love sack is you could put it together. Uh, it's a sectional thing where you could put together whatever way you want. So um, we put the we have this long side of the couch. It's kind of like an L, um, but the long uh, on the the part of the couch is this backs against the wall. Uh, the middle seat is um, or one of the middle seats is the subwoofer. So if yeah. you sit on it and you turn it all the way up, it's like a four DX uh, seat. But um, yeah. But yeah, um, b because we have the sound system now, we could connect other things to it besides, you know, video game systems and whatnot. And I want to mm -hmm. get a, a good record player, like an Audio Technica or a Techniques mm -hmm. uh, record player. And I found one on um, on Amazon for almost 300 So we're going to wait for it to come down a little bit and then I'll look into it. But uh, oh shit, show rights. I did. Yeah. The Cloak and Blasters closed down at the end of the month. I didn't know that. That sucks. Man. <laughs> he built your he built your love sack. <laughs> nah, I, yeah, show sure helped me fucking build that. Show. Well, we built it initially, but we didn't put the sound connections in, so we had to take the motherfucker apart almost fully, put into pieces, and it was like the most frustrating goddamn experience. But oh, I'll bet between the two of us, we got it done. But show was kind of like the architect on putting the cords in place and all that stuff. Yeah. But so we, just word of caution about your your record player, it's probably not gonna come down in price. You're yeah, probably not. Yeah. It, it, all of the all of the good entry level um, turntables mm -hmm. generally are going to cost you around one ninety nine. That's and oof. the really good Audio Technica, the one that everybody gets that has Bluetooth, oh, is the LP is the LP one twenty BT. I think is what it, yeah. the, the model number, and that that one's like three hundred bucks. Yeah, kind of. That's the one I want. I, I definitely want one with Bluetooth built in. Yeah, mine does not have Bluetooth built in, and I kind of wish I'd gotten one with Bluetooth, but I just kind of didn't care at the time. Um, but uh, yeah, they're they're, it's, they're generally going to cost you about two fifty to three, I, I think, probably I have for no something. No doubt to that. That sucks, but it is a reality. I have to yeah. wait until we have like a three paycheck month, and it's all the wife <laughs> and they get one. It could be cheap. It could be cheap with uh, if it's old tech, but it's not. I'm gonna have to fucking buy a new mixer real soon. Fucking oh well, man. this you don't you only have to hook this one up to a mixer. Like uh, most of them have phono stages, so you can just like, oh, yeah. just hook over hook a pair of powered speakers straight up to them. Like, cause that's how I do mine. I just I have, I have a pair of powered bookshelves that I just hook them straight into, and I don't I don't so I don't need a an amp or a mixer. Or a, I, would, you know, I, would, I would plug it directly receiver. into uh, my soundbar for the mm -hmm. uh, for the, the the stealth tech um, couch oh. stuff. Um, I plug it right into the soundbar. It has a uh, an audio jack on there that I can run from the uh, the mixer into that. So, sorry, from the mm -hmm. uh, the turntable into that. It's like the only open spot left on there. Oh shit! I can believe the scene. Nice. Oh fuck! Oh. Durian Durian says he was willing to drop twelve hundred bucks on a record player. Holy Ooh. shit, my friend! That's a lot of money for a record player. Durian's Durian's uh, like he's he's a he's a he's a he's an old head man uh, when it comes to music and all that stuff, man. He's my he's about my age, but he's he's definitely an audiophile. So I don't doubt that at all. <laughs> I don't doubt that at all. Woo! I mean, he's got he's got music right. He's got music, he's got music right in his name. Yeah, so. Exactly. I wouldn't doubt he has a, a, a big collection of uh, vinyl. I would, at least at least a significant collection. I have three vinyls. I have uh, <laughs> I have Transformers, the TV show soundtrack on vinyl, which hopefully Majors will bring that vinyl tomorrow. Oh yeah, that was the uh, that was the colored vinyl, right? Yeah, there were three of them. There was Bumblebee. Yeah. There was Megatron. There was Optimus. Uh, I wanted the Megatron one, but I never actually got around to ordering I got, it. I, that's the one I own. I own the Megatron one. Show owns the Optimus one. Uh, I don't know anyone owns the Bumblebee one, but um, uh, I own that. I own the Bebop one you sent me. And then yep. uh, when Nick was here a couple days ago, 
he gave me uh, a vinyl that he meant to give me like two years ago when he visited last, but he forgot to bring it. And it's the Street Fighter Alpha um, soundtrack collection. It's like this Hadouken colored blue. Um, I've seen it. I know. I know what you're talking about. I've seen it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's pretty. It's pretty cool. And he gave that shit to me, and he's like, "Well, man, I really need to get a fucking record player now. I really would like to. Uh, I, re I just want to buy hip hop albums that I've enjoyed throughout the years. And the first one I'll probably buy is the Listening from um, Little Brother or um, uh, the Main Ingredient from Pete Rocket Seal Smooth, which is selling for not that much. I think it's selling for like forty something bucks. That's pretty cheap for that. I can get my hands on that from Discogs. Yeah. But um just uh when you start when you start buying Nuja B's albums, just oh, get prepared for get prepared for the sticker shock. Oh yeah, it's rape the raping. <laughs> the yeah. I mean, whatever, whatever they they reprint them every now and again and when they do, like all the prices come down, but as soon as that reprint is done, like everybody jacks the prices back up again. There's one album I would also like to buy just because of my mom. Um and she might actually still have hers. Um, The Sound of Music. She used to have the vinyl for that. Yeah, yeah it's a great... I, I love The Sound of Music as a, as a musical. I mean, not a big musical guy, but The Sound of Music is a good musical, and she used to put that on all the time, and it just gives me good memories of uh, her putting that on. But, yeah. It's sure, a, there's a million copies of that that were pressed. Oh, like, I'm that sure, should be... Oh, no sure trouble finding that. Dirt cheap. <laughs> it's me, right? They hit the ground near here. I want to check it out. Fucking wow. Is that loop talking? You motherfuckers let me play? Oh, here we go. Yo, I've been on this game longer than I thought it would be. Yeah, it's, it's show. It's fun going through. Uh, the show's talking about music stores. It's fun going through uh, music. We have several here in, in Atlanta near my house, and it's a good way to spend three hours of your day without thinking you're like, you, you go in there looking for one thing, and when you walk out of the store, you've bought nothing and you've wasted three hours. <laughs> hey, that's what we used to do when, when we went to Blockbuster Music, man. Blockbuster yep. Music, go in there, fucking listen to albums, buy nothing. Mm -hmm. I don't know how they made money. I don't know how the fuck they made money, dude. It's, it's wow. But I, I, every time I drive past the building where Blockbuster Music used to be, I, I fucking smile like an idiot. I miss that place, dude. Used to go there and just burn time. Ooh, go, multi ball, baby, let's go! See, this is. Uh, see, I countered that because a lot of people say they miss uh, Game Crazy, and some and some of them say I kind of miss GameStop. Oh yeah. And in my in my, in my uh, mind, it's like you don't really miss this place. You just miss the pe hanging out with people yeah, or going you, someplace. You, you miss the, the you miss the activity. You miss the activity. You miss the conversations you get into. The random people you meet. Um, listening to new music when it comes out, and um, you know, and then enjoying the album so much, you may actually buy it. You know, but not usually. Um, you know, if I was gonna buy an miss album, I usually go in there and buy it right off the rip, and, and yeah. immediately get in my car and listen to it instead of doing that. But people miss uh, community center. That's what they miss. Here you go. Show show says. Uh, How about swap meets? Record store we have is getting an expansion. Bullshit, you love that garbage. I love it. Walked out with Super Castlevania 4. Oh, shit. Well, your highness, I guess this is it. You guys ever been to a swap meet for a He said this game? shit might as well be major. Yeah. God damn Plenty it. of times. I hope I can get it back. We don't have any in our area for Frank and meet. Sons that I talk about all the time is technically a swap meet. Oh, yeah, absolutely. So I've heard. Yeah, I we don't really have those in, in Atlanta. Like I've been to a few video game stores, like retro video game stores that we used to have here in like Decatur. Um, Cause like a friend of mine who's who's big into retro video games from work, he told me about this place, and I went by there. And it kind of has a swap meet vibe when you walk into place, but that place shut down like three months after I visited. <laughs> oh man, we just we just don't have we, like Atlanta. Atlanta is like a dead zone for like stuff like that, man. Like we don't have like cool nerd stuff here. We have we have hobby stores, you know, like we have this giant ass fucking hobby 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 uh, town up the up the interstate. That's a, that's a freaking Bandai flagship store. It has like every gunplay you can possibly imagine on their shelf. Yeah, I keep hearing about gunplay stores closing down. I keep every 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 almost every other week I'm seeing like trending uh, tweets. It's like yeah, we're we're about to wrap up. Really? So like like gunplay places? Gunplay stores. Yeah, this one that I just saw. God damn. I wonder if it's because I wonder if it's just because all the big retailers are eating their lunch because like oh, Hobby sorry. Town that hobby that Hobby Town that I go to I talk about all the time on our other stream, man that thing like it does mad business like they're they they kits just fly off the shelves there man um and I know like Gundam Planet and like USA Gundam Store like the the big the big retailers online move a shitload of project in a prod project <laughs> move a shitload of product <laughs> and like Gunplus sales just go through the roof in North America, like they're the highest they've ever been. So like, 
these smaller stores that are not able to survive? Like, I wonder if it's just because the big stores are just killing them. Yeah. That's, uh... I can't leave without shit. my music. Show says, uh, in worst case... No, you don't have to give me yours, Show. You don't have to give me yours. Uh, I'll, I'll get my... I can't move my fucking controller. What? Why won't let me play? Got a charge? No, it's not, it's not even on the charge. So maybe this is, a uh, This is a, uh... A, a, a sequence or something like that. Okay, I'm back in control. Ooh. I said we were talking about musician in the video game. Let's not forget those 50 cent bulletproof games. Oh, God. Oh, man. And those don't really count. <laughs> no, I'm going to do it about the musician involved in the video game, so. That was, just, that, was just, that was just basically Call of Duty with 50 cent. Pretty much. Like, really? He's still 50 wow. cent himself in it. The, the, games, that we're talk, the games that we're talking about earlier are, are like actual like music games. Like Moonwalker was an actual music game and that Journey game was an actual music game. Yeah, I'm a yeah. Wu-Tang Shaolin style. That's not a, that's a <laughs> oh, that, that, that wasn't a music game, no. <laughs> They're trying to make that money. But yeah, yeah think about Fiddy. It's Fiddy will uh, invest in a lot just to like uh, to see if he can make money in it. And you know, he's, he's a pretty good businessman. And I'm not crazy about his music, but as a businessman, he's he's pretty solid. And I love how he shits on other people. But <laughs> <laughs> speaking of shit, I still speak... remember that. I oh god, but I was gonna say speaking of shit. Oh god, god, finish this. I'm sorry, no, go ahead. I'll 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 go after you. So. No, it's cool. No, uh, I was because uh, what I'm what I'm about to go into, we're, all, we're probably gonna be talking about it for a while. But um, go ahead and finish what you're saying. Sorry. No, I just remember that Stephen Colbert skit about 50, 50 going about fidelity reports you know, about investment and he was making a bunch of jokes because he had a piece of Jada kiss or something. Uh -huh. And then he said he talked about making a talk about all these rappers and then he said Dirty Bernanke was just Ben Bernanke with a, with a do-rag on his head. <laughs> <laughs> so wild. <laughs> Dirty Bernanke. Do-rag do -rag Ben Bernanke. <laughs> ben Bernanke like a rapper name. <laughs> that was like the punchline to that. I was like, <laughs> I was looking to the bed for Nick. I think I'm dirty for Nick. Rapping me. I'm sorry, Dennis. Thank you so much. It's so ridiculous. Ooh, let's right, go ahead. That's the only time I've been using because I think of that Stephen Colbert joke. Man, um, yeah, I don't know if anybody, uh, if, I don't know how many people here saw, um, Watched uh, Club Shay Shay this week, but there was a special guest on Shannon Sharp's podcast. For those that don't know, oh, oh, this is the Cat Williams thing. Cat Williams interview. Holy shit! He tore into some was he beat up by an eleven-year-old. Nah, man. Look, 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 let me tell you something. <laughs> Cat Williams is salt of the earth, man. He has been for years. You know, there's been embarrassing moments for him online, but he's he's recovered from them nicely. Um. But one thing he does, he, one thing he doesn't do is uh, mince words. And boy, he got on there and tore people new assholes. Steve Harvey, Cedric the Entertainer, Ricky Smiley, hmm? um, Tiffany Haddish. Uh, he tore hmm? in, boy. He went into some motherfuckers. He talked about Diddy, which is something you don't fucking do, because Diddy is a feared motherfucker for real. People scared of that well, guy. Diddy's also in a lot of trouble. Well, people, Diddy's also in trouble for a number of things. For, oh, yeah. Too, so. It's starting to unravel. So, him going on Diddy. Yeah. Cat Williams may have an unfortunate accident if he he's might. talking about Diddy. I'm, yeah. I'm really fucking scared that something's going to happen to this man. But I've been, here, I've been uh, seeing uh, that out. Go ahead. Uh, was, was, that, was that joke for 30 Rock? The Black Crusades are coming after you? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the, he straight up <laughs> said that Diddy was part of the Illuminati. And I was like, dude. Yep. He, and he was saying that um, apparently... He um he may have violated fucking uh Kevin Hart. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. I don't know if that's true or not, but he was alluding to the fact that he's 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 you know fucking um fucking getting down and dirty with some people. Um, not just his uh his wife and her lady friends, but just like just overall, he's just a he's a sexual fiend, uh, allegedly. I don't know, man. Uh, he mentioned well, some shit about um, a couple of years ago, so it's not too far off the thing. So he brought up some shit about Harvey Weinstein as well. Uh, I think well, uh, he had mentioned something about Harvey Weinstein asking um, either him or someone else that was in the room to suck his uh, his unit. And it's like, I mean, like literally, not like not like an insult or anything, but just like to actually do it, just because he had the power to to, to make someone do that shit. 
and you know, yep. fucking, uh, you know, he left. Um, you know, uh, is he on the Epstein list? The Epstein list? He might, Epstein Island, man. <laughs> uh, fucking Epstein, he, he, his ghost is going nowhere. It's going nowhere. Yo, Ed, yeah, yeah. He, he says I recommend listening to the full interview, brother. I watched all two two plus hours of that shit. So did Show. I was like, Show, Show, hit me up because I saw it trending and I saw it in my feed and it's like I always watch Shannon Sharp anyway. But it's like, let me hold off on that because I know Cat's gonna say some shit. In the last interview I saw with Cat, he fucking mm -hmm. tore into some motherfucker. So I gotta be in the mood for this. And then later on that day, Show hit me up. It's like, yo, you see all the shit that's trending, son? <laughs> <laughs> he said, yo, you gotta see this shit. It's like, fuck, he already is talking shit. So I fucking booted it up after work and listened to that shit. It's like, oh my god. <laughs> oh my With the moment, right? It was actual comedic stuff he was saying. He was saying some funny shit too, but he was saying some life yeah. shit. And he was, he was, he was serious, man. There's a, a lot of people out there that have done him dirty. Um, but the, it, after, the, after that interview, I've been seeing nothing but an outpouring for him. And a lot of comedians and just people that he knows talking about how generous he is. Um, a lot of comedians that he'll, he'll he'll be at the same venue about to go up, but he'll watch the younger comedians. And if the younger comedian rips it and gets like a standing ovation, he'll have his, one of his ladies bring the comedian money. Like he'll just, it, he won't even say he gave it to him. He'll just have one of the, or random girl come up there and put like a thousand bucks in their hand or five thousand dollars in their hand and um sometimes the guys don't even know it's cat giving it to them but um some mm -hmm. comedians have been putting it together i was like this is cat williams because um anytime he's around this shit fucking happens i get money from this guy he just fucking gives the money there's another guy i want to say it's a rapper I, I go back and i have to go back i retweeted it on my twitter but um he gave uh this one guy like fifteen thousand dollars just for the fucking sport of it it's like here you go here you go because he was talking about having money issues a uh, boosie when he got out of jail he gave him tw uh, he gave him 15 stacks as well you know he's just he's he, uh, uh, dion cole was one of the cats that was saying that he's an incredibly generous person he doesn't know how much money cat williams has, has given away to other comedians mm -hmm. and other people and just people in general and it's like man that's that's fucking cool man it, it, he, he's it's gonna be re remembered positively. He, he's a controversial figure, but at the same time, he's very truthful. So, you know, people don't like the truth. But uh, uh, you know, yeah, I was gonna say, my, I agree with uh, Dean, Dean Cole. He, he's mentioned uh, uh, Cat Williams a couple of times from, yeah. from what I've heard of interviews and stuff. Because I mean, Mal introduced me to Dean Cole, which, which who I knew from uh, the Conan. Conan show and everything. Because he's a writer on there. But yeah, I've, I've seen some of his stand-ups, which is. Which are hilarious, but Dean Cole though, talked a lot about the the the, the comedy scene and everything. Um, it's like Cowboy, is he from Chicago? Yeah, he's from Chicago as well. Yep. Yeah. That, yep, yeah, that's why, because I yeah, because it's around that. That's what Dean Cole's uh, main main uh, stick is and everything. So he brought up Cowboy a few times. Nothing but praise for him. So. Oh yeah. Shout out to Mal. He, uh, he he writes that apparently he gave Dion uh, a, a thousand. Yeah, and he had, Dion at the first mm -hmm. day, had no idea where the money came from, but about two weeks later. You know, he had talked to somebody else, and they they realized that it was Cat Williams that gave him that money, and it's just you know mm -hmm. he, just, he just rewards fucking he just gives people he just hooks people up. It's a super generous mm -hmm. dude, man. Yeah, absolutely generous. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, man. Um, it's gonna be a stand up fight, sir, or another bug hunt. Oh, these are can be angry people if you fuck with them. So and that sounds about <laughs> right. You don't gotta mm -hmm. get uh, bring out the energy somehow. So oh yeah. Just when the legend the becomes fat, print the legend. There, there you go. You print the legend. Yeah, when you do, when people don't want the truth, people want to be entertained. That's what happened with Christopher Columbus. Oh, well, true. Let's go, aliens. Aliens, brother, aliens. We just watched this movie like two weeks ago. Oh, nice. Actually, actually a month ago, probably. But so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for our next movie night, we are gonna do Black Knight and Robin Hood Men in Tights. Black Knight? Yo, that reminds me. Yeah, we me. were talking about we need to do the Insekai movie, right? Which has to be <laughs> Black, oh, Black Knight. Knight. It's, it's, it's it, Isekai. It is, it is Isekai. It is. It very much is. That <laughs> labyrinth. Oh my god. Fucking what else? Um, a never ending story. Does the last Starfighter count as Isekai? I would yes, say so. I, I would say yes. So. Yeah. Tron is, is, is too. Yeah, Tron would be also. If you leave your world to go to another world to do some damage, it's, it's, it's a 
I mean, if it's a would, futuristic would world. Ninja Turtles 3 be a guy? Yo, is that is yes. it, does that mean Star Trek 4 is a guy? Would it take that lady to the future? <laughs> probably. <laughs> I mean, Discovery's the thing, is a guy. Uh, probably. Or, they, or they, they they saved the whales or whatever the fucking bullshit they did in that movie. Yeah, they definitely saved the whales. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, good shit. Uh, that movie, is, that that someone, is, that, is that Star Trek 3? No, it's Star four, Trek 4. The boys four, home. Yeah. Oh, boys home. Classic. Uh, I saw that Which piece of shit. In the, I saw that piece of shit in the theaters. That's not. A, that's a good movie. What are you talking about? That movie. No, I'm awesome. not. Well, I, I'm not. I have to preface. Or I have to oh, qualify this with. I am not a Trekkie. Okay, there you go. There you go. I I I watched the cartoon on Nickelodeon a few times, yep. and I watched I watched some Next Generation here and there, and that's about it. Oh so, wow, yeah. man! It's, uh, it shows as if uh, time travel is considered isekai. I actually, that's a good question. That's a good question. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's I just time know. travel. Right. I mean, they, oh, that's right. It is time travel. It is time travel. Yeah. Yeah, it's true. It is time travel. Fix my face. Don't be afraid. So what you're saying is the uh, Connecticut Yankee and King Arthur's court is not Isekai. Well, it, it, you, it, it depends on if you believe that King Arthur's court was real. <laughs> I'm making the ruling right now. It's all Isekai. Oh there my go. god. <laughs> I, I want to say it's the first Isekai yeah. only because I don't think any of that no. King Arthur should no. happen. Alice in Wonderland is probably the first one. Alice in Wonderland is the first one. Oh, Alice in Wonderland is good shit. Or through the Looking Glass or whatever. Because this was a question we asked ourselves and we started looking into it. It makes me wonder if I know that. So if that's the first one, then Wizard of Oz has got to be the second. Oh, definitely. Oh, god damn it. Is there a problem? Is there Magic in Black Knight? I can't remember. Uh, I. I can't, oh, you know, sure. I can't, I can't remember. Sure I can't remember either. Either. Black Knight. <laughs> we were thinking, I was oh, thinking yeah. about Cats pairing Ohio, it with another. Fix my face. I was, I was Shout thinking about it? like pairing it with another one, but. I know Dion's <laughs> from Chicago, but yeah, Cat, Cat, that's right. Cat mentioned he was from Ohio and he moved out, he moved out of his house when he was 13 years old and moved to Florida. <laughs> he left because his parents were Jehovah's Witnesses, and um, he got he got into some kind of kerfuffle with uh, with the with the church um, clergy. I guess there was like some situation where he was blamed for sexually abusing someone, and he said, oh, "How can boy. I sexually abuse someone when I'm a fucking virgin?" <laughs> so him and his dad got into uh, an altercation about it, and um, Cat decided to. Take the money he had uh, earned from like mowing lawns and That's shit. That's it, man. And fucking game leave. over, man. It's game game over. over. What the fuck we gonna do now? God damn. You have so he went from yeah, so... Florida of the North to Florida of the South, yeah, basically. Sure, sure did. Because <laughs> Ohio, that's the reputation Ohio has. That I didn't know. Holy shit. Yeah, Ohio is like the um, is like the Florida Michigan, of the Midwest. Michigan, uh, parts of Michigan ain't much far different than all parts of Ohio. So for, there's a lot of rural parts of Ohio. I can, Single player I can results. vouch for that. Single and player sadly, Michigan is too. If you're outside of Southeast Michigan, if you believe all the memes and shit about Ohio, like the only nice place in Ohio is Columbus. Everywhere else sucks. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Toledo's all right. It's, I mean, it's more of like a more like a metro uh, city area rather than. What was that line from Adventures in Babysitting? Where the fuck you think we are, Boise, Idaho? Boise. <laughs> <laughs> that's a that's a fun movie. I like that movie. I haven't seen it in probably twenty years, so I don't really remember much of uh, it. I'm I'm the same way. It used to be a joke with when I used to have a babysitter growing up. It used to be a joke that like uh, our babysitter would sometimes play the movie. So oh, we would watch a movie about babysitting. We were while we were being babysit. So <laughs> the ultimate movie to watch for that is Uncle Buck. Uncle Buck was also there too. Uncle Buck's a fun movie. That's a fun movie. That is a great and movie. Adventures in Babysitting. Yeah, that's what we just mentioned a second ago. Yeah, shout out to Ed. He also oh, he also points out. Um, it wasn't all shit talking. He did give many people their flowers. He gave Gary um Gary Owen flowers. He uh said that um he pointed out that Hollywood had not taken a shine to him. Um, as funny as he was, I, he, some people thought he was talking shit about Gary, but he wasn't. He was, uh, he mentioned that, you know, Gary, Gary Owen, uh, who's a famous white comedian, but, um, he's famous in, uh, black circles. Um, he used to host Comic View at one time towards the end of the 20th century. But, um, mm -hmm. yeah, he really hasn't landed 
for like everybody, but uh, black audiences love uh, Gary Owen. Um, but um, it, it's it's clear that he's been kind of railroaded by Hollywood. Like a lot, uh, the only movies he is able to find his way into are um, ones that are produced black by like by, by, no, just like ones that are produced by like black producers. Um, he's good friends with Will. Um, God, what's his last name? Will something. He produced the Oscars, the one that um, Will Smith got uh, slapped. What's his name? Uh, um, slapped uh, Chris Rock. His name's Will. I don't know. He's a famous Hollywood producer, and he's in a lot of the movies that he produces. But um, yeah, man, uh, it's um, it's just kind of strange that um, he hasn't taken off, and um, and uh, Cat had pointed that out. But Cat was giving a lot of people their props too. Especially uh, young comedians that um, he he's worked with recently, uh, he's been on. Um, he talked really nicely about Nick Cannon and saying that he knew Nick, he's known Nick Cannon since he was 14. Uh, and um, what was it? Um, that's why he's he, he's often on Wilding Out and um, something else he said too. I forget. But, uh, it's a good interview. If you have time to kill, please listen to that shit. It's really good. All right, let's go to. Uh, okay. Let's just go right to practice real quick. All right, cool. Two and a half hours is a long listen. It is. I mean, you do it. I do it in parts. <laughs> That's what I do. I'll listen to it as far as I can. I'm actually going through the um, the Patrick Stewart uh, biography right now, an audiobook. It's all on uh, Spotify. Is it narrated by Patrick Stewart? It sure is. Absolutely. <laughs> it's fucking great. It'd be kind of weird if, uh, if, if it wasn't. A, it was like a Patrick yeah. Stewart yeah. impersonator. It'd be nice if it's been, uh, narrated by what's his name from uh, X Men. Um, what's his name? Ian McKellen. No, um, not Ian McKellen. No, um, voice actor. Voice of Trace. Um, uh, David K. What's that? David, David K. K. David K, yeah. Because David K did his voice in X Men Evolution. Yeah. And he, yeah. when yes. he was on our show, he did that one spot uh, for Goddamn <laughs> in that voice. And it's yes. like, yo, please, please do the whole book like this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go. Uh, show is saying Bernie Mac is a true king of comedy. Yeah, Bernie Mac is uh, R.I.P. That, that guy, that guy was on another level. Let's <clears throat> hold on another level. Yeah. All right, let's see. Let's see if this shit slows down. I've never heard of Gary Owens' comedy special. I probably should check it out. Gary Owens, yeah, he, he has got a podcast, but uh, Gary Owen is, is an amazing comic, and he's super funny. He's got a YouTube channel. You can sample like a lot of his uh, jokes and whatnot on there, but yeah. Hmm. Oh, the comedian I'm, I'm following right now is what's his name? Uh, Roy Jones from The Daily Show, formerly of The Daily Show. Oh, Roy but... Wood? Roy Wood Jr.? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Roy, Roy, Roy Wood Jr., who's hilarious. It's a shame that they, they won't pick him to be the host. Because he's the only, I mean, he's the I, only he, he, one. Go ahead. Well, I think he was saying that, you know, he doesn't want to pitch it whole day. He wants to do more do stuff for your stand up and everything. Yeah, he, he's, uh, not, he's not over trying there, to. Uh, yeah, he, I saw his interview on um, Torrey Show. And he talked about it. And he said, it's like, either I could sit here waiting for an assignment I'll never get, or I can get out there now and start diversifying and doing other things. He said, if they call me tomorrow. Mm -hmm to host the show I'm doing it but he said he just didn't make any sense for him to stay there uh, as a um, correspondent because when the next guy gets in there if he doesn't get the job and the next guy gets in there to, um, to take over the show they're going to get their own correspondence and they're going to get rid of all the old ones it happens every time so it's like fuck that I'm just going to go here work on projects work on my stand up get ready for my next special Do, and, and, and get ready for that and um but he's the only one out of all the all the guest hosts that did that show. He's the only one that John Stewart came out to be on the show with him. John Stewart came out and fucking did a, did a skit with him, and that shit was hilarious as fuck. Just showed up out of nowhere. You didn't even know he was coming. He kept, got on there and they fucking they rapped for like uh, ten minutes, man. That shit was great. It was like this is the guy that needs to host this. Straight up, fucking Roy Wood. I've been listening to a lot of Hannibal lately. Oh, Hannibal Burris? Yeah, that's my man. I fucking love that guy. <laughs> the, uh, the dating the woman at like 4 a.m. in the morning is uh, pretty hilarious to me. 
because it starts out with something completely different. He's talking about when he was living in Ireland, or I think no, it was a, uh, I think it was in England where they talked about cookies, but they called them biscuits over there. So go ahead, they certainly do. Yeah. So he was having a huge culture shock about it, and that, and then it when it goes into like dating a woman at 12 a.m. and at 4 a.m. in the morning. <laughs> I saw. I, I've seen his bits from like the Eric Andre show. Um, oh, that's yeah. pretty much the extent of my <laughs> exposure to Hannibal Burris. Yeah, he's. I do remember he's that pissed, meme of him he, all holding the hands or something. He pissed somebody off really. Like he said something that pissed a lot of people off. Like I don't know, like maybe six or seven years ago, but I can't remember what it was. Hmm. Oh, it's a Bill Cosby thing. He he called out the Bill Cosby thing he, he was, long before anyone he, else. He was he was the he one was serious that, um, about it too. Yeah, he was the one that in his stand up routine he talked about Bill Cosby drugging and uh, raping women, uh, and he brought it to attention. It was been something that was talked about behind the scenes for years, hmm? but no one nobody wanted to talk about it publicly. And he did. He kind of regrets it because it's, it's the only thing a lot of people know him for, uh, which is wild because I I I know Hannibal Hannibal Barrett for a ton of shit. But um, yeah, that's that's kind of how um, he um, that's kind of how he blew up. Um, uh, uh, on a side note, Hannibal, Hannibal Barres has a um, a pseudonym. He, he goes by the name of uh, Eshu Tune. Uh, he is a he has he, he's a very good rapper, and he dropped a rap album recently, and it's, it's fantastic. You can find it on Spotify. So uh, mm -hmm. yeah, that's what's up. But uh, Hannibal Barres is a funny funny comedian. I loved it when he had a podcast. It's called a uh, handsome. I think it was called the handsome gambler or some shit. <laughs> mm -hmm. Something like that. It was. It was super good. <clears throat> All right, let's go. Funny. Fuck you, my ass Here comes a new Oh look at this, your pajamas. Pajamas jewelry. Those I... aren't cookies. Those are biscuits. Those aren't biscuits. Those are cookies. Cookies are cookies are biscuits, and biscuits are biscuits. If you call cookies <laughs> biscuits, B then what do you biscuits call Biscuits is what, what you get at. Because I ain't saying <laughs> Hmm. I don't. I don't know. I really. Like it. What's Mouse saying in the chat? Roy was the only one there. Oh. Okay. John Leguizamo. Yeah, he was a good. John Leguizamo was a great host. Yeah, he is. Right. The last time we saw him in a movie, at least for us, was in Violent Night. He oh, randomly showed up. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, he, he was a. Uh... Yeah, he's um, one of the main. He was the main uh, villain. He's a, he's a oh, wow. the main villain. Have you seen that movie, so, bro? I haven't done seen it yet. I've been wanting to though. I should have watched oh, it. Oh, you are myth. Yeah. Uh, what's the best way to describe that movie? It's uh, uh, he, Home Alone uh, meets Home Alone meets Die, Die Hard. Two. two. Di uh, I think it was Die Hard one. Die Hard two. I God damn it. It's a wild ride. Of course. Mm -hmm. it's, it's definitely uh, probably one of the better movies I've seen. Uh, what's his name in it? Uh... What did we pair? Uh... Uh, David Harbour. I think it was Sisu. Oh, yeah. We did a cocaine bear. Uh, was it? Was it Sisu? I think it was okay. Sisu. Oh, no, Sisu. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. David Harbour. Yeah, David, 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 David Harbour. Fucking hot. David Harvey. Yeah, 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 David Harvey. Yeah, yeah it's probably his best movie role I can think of, so. Beverly D'Angelo was in that movie, too. Was she? Was that Mrs. Yeah. Claus? Yeah, she's like the, the, um, like the, the asshole matriarch of the, uh, of the family. Oh, damn. Mm -hmm. Is the last season of Street that's supposed to come out this year? I can't remember. Is it the last season or is it the last? Uh, and is it supposedly? Oh, I'm again. I see it might be the last season, but I'm, I know that I know they're making a spinoff. See the what? Spinoff with Beast of Japan or something? Stranger Things. Oh. Are oh, they going full weeb on Stranger Things? Final Fuck! season? Maybe Japan? No, 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 no. They're a spinoff. I think that takes place. Oh, like, spinoff. Okay. Eight. Yeah, yeah spinoff. Yeah, but. I don't know if the next season of the trailer could be the last one or not. I'm guessing it might be, but... Probably. Those kids are all like 30 now. Yeah, it's the final season. Oh, it is the final season. Okay. Not so... I never even... I never even started the first season. 
Still haven't seen that fucking show. And well, the next season of Cobra Kai will be the last one, too. So. Yeah, a lot of shows wrapping up, unfortunately. And get used oh. to it, because a lot yeah, of shows awesome. are not going to go past three seasons. Now that all this fucking, um, all, all the uh, strikes are over. A lot of shows won't, uh, won't go past three seasons because they have to raise the pay for, mm -hmm. the, for the actors and the people involved. Did Cover Lord X stay another season yet or no? What? What, what, what show? Lord Dex? Lord Dex, yeah, it's, it's season five. It's, it's currently in the works. I, I wouldn't throw a piece if I was already confirmed or not, so that's how it yeah, worked. Yeah, yeah. So. After, after that, no one knows. But speaking of Lord oh, Dex, okay. they just, got a, just of, so got a bunch of pops for Lord Dex. They just dropped them. Fuck! You, do you even have any more space for pops? I barely do. Barely. So fact, what do you do? I, I have to be very, uh, very selective about the pops I get. <laughs> or you, or you just simply buy more shelves. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's true. I could do that too. But uh, I have a yeah, I've, pretty much arcade cabinet. I've got several uh, Captain Carters that I just got in. Uh, and then um, after that, man, I, I don't really have any room for anything else. Let's go. Is that the, is that the thing that finally stops your 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 quite frankly sick? Funko Pops obsession. Well, is all, I, I hadn't bought a Funko Pop. Out of room. I've not <laughs> bought a Funko Pop in like mo months, if not a year. And then there was like a big sale on them because there, there's so many of them now <laughs> that they're selling for like a fucking song. So I got um I got the one where Captain Carter's riding the uh the Hydra Stomper from What If. Woo! Speaking of which. I noticed that you uh, you had you posted a picture not too long ago of your like updated shelf, and man, you've got a lot more like of those little statues than I. Oh, like... brother! I, I, Nick just got me for my Christmas. Um, uh, he got me Jotaro, uh, the one that's a the statue uh, movable figure from uh, s series three of uh, jo Joseph's Bizarre Adventure. So I've got uh, I've got that in my room now. I'll see if I can bring it over before the stream's over. But yeah, I got a bunch of other statues now. I got um, God damn it. Let's just get. I got a bumblebee on the way. The Bishojo bumblebee. Bishojo bumblebee. Yep. What else? Um, I. I noticed you got the Megatron. I got Megatron and Optimus. Ooh, got your ass. Would they just call her Honeybee at the, at, instead if she just was like sexy? <laughs> Oh, uh, sorry, but I sent you a little something for your birthday, so happy. Oh, you did? Thank you, sir. Yeah, I, I count. I, for... Oh, sorry, go ahead. No, 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 go ahead. I was going to say, I count eight, 18 statues now on your shelf. Oh, can you see them? Yeah, look at the tweet you tweeted out, like, oh, what, yeah. last month? Yeah, yeah. Okay, let me look back at them. I got um the 4GI Joe ones. I got uh, I got Emma Sheen. I've got... uh Oh, they won. I got a quick rematch. Um, what else I got? I'll, I'll give you a rundown as soon as this match is over. God damn it! Toss your ass. I think I recognize you. I know who most of these are, except for like the the third one from the left, and then the one that's like in, the one that's right next to Megatron on the. I don't recognize that one. The one that's kind of like kneeling or whatever. I don't know who that oh, is. X twenty three. Oh. What is she from? She's uh, Wolverine's daughter, man. Oh, okay. Lord Kenny. Ooh. There you go. Um, I have, uh... uh I've got Chun-Li, I've got Mai, I've got the Vulcan Science Officer, uh, which is like a female Spock from the original Star Trek. Do you have a rose figure? I have, um, that's Lisa Lisa with, with roses colors. They made a special version of that. Oh. So it's, oh, it's, I thought you it's, actually had a, a roll through. I wish they don't make them. They never oh, made my, her. My bad. No, it's okay. Nothing to be bad oh, about. I, I wish they'd make that. I've got that day one. This is one of my favorite characters of all time. I need to get um, uh, what's her name from King of Fighters though? Um, my girl uh, Shizuru. No, uh, uh, Nick has me Terry. I'll never buy that. Not for myself. <laughs> I fucking can't stand Terry Bogart. I'll buy Andy though. I'll buy Andy in the fucking hot bit. Uh, Oh shit! Woo! Let's go! You, know, you gotta respect Rock Howard. Nope. I can't stand him either. Mm. How dare you? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Fuck that character. That's a wrap! Alright, cool. Now I can take a look.
Alright. Yeah. What about uh, Adderhill? Do you respect him? Who now? Uh, Adderhill? Adderhill? Uh, uh, yeah, I'm cool with Adderhill. I'm cool. He's, uh, he's the son of... Uh, oh, come on, man. His dad had Battle Cat. He did, his dad Dad's had Battle, Battle Cat. Cat. Yo, word. He had a Panther. Am I wrong? He had a Panther. He did. <laughs> he certainly did. He the internet canceled Terry for clapping them cheeks. <laughs> Oh yeah, that gif. <laughs> yes, he did. He fucking clapped the cheeks for real. All right, give me a second. Let me go. It, it wasn't even. It's like, it was like a, a mobile, uh, Korean mobile co company that was like a, a gacha game that animated that. <laughs> it's but... true. I'm gonna bring up the uh, the picture. It's not up to date anymore, but it's got most of them. Let's see here. Go into Twitter. Go into my Twitter. All right, cool. There it is. So here's my Twitter. Pull this up on the main screen. Is this it? I'm feeling sleepy. Oh, hey, it's, yo, Snake, man. Thanks for coming out, man. It's good to see you. You probably really like, loved. Sorry, November, 20, November 29th, I think, is when you tweeted that out. Yeah, I want to say. Right? I, was, yeah, I, was just, I was just looking at it a few yeah, minutes that's ago. That's a while ago. Yo, look at this. Okay, cool. So this is uh, my collection so far, um, minus a few. All right, cool. So here's all my pops, minus the one. I, I'm going to take another picture real quick. I'll put it up. Let's see here. Uh, that that's uh, that shelf is still struggling. <laughs> yeah, it's it's so crooked. It's so crooked. So where uh, if you see Mantis at the very top, right here, where you, or if you're watching the stream, you'll see. Um, oh, she can't see it. Let me fix that real quick. Give me a second. I can who's see the it. Third, no, who's no, the third? No, it, who's, oh. who's the third from the left? Uh, uh, from Emma. Third from left from Emma. Oh, it's a science now. officer. It's oh, a science, science officer. Off. Oh yeah, okay. that, Star yeah Trek. That, that, that's, that's Trek. female Spock basically, yeah. Yeah, Lady. Haman hiding in the back there. Haman, yeah, because I don't have to stand for her anymore because her peg broke and I lost the butt, the base. This is show mouse cursor. There we go. Don't show mouse cloaks only down. Okay, cool. You did not put that shelf up. <laughs> I <get> that. <laughs> yes. I that was so all for you, buddy. Well that was all me, sir. So, bro, you might as well Photoshop out Peter Parker holding that, that shelf together. Oh. <laughs> okay, so right next That's to Mantis, what, what, you, what, what I have now is going five above uh, Orson Krennic, going all the way to Spider-Gwen. I have the five Lower Decks figures. That's the four main characters and Badgie. Um, Captain Carter, the two Captain Carters I have, which I'll show to you. This one I can't put up there because the box is too big. But uh, I have this Captain Carter right here, which is uh, her riding the Hydra Stomper. So that's that. So I'll put her back up there. Um, but I got these two because they were like on fucking mad sale. The sale was like two bucks a pop. I was like, yo, what? All right, I'll get these. One of them was beat the fuck up, though. So the box is practically mangled. But the pop inside is okay. And this is the what if. Oh, um, I can see the box. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's a little fucked up. Yeah. This is the the what if uh, Captain Carter from the 40s, and then this is the one from um, uh, Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, the one that gets cut in half. And it's funny because I think that one's left-handed, and then this one's right-handed because she's holding the shield in opposite hand. So I never I don't know which one is um, which one is the true handedness of Captain Carter. But if she's left-handed, that's fucking cool because I'm left-handed. But um, I got one I got one more coming and that should round up my Captain Carter set and also be enough to put up on the wall and will fill up the spot. If you look above Spider Man in the corner, that'll be where the last Captain Carter goes. And then I won't really have much room else except to put someone above uh <coughs> Tracer from Overwatch. And then that's it. Um as for my figures, um I've got Cammy and um the Cammy and the um uh, poison are my oldest two. Oh. I've had those since 1999. Oh, that's poison. Okay. Yeah, that's poison, and then that's okay. Cami, and I don't know what company made them, but I still have the boxes there in my closet. But I've had those since 1999, and I bought those both from um, Florida Oriental Trading. Um, the ones that Nick bought yeah, that's me. That's the alpha version of Cami. So. Oh yeah. Uh, the ones that Nick bought me that got me back into collecting more was the June from Tekken in the in the, in the swimsuit, the Sakura right next to her. And then the uh, X-23 that's kneeling uh, right next to Megatron. And then after that, I started to collect them myself. And I, when I saw the G.I. Joe ones were coming out, it's like, I have to get those. I fucking have to get those. So uh, the first one I got was Scarlet. Then um, <clears throat> uh, the Baroness. Then Lady J. And then uh, Snake Eyes 2, Don Moreno. Uh, and then um, the other ones. Oh, yeah. Uh, Nick also got me the uh, Lisa Lisa. The Lisa Lisa over there on the left, right next to Haman. Um, 
but then the rest of these I got over time. Uh, you, you can't see my Chun Li. She's not um, in this. We see the little Chun Li uh, that I got from. Uh, mm -hmm. I forget what that came with, but um, right next to my. But I actually have Chun Li in her dress from Street Fighter Four. Um, it's on my shelf now. Um, I got the the Morgan and I got the Felicia when they were on sale. Shout out to the show. He told me about the sale for uh, Felicia. So I picked that one up. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Nick told me about the sale for my. She was for, she was on sale for sixty nine dollars, so I picked her up. You know, funny. And my man, um, Tsunami picked her up too. <laughs> he told me on Twitter, it's like, yo, I, you you bought you bought her from that big bad toy store sale. It's like, yeah, man, sixty nine dollars, sixty nine, dude. Nice. <laughs> so so what? What are gonna make a sexy uh, Cobra Commander or a sexy Serpentor? Oh, you never know. That could happen. Fucking sexy Destro. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> what would a sexy Destro look like? <laughs> oh, fucking horrible. I don't even want to see it. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Now the ones. What was it on sexy bazooka Joe? <laughs> well, yeah, to be fair, the ones that they're but the ones that they're releasing the the sexed up figure girl figure versions are just are, aren't like they're not like taking the male versions, turning them female. They're just simply yes. taking female characters and. Yeah, they they actually are taking um, the female characters from GI Joe. Who I'd like to see is Cover Girl, uh, Zatara, who's um, Zartan's sister. Zartan's, yeah. And Jinx, mm -hmm. I would love to see them do those three. One thousand dollars says they're doing Cover Girl. Like, I would like to. That, th go ahead, go ahead. I'm surprised that's not the first one that they did. To be quite honest with you. <laughs> wasn't she like? Wasn't she the? Wasn't she like supposed to be like the the model or whatever? Yes, she was. Uh, she was a makeup artist, a disguise artist. Yeah, but she was a model beforehand, and then she yeah. got into that. Yeah, that, that's her backstory. There's a new female Joe, um, who wears like uh, cybernetic armor and has like yellow highlights. Her name starts with an H. I don't know her name. I just saw like a classified figure of her, and it's like I've never seen this one before. She must be like super new. Um, I would love to see her be a statue as well. That would be super cool. But um, I, who I'd love to see, and I don't think they ever made a figure of her, is there was a girl, a woman, who worked for Cobra, who was involved in an experiment that gave her gills, um, and she only could stay underwater. Her name's Mara. And um, there was an episode of the show where um, uh, she meets Shipwreck, and Shipwreck and her are kind of like have a thing going. Yeah, um, and, that and, was like that was, that was in that weird episode. Yes, and which is funny because that ep th those two episodes, the No Place Like Springfield two part, yeah. is the last two episodes of the original run of season one. So the, the, those two episodes close out season one for GI Joe. But the, those are some of the best episodes mm. of GI Joe. Period. If you've never seen uh, No Place Like Springfield, is a two parter. You can watch the entire series of G.I. Joe on YouTube. It's up there for free on Hasbro's channel. So they got all of that still, up and all of Transformers up there, too. It's still free. playing live. What's that? It's still playing live. They oh, still yeah. That. Oh, they do, right? They do. But you can watch the, a playlist of episodes, too. The The live stream is mostly a lot of the two-parters and a lot of the miniseries. But they do show some individual episodes in there, and they show um, uh, there's no place like Springfield in there a lot. But um, yeah, the other ones, uh, the other ones I have that are not pictured. I'm actually trying to find, let me find uh, the picture I took to send the Nick once I open up. Yeah, because the, the one that was in No Place Like Springfield was the was like a clone or something, right? Yeah, she was a she was a synthoid. So yeah, um, what happened was uh, they constructed this town. Um, yeah, order, I remember. Yeah. In order to try to fool um, uh, shipwreck, okay. they giving them a formula which he couldn't give it to him anyway because it was in his subconscious buried. And you needed to know what the passcode was, like a verbal password, in order to get it out of him. And so he didn't know what the password was. He had no fucking clue. <clears throat> Yo, Mal, you out of here? Yeah. Have a good night, sir. Take care, Mal. Thanks for rocking with us, man. Have uh, a good one. Check out Mal's channel at E-S-K-A-Y underscore zero nine. Don't sleep. Go over there, hit that subscribe button. Support the brother, man. Follow him on Twitter. I believe mm -hmm. it's at E-S-K-A-Y zero four on Twitter as well, unless he changed it recently. I'm not sure, but no. uh, it's still the same. Good shit. That's yeah, the best, the best episodes of G.I. Joe were, were the weird ones, like No Place Like Springfield, the one where they got trapped in the alternate the dimension. Worlds like Without all the End. I just watched that. Yeah, episode. is that World Without, Without End? End? Yeah. Where they, they, they use that as an excuse to get rid of um to get rid of Grunt. Um, yep. Uh, what's the other two? Um, That's for you. Fuck. They, they, they use it, they, instead of killing them off, they use an excuse to kind of phase them out of the line. That shit as well. Yes, the Viper. The Viper. The come. Viper. Uh, <laughs> that, so one, that one wasn't a weird one though. I mean, that was memorable, was but it wasn't so a strange good. one. That shit was wild. I love. I just love the voice of the dude, 
the yeah. 575. It's like, what the fuck are you talking about, dude? <laughs> you just want, look, you just wanted to vipe your windows. You want to vipe? I just want to vipe your windows. They should have just shot him on sight. <laughs> <laughs> just shot the shit out what there, was man. that shit? Was it was it uh Yo, it was like a mini series it's, it's really dark? Which one? Oh that was um uh Resolute. Oh GSR Resolute. Resolute. Yeah. Okay. Resolute. The one they they showed that on um Cartoon Network. Yeah, they sure did. The first time I, I first time I saw that I was like, holy shit, this is dark, man. Wow. <laughs> Cause like Bazooka gets capped in the first episode. Yeah, I heard Bazooka. He, like his body's like lying in the lying on the, the morgue on like the USS flag or some yeah, shit. Yeah, that shit is crazy. I yeah, saw it's crazy. I, I watched no the first wonder, episode too, man. But here's the picture, by the way, for those who are one of my Jotaro that I just got from Nick, so mm -hmm. and I also got that peach and that toad. For uh, the Super Mario Brothers movie. Oh, that's a uh, dude. That's a that's an SH figure arts. Yes, it is. Notaro? Yeah. Yeah, I can tell with the I can tell with the knee joints. I can show. I'll show you the box right here. Hang on a second. Let me bring is it up he on the screen. only male character on, on, on down there on, on the figures? Yeah, he's the only male character on that the whole show. <laughs> so he's, he's macking out of he's macking out of his mind. Oh, he's really here. alpha male. Literally. Right, here we go. So here's the box. There we go. Got it all on my face. Mm -hmm. Alright, so yeah, there's is the box and it's in front of it. And of course it's not in it, but yeah, this is it. So yeah, yeah, it's uh SH figure. Like, this is from Medicos, right? I wanna say it's from Medicos. I gotta look. No, 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 it must not be SH figure arts then. SH figure arts is uh Bandai, but they have joints like the SH figure arts. Yeah, it's a SAS super action statue. Um comes with a bunch of hands, another face, um, a really cool um stand piece. It's like a metal bendable rod that you can put around his waist. Yeah. And uh, yeah, you can pose them and all that shit. And I was like, yo, that's that's fucking amazing. Who so, makes this? Uh, I want to say it's Medicos, but I could be wrong. Yeah, it's, it's Medicos. It's Medicos, yeah. <laughs> they kind of have the, the whole Johto, sorry, the whole JoJo uh, license locked down. But uh, they're part of a co another company, if I recall correctly. I could be wrong. But let's see here. Oh, no. Let's just minimize this and that. And there we go. Yeah. Let's get out of here. Sacri Alright, so. Before I. Yep. So, uh, Lou, that was read by Warren Ellis, who does a lot of dark writing, so, so that's why, so... Oh, which one? Uh, Warren Ellis, one. he he wrote G.I. Joe Resolute, yeah. so he's a writer, so that explains everything. Yo, I didn't... Why it's so dark. I don't know it was Warren Ellis that wrote that shit, that's crazy. Didn't he also... Oh, Me oh Good Smile, Good Smile owns Medicos, I think. Oh, there you go. That sounds familiar. Alright. Let's see if we can... Getting some random battles online. I need to raise my um, raise my level anyway. Anybody's got Street Fighter Six and wants to fight? Let me know. Let me change my. I'll probably uh, pick up the game. But it goes on twenty bucks sometime this year. So hey, man, eventually go down. I I haven't bought a fighting game in a while. I'm getting Tekken though. Tekken on. No, Tekken, another Tekken another good on. weird episode of that GI Joe show was the uh, the one with like the Phantom Warriors. Yeah, the one with the ghosts. I forget yeah, what the it's ghost. Called. Yeah, that, that episode was really good too. That shit was crazy. I mean, the Phantom Brigade. That's what it was. The Phantom yeah, Brigade yeah. episode. That shit was crazy. I was like, damn, dude, Cobra Commander, boy, he'll he'll take insane ends to fucking go after GI Joe. It's wild. Oh, he said Roy was. Uh, uh, looks like Mal said Roy was the only one that felt. Uh, I felt it was perfect for the role. I enjoyed John Leguizamo, but you can't tell that he wasn't experienced. You could tell he wasn't experienced doing TV. He'd have to grow into it. Yeah, true. True. Yeah, Roy was a natural. Roy, Roy, Roy's dad, Roy, Roy Wood Jr.'s dad was a famous uh, reporter and radio man. He'd uh, he'd done radio news in um, up north and in um, where is uh, Roy from? He's from um, Alabama. Is it? Yeah, he's from Alabama. I believe um, Alabama, Montgomery, yeah. Alabama. I think you got it. Um, he he did a lot. Roy Roy's dad was like a political fucking commentator. Um. A, um, a, a newsman, uh, you know, a journalist went to the the war front in Vietnam to report the the war and how it was going for the minorities fighting in it, fighting in it, and all that shit, man. They, they, they got, the guy was a real one for real. The Roy says he wasn't the best dad, but uh, he was definitely um, when it came to being an activist and whatnot. His dad was uh, definitely on point. So Roy gets a lot of that, I'm sure, from his pop, his pops. Um, but he's Definitely also the, fun having a talk, knowing how to speak on the, even a podcast and everything. And everything. He's got to go the voice down and everything. And the, the biggest thing you know, I like miss. The energy. Oh, go ahead. Sorry. Oh, no, I'm done. No, no. The biggest thing I miss about Roy Wood, though, is uh, 
he had a podcast um, when he was still on mm-hmm. The Daily Show. He had two podcasts. He had the one where he did a podcast for the behind the scenes of The Daily Show. And that was cool. You know, mm-hmm. they, not every week they talk about something I was interested in, but he did a podcast for Viacom, audio only, mm-hmm. called Roy's Job Fair. And Roy's Job Fair mm-hmm. was fucking hilarious. He was on there with like two other people, mm-hmm. and they would talk about they would talk just talk about the workplace and talk and have people call up and talk about how much their jobs suck, or um, have people on who were like professionals in their field to talk about their field to kind of educate the audience and talk about stories that they experienced uh, on their jobs, their unique jobs, and all that shit. And it was it's, it's still up on Spotify for free if anybody wants to listen, but it's funny as hell. I when I discovered the podcast about two years ago. I just steadily just kept listening through every episode of, as I was working until I I've gone through like 50 episodes to get caught up. And then uh, it was probably on for another year before it finally closed down about six months ago. Mm-hmm. But it's a super good podcast. If you never listen to Roy's Job Fair, please do. It is funny. Mm-hmm. And you, the time will go by yep. when you're listening to it. Um, What's Upon a Joe? Oh, shit. That's a good episode too, show. Fucking oh my god! Is that the one where like uh, shipwreck is telling the story to children or some shit? I believe so. I believe that's the one of oh, the fucking twenty questions episode with shipwreck and Hector Hector Ramirez. Yo, shout us the show. You can tell who their favorite character was. Yes. The writers, because shipwreck. shipwreck gets all the he gets all the he good episodes. All the good shit, man. I don't understand that. Fucking shipwreck, man. He's the best. Hey man, he he used the he used inspiration for Shore Leap from Venture Bros, so I cannot complain. Shore Leap? <laughs> I forgot about him. Yo, multi. What was the what was the episode where they were like trapped in like the they're they're like trapped in the dungeon or whatever, and they they and then they were like getting high on laughing gas or some shit. Oh yes 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 yes. They uh, they had, I forget what happened, but I know what you're talking about. I want to say because remember there's there's always that, there was that scene that they always use in the in the closings mm-hmm. where they're popping the balloons with Cobra Commander's face uh, on house. Yes. It was the fun house. Yeah, show show nailed it. There was there was also that one with the games master where uh, it was uh, this this fat dude who was rich and had an island where he would uh, kidnap people to play in his danger games basically. Uh, <laughs> and it, it, basically, there was a helicopter that you could get into escape. But it was it only it only could seat one person, and so he kidnaps uh, Lady J, Flint, Cobra Commander, and the Baroness, and it's just it's it's crazy. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a crazy episode. It reminded me a lot of Arcade from uh, X Men comics and from Marvel comics in general, uh, and the kind of shit yeah. he used to do. That's what I remember that. Me. I remember that episode. Yeah, this low proto Jigsaw. Proto Jigsaw. Yeah, you might as you might as well have been. I can't believe how many of these G.I. Joe episode plots that I do remember, though, because, like, it's been years and years and years and years since I watched any of these. Oh, yeah. I've been the G.I. Joe cartoon for probably how long it's been. I will, over 25 years. I will put it on just to wind down. As I'm about to go to sleep, I'll put on an episode, and it'll knock me right the fuck out. <laughs> I'm sure if I watch G.I. Joe again, I'll probably have a better impression of that than I did the G1 Transformers. Yeah. There's probably better G.I. Joe episodes on yes. there, because... My, I've seen, I've did a rewatch of Transformers G1 more yeah, yeah, than I should have, but I have not rewatched the original GI Joe card, so probably have to wa- watch some episodes and stuff like you know, try to get like a more neutral impression on it rather than having a, um, a bad, what's it called, reflection, you know, rather than actually watching it. So I can, I, a- I can attest to that. It, it um, GI Joe definitely, definitely ages much better than Transformers does. That's for oh sure. no, for sure, yeah. There was another one. There was like another one that was super. That was like super, super real too. It was like the one where they were getting involved in like the local political skirmish or whatever. Yes, the final fight episode. Uh, it was uh, an episode. I forget what it's called, but um, basically, Cobra was trying to rig an election in this met- metropolitan city. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, and they were using these these young teenagers to do it, and it was the um, the, the what what are those fucking uh, ne'er do wells uh, that that um, Zartan. Um, fucking runs the dreadnoughts oh, red, were, were, dreadnought, were yeah. manipulating them to doing their doing their dirty work, and uh, yeah, that that was that, that episode just the aesthetic of that episode reminds me of Final Fight so much. And I know there's a particular scene mm-hmm. where Lady J and um, Lady J and Scarlet have to break into extensive enterprises to um, to find out what's going on uh, and see um, exactly who's running these gangs. And uh, they climb up the building. They had climb up the side of the building. Because going in the elevator is pretty much a death trap. And it's like, dude, ladies, just get a helicopter. 
It was a Crimson Guard, wasn't it? Like, weren't they one, the one like manipulating all that shit? Or Tomax and Zaymot, they run the Crimson Guard. That's absolutely true. Yeah, maybe that's what I'm I'm maybe confused that with another episode. The other, the, another episode that sticks out of my head is that I remember very vividly is the one where like they uh, have they 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 um, contact like that that lost like monkey tribe or whatever, oh, yeah. and they're like worshiping the the, t the fallen satellite. Yes. That shit was so stupid. They, they destroyed the TV at the very end. Yeah. <laughs> like social commentary there. Another some more social comment. Subtle social comment. Well, not so subtle social commentary, I guess. It sure was. It's from it's, the writers. It was not from Apply the Apes. You see these, like, these primeval fucking, uh, Mystic Link guys with no clothes yeah. on. Yojo! Yojo! <laughs> <laughs> so crazy. <laughs> Like I said, I, it's been it's been years I've seen any of this shit. I can't believe how vividly I remember some of these episodes. Same here, man. It, it's kind of amazing what you remember and pick up on. Ooh. Yeah, I, I remember far more of that than I do Transformers, and I watched way more Transformers than I did GI Joe. Ooh. My, 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 I, I've been a super bit about Transformers. You want the more I think about it because I. There's a lot more shitty episodes, and I can't remember anything about G.I. Joe, it's probably for the better, because I'll probably... Yeah, I'll probably man, enjoy like... enjoy the better episodes more, so... If you watch Transformers, like, if you see an intro, just like a random Transformers episode somewhere, you rewatch it, and I have them, I have much the same feeling as I did when I tried to rewatch uh, Robotech, when they, like, aired that on Cartoon Network in, like, oh, 1998 man. or 99. When I watched mm -hmm. it, my feeling was, I can't believe I ever liked it. Um, and I feel that way when I watch old Transformers episodes because it's, I'm just like, I feel yeah. that way about some animes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. You watch it now, and you're just like, God. Even if I'm, you know, I still, I'm still a fan of like the Mecha, and, you know, the robots and shit. But man, I can't believe I ever thought the show was good. And then you know, you you talk to other people who still like the show, and you're just like, dude, how have you ever, have you watched the show since becoming an adult? Because it does not hold up. <laughs> Oh, yeah, it can yeah. be a, it can be a little bit of a cold a cold bucket of water sometimes. Ooh. Yeah, but I don't feel like GI Joe is like that though. Like I feel like I, I could rewatch GI Joe now. Like I could go to the Hasbro channel on YouTube or whatever and just sit there and yeah. probably just like waste hours of my life rewatching these episodes. Mm, it's not a bad shit. idea. It was like it was like Twilight Zone for kids. A lot of the episodes. Oh uh, yeah, you're right. It was, yeah. it was. Same thing for real Ghostbusters too. Show brings that up in the chat. It's like almost the the, the tone between GI Joe and um. And and, um, and um, real Ghostbusters with the storytelling in those shows was a, a was, was a cut above. It was a cut above um, the, most cartoons of that day because they were really trying to tell good stories in a lot of those shows. But um, <coughs> your show says Transformers. I usually go for the episode after the movie. I'm the opposite show. I actually hate season three. I'm not crazy about season three at all. I don't know what it is about it. Maybe because the music's changed so much. But the vibe of season three is just not my. I'll watch it occasional episode or two, but usually when I watch Transformers, it's season two. I just stick with that. This is a 55 episode stretch, so I'll just I'll go and watch the dumbest episodes in the bunch, like um, Hoist Goes Hollywood. This is my favorite episode of all time. The reason why is because Alan Oppenheimer is a fucking god, voice acting god, right? Alan Oppenheimer was the voice of um, um, Professor Sharp in um, in, in Bionic Six, but famously, famously he's the voice of uh, Skeletor. But he was all over G.I. Joe. So in this episode, it's Hoist, fucking Carly, and and Spike. And they're just driving on some r random mountain. And some car stunts going on for a movie. And these two car stuntmen almost get killed. But Hoist ends up saving them. And the director's so impressed. He says, what's your name? And uh, Hoist, Hoist says, my name is Hoist. And then the director mishears him and says, all right, Moist. And calls him Moist for the rest of the fucking episode. <laughs> Every time it's a moist, <laughs> but it's the way he says it. It's the way he says it. it's 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 classic Alan Oppenheimer, man. That guy is such an amazing voice actor. He also did the voice of um, he did the voice of Sea Spray in Transformers, and he also did the voice of um, of fucking um, Warpath, the tank, he, the guy that always goes blam, bow, boom, bam. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. motherfucker. That that's Alan Oppenheimer all goddamn day. But yeah, it's yeah. uh, it's the it, episode's so stupid, but I love it. Oh. I wasn't, I wasn't a big fan of the post movie episodes either. Yeah, for some reason, it's just I don't feel it as much like that fucking one of the post movie episodes I cannot stand is that one where it's the music musical episode, um, something in E minor, 
That shit was sucked. But it did have some. I, it, go ahead. Vaguely, I vaguely remember that episode. It's, it's horrible. It did have some good episodes though. It had um, Only Human, which I think is the best episode of season three, and that's the one where um. Old that's season... the one with Cobra Commander, right? Yes, yes, it is. Yeah, uh, that 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 you're that is that is the best one that out of the post the movie episode. One. Um, uh... The, the best thing about that is that they never actually the mention Cobra Commander. Like, he never mentions no. Cobra him, at all, or G.I. Joe, or they call, whatever. They call him Old Snake. That's what they Old call Snake, him. Snake, and then they, he kind of talks about his, yeah, yeah, about how he was, like, you know, running an organization in his past life and shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's not the Cobra, stuff coughing. He, 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 he calls, and at the very end, way. he it's the big reveal. If you didn't already know yeah. the big reveal at the very yeah. end, it's when he, he, he kind of want to relives old times and he yells Cobra. But yeah, he, he, can't, he starts coughing. He starts coughing because he he's coughs, so old. Coughs. Yeah. But it's like, I you know, that's such I a vaguely remember episode. this clip. There's another good episode, too. Show brings up the um the one where Warpath and uh, some other characters go into the past. The one, it's a Decepticon in King Arthur's Court, I think is what the name of the episode is. I remember is. that episode, that yeah. That's so bad. It's so bad. But um, th th there's another episode of season three that I like a lot. And it is, um, oh my God, what is it? Is it the, the, the is it the the the, the five, like the three part or five phases of dark where the Decepticon actually you know, I like leaves the group because he finds out about bullshit there is I think no that's I think a, it was one of those triple changes that was that was a good uh, mini series I like Star Screams Ghost that's a good one um mm -hmm. and and the few episodes where Star Screams Ghost shows up uh, are pretty good uh, the creepy one where they um some of the Transformers go onto the funeral ship for the G one mm -hmm. Transformers. And find oh, that yeah. Optimus Prime is reactivated. He's still dead, but alive. That shit made my skin crawl. Because I still couldn't get over the fact that Prime was dead. So to bring him back in that fucking creepy way was the worst. That's like, you fuckers, man. This shit is, is that, not cool. Is that, is that episode called, like, uh, what is it? Yeah, it's like, like a, a, a rude awakening or something like that. I want to say it was rude awakening. No, like, you're thinking about you're thinking a spoof that someone did on YouTube. And, uh, oh, oh with, true, uh, with, true, with true. The, but I did a return to Optimus Prime special with the with mean, some okay, joke okay, okay, okay. As a joke or <laughs> as a thing, I thought that was the real episode. I went <laughs> because uh, because yes! uh, because the impersonator yes! sounds a lot like uh, Optimus Prime. I so wish, yeah, I really wish you could keep on living joke, thinking that was the real episode. <laughs> I wish you could keep on living thinking that was a real app, man. God damn it. The episode I, I despise in season 3 is actually one of my most despised episodes of Transformers, uh, Rise of the Beast. Mm. Very well animated. Yeah. The stupidest plot in the entire show. You have some kind of like stupid monkey thing that apparently was a creator of Unicron. It's like energy out of all these things. It's like, yeah. we'll just reverse the energy to stop this thing. It was like the... Mm -hmm. It's like a stupid... like It's like the dumbest... Show which is saying something, but oh, yeah. very well animated. I think it was a Japanese animated episode. I, I oh. believe it had like super like like Obari style like animation. Well, a lot of people don't realize this, but like, Toei Toei did a great deal of the episodes of seasons one and two, mm -hmm. and some for season three. And I still can't remember the that other was, episodes. That was, of season three. that was that though. Yeah, there's another episode of season three that's fucking insane, um, but it's super good, and I can't remember. Yep. I loved uh, there were characters in season three I liked. I liked um, uh, what's her name um. Fucking uh, um, Marissa Fair Fairborn, for and if you don't know who that is, Flint's, she, Flint's daughter, Flint, the Flint Lady J's daughter, and she yeah. looks just like the two of them. And there's a one particular episode where they're captured by the Quintessons, and they use holograms or some shit to try to get information out of her, and they recreate a vision of her father, and her father is an old version of Flint from GI Joe. It's fucking crazy. <laughs> yeah, I, that that, that uh, episode is another one that people, snakes, so. people always remember. Is that episode from and, from that period? And, and true to form, her last name is Fairborn, which is also Flint's real last Flint's, name. Flint's, yeah, Flint's, Flint's last real name, yeah. last name is Fairborn. I know that um, Lady J's first name was Allison. She has like a, I think it's Allison Hart Bennett. She has like a hyphenated name. But um, GI Joe's before they're married. But apparently they get married and have a kid, and that kid becomes a space ranger. And that's Marissa Fairborn. It's a fucking. It's a. It's it's cool. The little things they snuck into those shows, right? Yeah. They, showing that they were connected, but not fully connected. So you just have to hold that if you're trying to trying to like put things together. But um, yeah, man, I, I'm still beating my fucking brains out. But Only Human is probably the best episode of For Series sure. Three by far. Um, it got a little ridiculous with the headmasters and shit. But yeah. um. Mm -hmm. 
but yeah, man, it's uh, this this gems in those shows. I would say that Transformers, it's a better show than maybe some of the other um cartoons that were like peddling toys to us at, at the time. Like, I'm never never was a He-Man guy. Just wasn't. Oh, the like, He-Man cartoons uh, awful, like uh, yeah, terrible, it's so terrible. bad. I, like, I can get it. Filmation. Yeah, man, fi fi fil like, filmation. All filmation. <laughs> yeah, fil filmation is just one of those companies yeah. that just. Yeah. They just, they just, they just crapped out animation, man. I just was never a fan of theirs. Even when they oh, did Super, Super Friends, Friends and shit like that, it was just, man, not this is not my scene. But um, Mask was pretty good. I Mask, always like Mask. I like Mask a lot. I know Nick. I, yeah. I, I know Show is not a big fan of Mask, but I love Mask. I, I, I collected all the toys. Um, I like Jim. I liked um. Oh, everybody likes Jim. Yeah. Whether you want to admit it or not, I didn't admit it as a kid. I fucking no. Hell no. Hell no. This, this is just like oh, oh no. I just watch it because my sister. It was, it was her turn to watch the television. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You use the exact same line for Sailor Moon. It's like I watched. I was gonna say sister. that's the exact same excuse you have. But then you leave the then you leave the, you leave the room then you leave the room and then you go back to your own room and go play with GI Joes or whatever in your head. The, the fucking Jim theme song is like playing on loop. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, that show had no, that good music me. though. That show they made over a hundred songs for that show. Every episode had three songs in it. And oh yeah, they made a ton of episodes for Gem. So it's just kind of amazing that um that they crafted that much music for the show. Even though the, the songs were like a minute long, but um it was it was, oh. it was pretty interesting that they were able to pull off that much music for the show. So my sister, my sister had all the dolls, mm -hmm. and each and I swear to God they weren't me. They were my sisters. Um. But I would steal the tapes that they came with sometimes and listen to them. Oh, <laughs> each, shit, look each at one you, of them, dude. Each, each one of them came with a cassette tape that had like three or four songs on it. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. I, I remember those tapes, too. So thank you for sending me this link. Uh, 119 bucks. That's not bad. Who makes this? Who retro is it, though? Life. It's Retro Life. Is it yeah. Bluetooth built-in? Oh, yeah, it's got Bluetooth. Look at that. Cool. Yeah, I mean... It, What's up? The the needle then the so all the all these these uh, like hundred dollar like turntables yeah um by these companies you've never heard of they all use the same dirt fucking cheap uh motor yeah, yeah that's the and thing needle um the motor like people make a big deal of the needle because that's like the, the thing that influences the sound quality the most so of course you'll have a lot of snobs in this hobby they're like oh I would never use that needle because it's yeah. cheap and the sound quality's bad like dog you're not gonna notice it um. <laughs> The thing that you have to shy away from is the motor. Like anything that uses this, that cheap ass motor that's in every like turntable in this price range, because yeah. that thing will fucking die out. Um, that's the thing you have to you have to really be wary of. Let's see here. Uh, here's a bad review. While this turntable looks nice, the functionality the functionality ah, ah, the functionality yeah. is very lacking. First, the belt if it, if it's not perfectly centered onto the platter, it'll ride up the motor shaft and slip off. Second, yeah. the tone arm has major tracking issues. Yeah, I because I, I know a lot of reviews on uh, Amazon have become um, like falsified and shit. They a lot of people are just putting up yeah reviews on yeah, it, so but just, still... just from what I know, like you know, just from doing my own research into turntables and stuff over the last three years when I got into this stuff, yeah, like the cheap turntables that are in this price range are cheap for a reason, and it's because of their they use de undependable motors. Or the tolerances are crap. Like the forums that I the forums that I read for all this stuff like are full of people who are like, yeah, I bought the you know I bought that hundred dollar Crosley or I bought that hundred dollar whatever, yeah. and then you know like the 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 uh, the platter yeah. wobble, mm -hmm. or you know the tracking the tracking force in the arm is fucked up and I and and it's, and it's not right you know and it, and it's like you know and sometimes it damages the record or whatever like. Yeah. There's just all kinds of examples of that, and sure, like most of them are probably going to be fine, but the cheaper stuff definitely has a higher failure rate. And I don't like playing roulette with this kind of stuff. Like, yeah. I'd rather just spend the three hundred dollars to get an Audio Technica and not have to worry about any of this stuff. And to clarify, um, show was uh, wondering if it was actually any good, not recommending it to me or anything like that. He just came across it. He wanted to uh, have, have yeah. an idea whether it was good or not. So, uh, props to show for sharing that. Let's see here. Um, here's the one I, I've been eyeing. Oh, wow, it went up. It was two ninety. Yep, that's the LP. That's the LP one twenty. That's yeah, the one I was talking about earlier. That's the one I want. This audio technical right there. Does that? Yeah. Does that the Bluetooth built in? Yeah. So if you look, um, it'll tell you in the model number. Where's the model number on this thing? Uh, let's see here. Um, it is uh, the LP. It's our ATLP one twenty uh, X USB dash BK. 
BK is probably uh, something to do with Bluetooth. It's wired. Can it... Oh, this one's wired. But this. This is yeah. This is the non-Bluetooth one. This is probably. Oh no, it's wired too. That's just the color. There's a there's a 120 that has Bluetooth capability. Um, let me look it up real quick. LP 120 Bluetooth. It's the it's the 120 XBT. That's the Bluetooth one. You could just put a 120X. I think you should probably. Should yeah, 120 XBT is the one that has Bluetooth. Because like all the all the Bluetooth all the Audio Technicas that have Bluetooth capability have the BT at the end of their model BT. name. Got it. Yeah, right there. That's the one you want. Oh, oh which one? Uh... The, the LP120. There's an LP60 that has Bluetooth as well. That's the one my my sister has actually. She has an LP60 Bluetooth. Um, but it's made. But it's like it's cheap material though. Like it's a decent turntable, but like when you pull it out of the box and you knock on the plastic it's a little chintzy you know so uh it doesn't really feel like a 200 dollars turntable i'm gonna add this to the list and take the other one off there we go go and get this other one out of here i want to buy the wrong one by mistake yeah the lp120 is the one that like most people get when they at when when they ask like hey what's a good a good entry level turntable less than 400 dollars like the LP120 is like the first one everybody recommends. Man. There's also like the U-turn orbit. The U-turn or orbit gets a lot of gets a lot of uh, mention as best beginner turntable. And then there's the um, the Fluence RT80 and RT81. Um, both get a lot of mentions as well. But the flu the Fluences are base are more like bare bones turntables. Yeah, yeah. Um, but they're still good. XLR. All right. Woo! Wow, that's a fucking wow. Damn. <laughs> Holy shit. All right. Let's see. Oh wow, that's nice. This is a, a little bit more than what I have now, but. Well, Behringer, Behringer is right? a Behringer is a very well known. Oh yeah, yeah. that's the brand of the one um, I have now. The one I've had oh, okay. for 15 years. It lasted 15 years, so I, I gotta give him credit. This is pretty much the one I have, right here. Just rebuy that one. Not bad. Are, are, you, are you replacing or upgrading? I'm replacing, but I might okay. want to upgrade. Wow, look at this motherfucker. Yo, cents? It was 20 Why bucks. That's so... not a bad price to, to change it. So, oh, this is this is a warped. What, what the fuck? Oh. Get out of here. Just make sure you buy something you actually have space for. <laughs> yeah, I would just that's, the, that's the bad thing about audio gear. You keep upgrading, you're like, oh, this is so much better, but then it's like, oh, wait, these are a lot bigger than I thought they were going to be. Oh, yeah. Uh, this is, uh, <clears> this is <throat> I don't know if I need, like, four XLR ports, but I say that now, and then I fucking suffer for it later. Let's see. Mm. Cool. All right, I am... I Can you do some karaoke? You bet. <laughs> I'm gonna put this in my my list and then look at my finances and see if I can get this sometime within the next two weeks. I need to get it before we do Gundam next, which won't be next week but the following week. So I do need to get this. Oh, so your old one died? It's dying. I, I'm on it right now, but um, my voice was going crunchy a lot. Oh, is that where, is is that where the popping is coming from? I believe so. It's it's bad. Man, I thought that was my headset. Holy shit! Oh, is it really? Oh wow! It's yeah, it's probably me. So my apologies if you guys are hearing like distortion. It's more than more than likely my mix. Oh, no, it's not too bad. It's not. It's coming a little bit, but it's not too bad. So. Damn, I, I feel bad about that. That shouldn't be the case. But uh, I, oh, I we can still hear you. Clear, so. It was worse. Let me tell you something. I sound like a robot, or it was just cut out randomly. Like, if Luke was still here, he'd tell you. But the stream could definitely tell you. It's, it's a mess. Mm -hmm. Sexy I'll Destro in a banana, a metal banana hammock. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> that's what's up. I don't know if you have a joke earlier. <laughs> Sexy Destro. <laughs> <laughs> so I see shows saying like I'm not spending a ton on a player if I only thrown three records. That's the thing though. Like once you start buying That's fair. vinyl, That's fair. you want more, and it's and, and they're not expensive, right? Because like most of the stuff, you, it's like twenty to forty bucks for for something for you know a, a set or a, you know a two right two LP set that you that you have something you want. It's usually around twenty to forty bucks. Yeah, it's a so it's very game. easy to to turn one vinyl into like ten vinyls. Yeah. You know, I started off just buying. Oh, I want Megazone twenty three. I want Macross. Uh, song collection, and I want like Cowboy Bebop on vinyl. That's what I started off with, and that was like four LPs. 
And then, not even three or four months later, my four LPs turned into like 30 LPs. Man. I mean, you find stuff that you will, you will find stuff that you'll be like, oh, like, yeah. And then you'll go on Discogs and look for 80s anime soundtracks to things that you like. And you're like, you know, that'd be cool to have that on, on, L, on LP. Well, they pressed a million fucking copies of that shit in the 80s. So it's easily available on Discogs for like 10 bucks or less with like you know fifteen dollars shipping, but <laughs> you know there there there's this there there's the Maizana Koku soundtrack for like you know this come with all, less, all alone less again? than hundred bucks naturally. Nah, oh, no, I think those man. are I, I think I think I think those are missing from the LPs. Oh man, they can't what's that guy's name that. again? Um, that's, that's Gilbert O'Sullivan. That's my Gilbert name. O'Sullivan. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. That's, that's alone again, and what was the other one that they used? Oh, they used to, yeah. They do, did they use two from him? At least one. Yeah, from it was two. Else. It was. Oh, Gilbert O'Sullivan, and they, they used another one of his for like one episode only. Fuck! I don't want. I don't I just, want to say it's Claire. I know what you're talking about. Remember. It's, a, it's an upbeat song. I know that much. It's very upbeat. Yeah, yeah. I think yeah. they used it as an ending. I want to say they did. Yeah. God damn. Because they used to, Alone Again was an ending as well. I think. If it, I was, it, was, it was the intro. It was the intro for OVA. It's the intro. Oh. Okay. You can watch. You can watch it on YouTube. The uh, actual intro for uh, for that particular OVA. But yeah. Yeah, yeah, but now now my 80s anime record collection is like Megazone 23, Macross, um I've got uh all bubble all all the L- Bubblegum Crisis LPs. I have all of those. I, I ended up buying um a good chunk. I got three or four Maizana Koku LPs and I have all like all of the um Kimigori Orange Road LPs as well. Nice. So like yeah, my 80s anime collection turned into like from two records to like you know, oh, twenty. 30. Ed, how does one find my wish list? Let me uh, let me get you the link. I have a a link somewhere. Give me a second. Let's see. Guilty Guilty here. Here. Uh, should be around here. Let's find out. Load up game. Get in there. Could just be my bias since I'm old. Um, <laughs> but I, I man, I much prefer like eighty eighties anime music than I do stuff that comes out now. Yeah, for me the era was like 70s through 90s for me, especially the open op the openings for 70s anime. Just I feel the, like the, they did more pop song, like they they had more songs, more vocal songs in in shows the in back in those days. Because now you you get like openings and endings, and you get like all your character songs and shit like that. Yeah, but like they're not in not st- not vocals they actually used in shows. Like you watch Kimigori Orange Road, there's like there's a fucking vocal track in like every other episode. <laughs> you know, that's that's not an opening or an ending. Sure. I mean, that, well, that, a lot of girls with himself with a singer in there too. So. Yeah, I mean that fucking show has so many vocal tracks, and I think Maizana Koku is the same way. Like, there's 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 a ton of vocal tracks in Maizana Koku. It just seems like shows back in the '80s had a lot of uh, a lot of a lot of like pop vocal songs in them, and I I, I, I prefer that era um, of anime music. I like it when a sh- song is actually written is actually written for the show. If you mm-hmm. can help it. I got you right here. Um, here you go, Ed. That should take you there. I hope. Let me know if it doesn't work or it takes us like some bullshit page. Let me turn this music down. Uh, and there so were there were a lot more like and, uh, there were a lot more like pop like actual pop singers that would have their music in these shows too. Because you know now now it's it's like the voice actresses or whatever, or it's like the Anna song artists who like pretty much only do anime music. You know. Yeah. Like very rarely do you get like an actual like super popular pop act that to actually get their music in a show, but back in the eighties like you had Henri, you had like all the other like pop prince like all the pop princesses doing show you doing music Mio? for anime and stuff. Mio yeah, Mio. Oh my god, I love Mio. Alright, let's see. So I still got to convince Silver to watch your boy Kong Ming. I need to see that man. This is the one with uh, that dude that looks like Jesus. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I mean, I mean, he's, I mean he's based off a character from Roman Three Kingdoms. Yes, but that's, that's yes. Leo yeah, White. so it's uh, it's it's heavily music involved, which you would not think would be the con. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the concept of paper is just ridiculous, but it's really really fun. So, oh no, that show that show is awesome. Exactly. I love that show. I would brag at these guys because uh, I read the manga and everything. And yeah, Yazi's like, the one who evangelized it. He evangelized yeah. it to us. He absolutely did. I need, to, I need to check it out. Yeah, it's really good. It's only like twelve episodes. So just... I'm a sucker for music shows, though, man. Like even yeah. even the even like the idol ones, like all the Love Live shows. Like I fucking love those, dude. Yeah, you, like, you love that one show. What's it called? Uh, the one with the the, the girl band. 
Oh, Bochi uh, the Rock? Yeah, yeah, that's the one. That's the one. That's the one. That's the joint. I just, got, I just got that vinyl in like two days ago. Oh, did you? God damn. Oh, yeah. And he's <laughs> may or may not get a third. Yeah, I got I I got a case of FOMO over this because like I was like, man, these like these stores that sell at like, like like CD Japan and Play Asia have a tendency to cancel a lot of like anime vinyl pre-orders. So I pre-ordered I pre-ordered three places just so I would I would I would definitely get a copy. And this is the one time that all three pre-orders didn't get canceled. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess so I have so I'm gonna have like I probably I'm probably gonna have three copies of this now. Um, but uh, getting rid of them shouldn't be a problem. But but yeah. Um, I mean, that's why I had fucking three copies of Cowboy Bebop, and then why I sent one of them to you, because I, I pre-ordered from several places, forgot about them, and then, you know, one of them ended up being defective. Oh, damn. Which is the... Well, that's the, that's the one I gave to you, right? Remember I told you? Yes, that's right. Tank has got some static on it, and that may or may not bother you, because I, they gave me a new one, but they told me to keep this one, so that's why I was like, well, I'll just give it to somebody. That's how you ended up with it. <laughs> that's how I ended up with it. So or, uh, I, 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 sorry, I... I uh, show you, had it, didn't he? Didn't the show end up with it? I think he borrowed it for like a minute, but oh. it, it, either he did or I, I, it was, it was not, no, maybe it wasn't. It. I think he borrowed my, my turntable and he, he borrowed that just to, to mess around with it. But but yeah, it was, it, I remember you telling me it was uh it was messed up, uh, and that's the reason why you gave it to me. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, it, if, if you can deal with it, whatever, that's fine. It's just that I would have I would have kept it had I not complained about it to him. They sent me a new one. Yeah, you brought the record to test it, that's what you did. Oh, yeah, yeah. There you go. Woo! Mm -hmm. Woo, you can keep doing it? Woo! But yeah, any any music show, especially like the rock, the rock, like, you know, girl girl band stuff or whatever, I fucking love that shit. I didn't much care for K-On, but I did, I did like his music. I, I didn't say anything because I know you don't like it. Yeah. Not, or at least not. Music I, didn't, I take that back. It's not that you don't like the show, you're just not big on it. Yeah, I'm just not that big on it. The music's pretty good though. Even though there's not that much of it. Uh, of so bro, I'm gonna I'm gonna send you I'm gonna send a picture on put a picture on Discord. I know you'll definitely get kicked out of it being a JoJo fan, so let me oh, yeah, please. post it real quick. Uh Hmm. That will be under under the picture dumper. Um I'm so you see that me or the guy jumping at the judge. Gassy Jeff, uh Jump at the judge? I think I've seen it, yeah. I've been well, trying to. I put a, I know a JoJo one. Well, let me see it. Yeah. Let me know. Let me know when you send the it's link. The, it's on the picture dumper. It's another picture dumper on Discord. <clears throat> oh, gotcha. Picture yeah, it's dumper. where we dump. It's just where we dump everything. Dump the bitches. Point. Oh, this shit. Yeah, I see this. <laughs> I got. Let me pull it up. Yeah. Here, open up. <laughs> open. Copy link. It was like the guy, so like Uncle Phil's the guy over the judge's bench. Yeah. Yes, yeah, it's Jazzy Jeff's out jump. Ah. There it is. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I wish I was in the show. I wish I was in uh, Stone Ocean. I mean, shit. <laughs> Honestly, I though, this, I saw this, this, this uh, fairly poorly drawn meme artwork is almost looks like the actual art in Stone Ocean. So oh, wow. I jumped on that. <laughs> David, uh, the Stone Ocean production man. A lot of people were upset about that. Yeah, because man. All, we, well, never we all the, all well, the good we, people were working on Urusa Yatsura. That's why. Well, yeah, well, we sacrificed it for that show. Yeah, uh, Urusa Yatsura got got all the A one attention, and which is yeah. great. I love Urusa Urusa Yatsura. I wish it wasn't divvied up between those two fucking properties because David David Production knows how to pick them, but I I, I wish they would at least kept the pro uh, the the quality going throughout Stone Ocean, so that way it wasn't fucked by Netflix. But I think the only reason why that show got made is because Netflix uh, invested in it. Because I don't, Money, yeah. I don't think they, I, I think they speculated that Stone Ocean would not get the attention that um that uh, Golden Wind got because Golden Wind was a huge popular arc when it went when it ran through in Japan, and Stone Ocean was not. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, why did I lose sound? What the are fuck? you watching the new Eurosite, sir? I have not watched anything but the first episode, but uh, uh, the, the music is amazing. I've been listening oh, to the music dude, for that I'm, on I'm fucking. Love, uh, I love that show, dude. That's the soundtrack for Odyssey Yatsura is off the hook. I've been listening to it on my Spotify. I was like, I can't wait till I sit down and watch this show. I'm gonna lose my shit. <laughs> I'm gonna lose it. Why do I not have sound? Fuck. And and the uh, the anachronist style of opening. <laughs> yes. Yeah, the opening's awesome. Like the. The opening sequence oh, for, awesome. for the new 
Free Duke shows really good. I, I'm I'm not fin- I still haven't finished season one yet. Um, yeah. so I need to get back to it and finish it. Yeah, second open is a completely different song style intro, but it's still actually just as good. I think it's the same band that did the the second opening. I think so. Yeah, what was the name of the? I can't I'm trying to remember the name of the band. Um, but they they were they've done a few other things. Hmm. So, uh, 2022 opening. It's uh. Oh, okay. Show, show him me with the link. Let me pull this up. Oh, it's uh, it's it, it's uh, it's somebody. Wor- it, I forget the name of the band that's doing it, but they're the vocalist that they're using is Minami, who Ooh. has done a bunch of other anime things as well. And then it's not the same, but uh, oh, there's a uh, there's Macross Plus news. Uh, it's Macross Plus vinyl. No, no, no. I, I yeah, I knew that. Oh. Like, is there any, is this new news? No, I I, I I didn't know they were releasing a vinyl in 2024 for this. So oh, you didn't? I'm pretty sure I didn't. I didn't at you on this. I thought I did. You might have, and I might have. I might have saw it and then got distracted. But holy shit! Yeah. So along with the Blu-ray you know, announcement, if, you know what? July? I don't think you did because okay. I would have retweeted this. Okay. Yeah. But, unless so back on the yours, then uh, maybe that's how it was. But I don't. Know, I can't remember. But, um, but back in July, they announced this at a talk on. They announced um, Macros Plus Blu-ray and and a four LP set coming of the soundtrack. But they had, and they're like, yeah, more information to come soon. Uh, that's, and that was the last we heard of either one of these things. So <laughs> everybody, everybody, like every, all the anime on vinyl communities have like been waiting with bated breath for Macross Plus news and it just hasn't come. Um, so I don't know what's going on there. Much like all Macross news, that's not. You're kind of right, because like we're waiting on Blu-ray news too, because like they just dropped that nugget about the Blu-ray coming out, and that's pretty much all we've got about it so far. Um, so who knows? Hopefully, we get it in 2024. Hopefully, we do. Because Macross Plus is one of the things. Like, there's there's a few properties that when I started like decided to buy start buying anime on vinyl, it's like yeah, these are the things I want on vinyl. Now it's Cowboy Bebop, Macross Plus, um, and Escaflone. Yeah, I would love to have Escaflowne. Oh, I would murder every one of you with my bare hands for Escaflowne. I've been listening to that score like crazy too. Look at Dance of Curse. Fucking yeah. um, my man, uh, my man's theme. The I forget what it is, but it's uh, Homeboy Whistling. God damn it, Hawkins theme. Oh yeah, it's uh, what's his name? It's Van's brother. Yeah, Van's brother. Yo, my man. Yeah, Vulcan. what's his name again? Uh, Falcon. Yeah, yeah Vulcan. Vulcan. There's another song where it's just a, a violin. Um. Da-da. Da-da, 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 da-da. Yeah, I know, I know the song. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god, I, I, if I could chop up beats, I would make a beat to that tomorrow. I'd Dude, so I bought all those soundtracks when I was in college after I watched Escaflone. Yo. So it was like I bought all those CDs in like 1997. People forget and it's I, not just Zuko Gano, but her husband, no, is, or yeah. her ex-husband, yeah, as well. Did that I ran, before. I ran all those albums into the ground. Uh, <laughs> Same. <laughs> When I was in college, and I and I remember, like I remember all the bars and everything from all those songs. I, I always liked the vocal songs. Like I, I liked, um, I liked "Empty the Pocket" was my favorite song yeah, from the show. It's a good joint right there, man. Which, come on, which vocal song was it that had the, all the horns in, in the in the beginning? Oh uh, shit, that was like a dude thing. It's from Vesca. I know it's from Vesca. Fun. I forgot the name. Horns in the beginning? Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to. There's trumpets are playing in the in the beginning. Yeah, I forget what it's called. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, it's like the shit you would hear in the morning. Yeah, and that's that's what it reminds me of, like waking up out of bed. Yeah, but you know, you know which which one song I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah. It, start, it starts off slowly with the puppet that like the oh, the, Gloria is or something. Gloria as a song is like one of the best compositions I've ever heard. It's a song called Gloria, and it starts off real slow, mm-hmm. but it builds up, and then these cor- this choral kicks in. And they're saying Gloria. And yeah, I know. I know that song. I, I know that song. Fucking yeah, love that song. It's so good. It's super. Yeah, good. I on. want this. I did. I want this one on vinyl more than yeah. any of the anything other than Cowboy Bebop. That's yeah. what I wanted on. This is the one I want on vinyl. Like if I had to pick which Yoko Kano I could have on vinyl, and I could only pick one, and they would never ever make another one, it would be Escaflone. Yeah, I that, that was not, I <laughs> wouldn't even hesitate. It's Escaflone. Man, I, I gotta get it too, man. This is fucking. It's amazing. Uh, is it is it out here on blue? Uh, on, sorry, on um, on vinyl? No, it's never been released on vinyl oh, anywhere. Oh my god! Go next, next. 
people are starting to get some hope that Yoko Kano stuff is going to get released on, on vinyl because, like, you know, they dropped it all on Spotify like three, two, three years ago. And now, you know, Macross Plus is getting a vinyl. Cowboy Bebop, we got a vinyl. So, you know, people are having, they have some hope that we're, we'll see Escaflone in vinyl at some point. Oh, yeah. But I don't know because, like, Escaflone in terms of popularity is probably a lot further behind Ghost in the Shell um, and some other Yoko Kano projects. But Isakai think... is so hot right now. Yeah, but I mean, like, oh. es Escaflone, nobody remembers it from, you know, except for us. Like, nobody under the age of 35 knows what the fuck Escaflone is, probably. <laughs> yes. um, so I don't know. I, I, I find, I just think that the odds of this getting made are very long. But yes, I would kill for Escaflone on vinyl. Uh, Holy fuck. Escaflone was also not right, that right. popular in Japan. It actually, was more popular outside Japan. So I, 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 buy, I definitely believe that. Right. Yep. I would be most popular in Japan, more so outside Japan, but Escaflone, I don't think it did that. Uh, it was not that popular in Japan, so it was, we got more of a. Bring it outside Japan. Outside Japan. I mean, people liked it, but. Shows that talking, he wants to see Samurai Shampoo. Yeah, so they have Samurai Shampoo vinyls. Um, those they just printed. Those have been printed. Shit, right? Well, that's the one that has like I told that story before, like the the story where because it's uh, Fat Joe. Mm -hmm. Fat Joe and his record label put out Escaflone vinyls every now and again, but he doesn't actually have the rights to do it. Fat and Joe, the reason, the rapper, yeah, yep, yeah. Um, he. He, he he ended up with the story goes is that the reason where all these reprint or these vinyl pressings these bootleg ass vinyl pressings of samurai shampoo come from is that victor entertainment sent masters um overseas to the united states to get pressed and for whatever reason that deal just fell through but they never recovered the masters so the rumor in the vinyl community is that these masters get passed around from one to company to another, um, under the table, mm -hmm. and people make people do their own pressings, their own unauthorized pressings of Samurai Shampoo, and it's kind of hard to tell the difference between what's an official um, pressing and what's an unofficial, you know, bootleg, essentially bootleg. But it's not really a bootleg because it's made off of it's made off of, of masters that were intended for North Americans to press under under license. Um, but Fat Joe every now and again will release release. Uh, Sh Samurai Shampoo on his on his website, That's um, so awesome. and he definitely has boots, like they're definitely boots. But um, you know the, the New Jubilees albums come up for reprint every now and again, and they're always expensive as shit whenever they whenever they show up or whenever they uh, go out of print. And the Samurai Shampoo um, albums just recently got a reprint in Japan. So they there's like four or five of them I think, and they're like. But they're, since they're import only, they're like, you know, 90 bucks a piece or some shit. Um, every now and again, you'll find one in a sale, but usually not all of them. But they're definitely out there. Ghost of the Show, I don't think has ever been printed on vinyl show. I think that one um, that one pretty much only exists on CD. The movie, I think? The movie may have gotten a vinyl release, but not, not, not like the... But I'm talking about like the old school movies. Like that one may have a vinyl release, but like Standalone Complex for sure does not have a vinyl. Um, one of the movies, like the what was the was it was it Innocence? What's the one with the fucking bass? Yeah. The one with the fucking bass down? That was Innocence, oh, right? Innocence, yeah, that's the yeah, Innocence. Yes. That one might have a vinyl. I'm not sure. I, I feel like that one may have one. So. But the rest of them don't. And Standalone Complex, which is the one everybody wants, that one does not have a vinyl. Sadly, Outlaw Star does not have a vinyl either. I, I wish. I would buy Outlaw Star vinyl, yeah. I love yeah. Kuo man. That guy's the best. He did Kuo Tani. Kuo Tani is good, yeah. He did, uh, Corsica on the Wing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's your ass, motherfucker! Fuck you! A shitty connection. The All the Gun and Wing music is great except for the except for the character songs. The character songs are just ass. Oh yeah. Yeah, but that's not Kuro oh, Tani, like so we can forget. This <laughs> is that. Yo, Ed, thank you so much. Ed says happy birthday. You want to keep a watch on Wednesday for a package, brother? Wow, man, thank you, dude. Thank you so much, man. Oh, no, uh, no, so no. so, bro. They showed give you a birthday present last year. Was it? Were you asking for Leonard Part Six? <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> on DVD. Fuck you. I'd rather have Linda's part one through five. <laughs> two, two pack of Linda's part six and Ghost Dad. Yeah, Ghost Dad. Oh, Fucking oof. No. 
go straight garbage. You get some jello ready, pops ready. in the tube. Just a pudding pops! Oh boy! Fucking. Oh. What, what was the what was the what fucking was... show that he used to be in with the fucking chimpanzee? Oh, I. <laughs> I don't know, actually. Or maybe it's a it was a spy. It was it was it was like in the '60s. And it was like a spy show. Oh, I spy. I spy. I spy. Yeah, yeah, yeah I spy. I spy a dr oh something in your drink. He did. He <laughs> oh god. <laughs> oh my Rohypno god. Ro hypno on the Jello Ooh. pudding pops. Show says he would get Susumu. <laughs> and here we saw was vinyls. Yeah, man, that guy's he's an unparalleled um, composer, man. That guy I has such unique music. It is unique, I, but I, I, I feel like I have to admit that I am not a fan of his... It was, like, I don't hate it, but it, it's just not my thing. Oh, man. That guy's... It's fucking amazing, dude. He's, uh... Like, I, I, would, I would buy the Berserk soundtrack, but only be, only for the fucking opening song. Oh, well, shit. Berserk has uh, got a song. I mean... Doo -doo 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 -doo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the old, pen, the, the old Pen Pals opening yes. where it's like, the, get, your, get, your, get your grasses on. Yeah, hell yeah. Get your grasses on. Uh, hey, that day organ had. had a, I, I enjoyed the soundtrack for that day organ. That was the that was the OVA like the nineties OVA. Yep, sure yeah. was. Yeah, but that uh, but that yep. ending. No, that was his music though. Fucking legendary. Oh, forces. Mm -hmm. Yeah, forces. Yeah, so I believe so that's what it's called. Forces. La 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 I mean, the mains our main music itself is pretty cool too. Like the. That's definitely true. I admittedly am a huge hater of uh, Paranoia Agent. Oh, you hate it? I don't hate it. I don't. I don't hate it. I don't like. I don't love it. Where the other is just kind of there. I, I hate the show. I don't think it's very good. <laughs> it could end it better. I'll say that. This, that. That is definitely one of the few shows that I will outright say like, no, I fucking hate that show. Now, I will admit... Oh! Yeah, every, every, everybody likes Kohei Kanaka. Tanaka. Everyone loves Kohei Kanaka. Also the biggest work. He has the biggest in everything. Shonen, Mecha, anything you name it. He's oh! like, he's a very big variety, different variety of things, so... Paprika was okay. Yeah, he, did the, he, did, he did the music for all of Satoshi Khan's stuff, right? I want to say so. Pretty much all of it, yeah. yeah. I, can, I can recall. Good. Good man to have uh, doing your score. Rest in peace, Satoshi Khan. Absolutely. Shit! In my favorite movie for him, is still Tokyo Godfather. That's fucking That's a cool movie. I, like, I think I like that. I like that. Not depressing. It's the most, most other thing I have to do too depressing for me. I cannot do with depressing stuff, but Tokyo Godfather is more like a positive movie, in my opinion. Fuck! Oh, I'm not no! a big Toshi Khan fan either, but I I, I think Paprika is probably the one uh, I like, I like the most. Oh, fuck! Yeah, Perfect Blue is uh. Perfect, perfect Blue is very unsettling. It's very unsettling. It's it's, yeah. it's very Hitchcocky. That's what I it like. It kind of is. It's very Hitchcocky. Yeah. That's what I like about it the most. <laughs> Oh yeah, I forgot Koi Tanaka did all the Sakura's work. Oh, oh yeah, that's like, dude, that's like his most, that's like his most remembered, his most well-known work, Sakura Wars. Oh, he's done so many big things, you know, just, just Sakura's like, doesn't. Yeah, but like, I know that, that the opening for Sakura Wars is like, that's something like everybody fucking knows that shit. Oh, yeah. Even people who had never played the game. No, yeah, no, no. like the people, like even if you don't know the, the all the words of the song, like everybody sings along with the Hashire part. Let's nothing off me, fuck! I forgot he did the music for King Game as well. Oh, he did? Wow. Oh, the music, oh, yeah. yeah, no, yeah, the, yeah the opening is very shit. The, op the opening for King Gainer is oh very great, Tanaka. Though, like it's you, you, you just listen to that song, and you're like, that's cool. That's Kohei Tanaka right there. Colorful style of music, which you know, does like next round, anyway. I think so. But of course, oh. the G got the music, HMS team music, Gal Gygar, Gal Gygar, yeah. Grand Rush. 
Yeah, all, all the ones. Yeah. All one piece. OBA. A game that Enron absolutely loves, even though he's never played. What's that? Gravity Rush. Oh, Gravity Rush. I I, I have played it, just not a whole lot. Oh. oh he he worked. Oh yeah, that's cool. right. oh, He did the music with the uh, Mote Tai Sakabura for Resident Evil Eight. That game me and Dalo have played. Yeah, yeah Koi Tanaka is very uh, very prolific. He also, did, he also did the music for the uh, the All oh My Goddess uh, TV show from like oh, 2005, that? 2006. Oh. Yeah, that's Koei Tanaka. The opening especially. You can just tell from the opening that's Koei Tanaka. Fuck, I that. And Jay Leclerc with Kots, you know, has kind of like a similar you know, yeah. feel to it, I guess. So. I don't talk on no video when I was so bros. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, man. but it works, so. His best score is 8th Mobile Suit Team, though. That's, why, that's like my... That and Escaflonia are my two favorite oh, he did, scores. Oh, he did 8th eight eight of his team? Oh, yeah. Yo, that's yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah, the yeah, the Symphonic yeah. Suite for that shit yeah, is so and good. And yeah, do you have the Symphonic Suite album? Like, the I, one that's I, I, like I don't the... have the vinyl, but I definitely have the... Uh, the oh, it's, like, it's never been. It's, it hasn't been released on vinyl. But, uh, but yeah, the 8th uh, the Mobile Suit Team, like, the Symphonic album was called Recorded in, Recorded in Plaha or something like that. What was oh, the was name it? of the... Yeah. I'm not sure if it was, like, recorded there or... Tokyo or in, uh... No, 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 that's, that's the name of the album. It's literally called Recorded in Plaha. Oh, okay. Um, face my face. Because it's like the Czech Philharmonic Orchestra. Um, composing, uh, performing all that all that music. It's like a selection of tracks from the, uh, from the show, but they're all like, um, they're all like live versions. And it's really fucking good. Like, that's another, that's another CD I used to wear the shit out of yeah, in my man. car. That and the Sephana Suite for Zayde Gundam were like my big two. Challenge me Those again. my big two for uh, Gundam OSDs. That shit. Yeah. Where it's um the Norse sweet, the sweet uh, where Norse. Oh yeah, yeah. That that one that one's just called Dude. Seven, I think. Yeah, man, that shit is so good. And yeah, that's everybody's that's everybody's favorite track from Eighth oh, Mobile Team is uh it's just it's simply just called Seven. Yeah. But it's usually it's usually labeled as Goof Custom versus Eighth Mobile Suit Team. It puts fucking goosebumps on my. Oh yeah, yeah. That's, it's the time, best. Dude. It's the best track. It's the best oh. background music track in Gundam, dude. I remember every moment of that fucking sequence too. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Holy shit. Uh, he he did a music for Gunbuster. Oh, he did. Yeah, wow. Pretty good. Oh yeah. The next the next episode music for Eighth Mobile Suit Team Two is always good as well. I think I think that track is called Soldier, if I'm not mistaken. Is that the one that goes like dun dun Yep. No, it's the one dun 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 yeah, they don't want to use any of Chihiro Yonakura's vocals because then they have to pay her, so they just use Soldier instead. <laughs> That's why. The what opening? Shit! Oh, yeah, yeah. Shining Storm, and then uh, Ten Years After. Everybody loves, everybody loves Ten Years After. It's no bad song. But it was also like, yo, know, Chihiro Yonakura did all those vocals, and she's like super good, so... I think she does, I think she sings with Jam Project now. If I'm not mistaken. I love you know, I still gotta get some heads up and she got this music too, so I don't know. Especially when they're powered up and everything too, like, uh, people like super mode and everything. Yeah, Ko Koatani is very good at getting, at, at doing music for like very hype, hype sequences, like... You know, G Gundam shit and whatever. Shit. King Braves, yeah, you know, Gal Gygar. He's stuff, too, so he, when he gets hot blood stuff, he, he knows how to do it. And he did the Sono Chino Sadame. He, he oh, he did, right? That song Woo! Yes, Fucking classic. Yo, answers, I listen to Forces on repeat. <laughs> yes! <laughs> That's my shit, dude. That shit gets you hyped up, man. Fuck, I listened to that one time going to the gym. It's like, yo. Some fucking gym, go to the gym, fucking music right here, boy. God damn, come on. I see you, bullets. The guy who like the, the one of the, like the more popular composers um, nowadays for anime is a dude named Yuki Hayashi, mm -hmm. and uh, he he reminds me a lot of Ko, like of um, uh, Ko, not Ko the, uh... Oh fuck. Got me. Woo! 
Uh, what, what, do you name the work that they worked on, or...? My Hero Academia, that's the oh, big one he worked on. Oh. Yeah, good score. yeah, the score from that shit is fucking really good. But he reminds me a lot of Koei Tanaka. Like, yeah, he, he, he's very good at doing music that gets you, gets you hype. So he did My Hero Academia, he also did Fuck. Build Fighters. The first Bill Fighter show, he scored oh, that. Oh, that's right. Too. Nice, yes. I love, I love, Ko I love Yoko. Oh, sorry, sorry. try. Yuko, Yuko, Kon Yuko Kano is a, has been, uh, been cooking it for a little bit too. God yeah, Yuko Kano, the one everybody always gets from mixed up with Yoko, Yoko Kano. Kano. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know he, uh, he did. He did, he did, he did the music for a lot of the JoJo's. Also, want to say he did music for another series too that we were watching. Um, he did music for one of the Gundam series. I want to say it was Iron Blooded Orphans. I could be wrong though. I believe it was Iron Blooded Orphans. Please don't have shitty connection. I think it was. I know, cause I know he does JoJo. Yeah, he did JoJo. I want to say he did Iron Blooded Orphans as well. I'm looking. I'm looking yeah, it up. Check real quick. I was fine with Paranoia Age until the mystery of the killer was out. Yeah, that ending was. Uh, it was like I was like, really. <laughs> Yo, my hero academia has a good he, he stage. Did not do, he stuff. did G Records music. He did not do Iron Blood Orphan. So oh, close. okay, okay. It was one. Of, it was one of the Gundam series. I was one of the Gundam. I, I I got it wrong though. So thank you for the correction, sir. No, no. G, yeah, the G Records music was pretty like, good. Like his music, though. Yo, why is James Gunn trending? Oh shit! All right, let's go. Duel one. Oh, he did. Oh, he also yeah. scored Psychopaths. Oh, he did the uh, he did the, he did the music for Pluto too. Oh, nice. Yeah. Have yeah, you finished watching that, Silver? Oh, yeah, I have not finished that. it. I need to get. I need to finish it. Is it gonna be a future Gundam episode since it's robots? It was, but we uh we pivot we we uh punted for uh Godzilla um minus one. Ah. So we're gonna do that first, and then Pluto will be second. Okay. Do not say that's gonna be your score for the for the <laughs> minus one. Minus one. Oh, that, that, I doubt it. <laughs> oh, he did. He did. He does the music for Cells at Work and uh, Millionaire Detective as well. The music in Millionaire oh, Detective did, is really he good. Uh, he did a spin off of Cells at Work, not the original. Oh yeah, so yeah, Black Code Black, whatever. Yeah. He, he did Bury the Mighty to decode. TV show. I, I I watched that and I remember I, I didn't like Brady the Mighty E Code, but the mu I don't remember the music at all. But yeah, Yugo Kano is uh, pretty pretty talented. Ooh, the Library War, which I've heard of, but I've not seen. Yeah, Library War, it sucks. I I, I tried watching it. I tried watching it because like uh, a friend of mine was because he reads uh, he read the novels, like the light novels, and said that it was like the novels are really good. And everybody was like really excited for this because the novel because they the novels have such a good reputation and then when the anime came out it was like really disappointed because the anime is not good. Fuck. Okay, was, it, was it bad because of like the anime was not good or was it bad because the story was good? Well, people will really 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 like the novels, so I think it's just the the adaptation was bad. Bathrooms, unfortunately. Damn, dude. Production I, Production IG did it too, so it was like super disappointing because everybody was kind of hype about it. Because that was back when Production IG was like hot shit. Let's go. Oh, speaking of which, uh, they they finally announced uh, Yamato thirty one ninety nine. Oh, did it? It's been like two years since they made update updated for it. Yeah, it's it's, it's a third work in the series because it started with twenty one ninety nine. They had twenty two oh two. They had twenty two oh five, and then thirty one ninety nine is the next one. Probably gonna be a movie, I would think. I was gonna do the movie format because 2205 was just two movies. It wasn't like multiple movies. So I was like, I get uh, 2205 is like equivalent of what? Six episodes, I think? Rather than the usual, you know, like, two quarters of the previous, you know, that's 2199 and 2202 or so. Yes, I imagine 20, 3199 would be much like 2205. Not that Sober would know, he, he's not watched any of it. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> that fucking heathen. <laughs> oh, well, there's a Galactic Heroes airing this year, too, so... Probably think that's I need to catch up, I need to catch up on that. Oh, I it's... love it. I, I think I probably, I, in some way, I probably like it more than the original series. So show just, a little bit more. Show just show me that fucking article where that one, um, the one collector in Japan he had his room broken into by his nephew and broke up all his fucking gunpla and shit. And his Legend of Galactic Heroes. Yep. 
um, memorabilia and shit, and it was worth like <laughs> thousands upon thousands of dollars. And, I would murder that oh, kid. Oh, I would have choked him to death. Oh yes. I would have. I would have been like, well, you're going into foster care. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy, bitch. They said it to I his have... gran grandparents to 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 to, to, to get re reprogrammed or whatever. I don't know what what the gulag. The Fuck. gulag. <laughs> Off the gulag. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Yeah, uh, Russia's right north of us, and you're going there, boy. So, like, I've, I've only ever watched bits and pieces of the original Legend of Galactic Heroes, like, because I just, you know, I watched bits and pieces of it whenever it was showing an anime club at the time, and I don't think I have the stomach to sit through a hundred and whatever episodes of whatever it, it is. It's a lot, I know. It's a lot, man. It's a, it's and I don't really, I don't really remember a whole lot of the first, of the first um, iteration of it, because it was like 20 years ago when I watched it, but... I, rem I I will say that the new version, I do remember the new, the old version not being nearly as tight as this new version. The new version is just like, like it's really good. Like it, it, it feels, it's, it's, it's just as good as you remember the old show, I guess, but in a tighter package. Yeah. They do change some things up to it, I believe they have a few more things from the novels from what I heard, but they, they do change some of the, sort of battles, even though that technology catches up too, which is actually very nice. They even change some of the big battle tactics too, so. Yeah, nothing in the new show feels like it drags on. Like, every, like they start up something, and you're and you're like you're totally engrossed and invested in it, and then they move on to the next thing. Like, it just it's a I I I can't stress how good the show is. Um, I because I I saw a lot of bitching about from like old head Glide, Legends of Black Heroes fans, like uh, just that they didn't like the show and they got it didn't it didn't exactly follow this and this and this. You know, it's like the typical things that like old school fans would bitch about. You know. Um, I mean, I was kind of worried about it because I read a lot of that before I went into the show watching it. Um, but it, man, I, it's it's so good. I, I, I actually heard very little bitchy about after the show actually aired. So I, 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 even for like old big Galactic Hero fans I, that I know I, I talk to, they're actually cool with it. So it's very, probably very small. My although I read a loud my noise by bitching about it. So. Uh, and the, the funny thing is, out of all the things they have redesigned for that show, the one thing that looks exactly the same as the original is those uh, Valkyrie uh, em em Empire fire fire fire. They look exactly the same as the original. Yazzie, yeah, did you fail at anime music quiz? There was show a bunch of shows that I, you were there in some of those uh, uh what those quizzes he was doing. And I, those are, some of those I could not remember for the life of me because they were some of the more recent shows. Like from the, from I don't remember doing the I don't like the, I don't remember doing the anime music one though. I remember we did like a TV like an '80s TV show one one time. But could so must be must be me and Ed and Boss Johnson and more darn uh, But there was a lot more recent stuff for the past decade, especially show stuff, which I do not know anything. About. I would I'm just gonna let you guys all know now. If we ever do that again, I will slaughter every one of you at that. <laughs> Because I didn't, know. I didn't know we even did. You guys I did. I play on the, I, I play AMQ with the, some people on another Discord and I and I always win. <laughs> just because I've I've watched so much of this stuff that like I, I just instantly recognize the songs. Yeah, but they were mostly more the Shonen show, like the big Shonen stuff that, that, for like the past decade. And I do not know most of them. So that's oh, Shonen that might be at a bit of a disadvantage, maybe. Yeah, yeah if it's a regular regular show, you know, like kind of like almost. Shonen shows, I probably you know, might have an idea, but it's just Shonen, over Shonen shows, and like, uh, what's it called, uh, Jujutsu Kaisen, yeah, I don't know, I know nothing about that, I don't even know anything about the, what's it called, Attack on Titans, over after the first one, so. Well, all the Attack on Titan, all the Attack on Titan songs sound the same, <laughs> it's hard to tell them apart. <gasps> oh, it's, it's, uh... Serious? It's Swano, right? Yeah, it's Swano. Damn it. Kinda Good comes with the territory. Good shit. Well, I mean, the, open, the openings, though. The openings are all linked to, like, this, by this group called Linked Horizon, and, like, they all sound the same. Like, the styles are very similar throughout all the openings. It's very confusing. It's true, but, like I said, they probably all sound the same. I, I might be able to guess what's correct, but I, I stopped watching that show, like... Yeah, I only watched like six episodes of Attack on Titan and kind of stopped there. I was like, yeah, it's not for me. What's old person? Oh, you don't, you don't school, watch school, uh, the, the, the finale uh, season part five? Season five. That's all I've, I've only seen season one, so. Yeah. <laughs> I, I didn't even get that. Season like divided three parts, though. <laughs> I'm 
the Hawaii see Attack of Sides is uh, fi final season part two. Final Part, part two, three. part three, final, final season, part two. Hey, yeah. Well, now Wit Studio can work on fucking One Piece. The One Piece. I saw yeah. that shit. It was like, yo, I guess they're, they're trying to get people caught up. This is a worldwide phenomenon. Oh, no, right well, well, the tour is still working on the TV show, but apparently yeah, it's like a remake, so we should probably just be like a movie. So it's not going to be like a one, full TV series. One, one Piece condensed version. Pretty abridged. Much. One I mean, Piece abridged. Probably better, better paced. <laughs> Because they, they, they got caught up with the manga a long time ago, so they had to do well, like one chapter at a time. They had to put Fuck. some fillers in it, which I mean, their fillers are actually not that bad because it's a bunch of about venture and everything. They had to find like some stupid tournament crap and everything. So, oh, shit! They go to random ass I with some like wacky ass dudes and everything. You know, just, just, some of them are like really, really funny stuff to do, so. I still, I can't, I, I could never even, like, even if they just start all over, like, I could never, I'm not, I would never ever want to even get involved in watching that because I just know that I'm never gonna finish any of it. It was just, you know. Oh, you should watch that movie at least, Red, at least for the music. Well, I'm, I, I know that Otto is the singer in that, and, like, I just, I have the sound, I, I just listen to the soundtrack on Spotify. That's good enough for me. <laughs> I love that movie, and that, that movie had better music than the second Delta movie. Oh no, the music! Oh no, the music! The One Piece Red music is amazing. Like the the and chick the music that gets a little told uh, story of the, of the movie. So. Yeah, well, the the chick that that you know plays the um, the sings all the songs and is the voice of the, the that that character um, is like she's like super like super super fucking popular. Yep. You must that movie did extremely well. Came out Japan and to go see it, dear as hair is actually. Yeah, like One Piece is One Piece is fucking huge now. It's ridiculous. Got a hit live action. Yeah, my sister and her family were watching the live action last time I was over there, and they, they were like, "This is really good, like really, really good." Yeah, man, it's, it's amazing what it's uh, how it's like kind of just taking people by surprise. I heard the uh, Yu Hakusho's not bad either. Uh, when Nick, oh, that's a when Japanese, Nick, Japanese made one, though. Yo, when Nick was staying with me, he said his dad called him up to ask him if he's seen you off his show. Oh, and God. Like, Are you serious? <laughs> 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 it's hilarious. He's a minute show's pretty cool. I was like, word? <laughs> yeah, my, my, my mom was watching One Piece with my sister and her family. People would have never expected to watch that or watch it, like, intently. Well, yeah, because it, it's showing up on everybody's Netflix homepage, oh, you know, man, so everybody's man. like, what is this? You know, and... Yo, fuck it, Jamie Lee Curtis is probably going to be in season two. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, man, she's a big fan. Oh, she's a, she's a huge, huge fan. Yeah, she's probably going to be an old elderly doc doctor character, but she is actual fan of the piece, so... Uh, I was going to say, uh, uh... You know who the, the guy plays Zoro? You know who he's the son of? Who is it? Sonny Chiba's son. Oh, no way! Chiba. He was yeah, also in that actual Japanese actor. He was also in that shitty, uh, Knights of the Zodiac show, wasn't he? I want to say he was. One, one of those guys was. I want to say it was the thing I played, uh, uh, what's his name, uh, fucking Sanji. I just remember when the, uh, the first pictures of that came out and hit the inter internet, everybody was like, it, this can't, this can't be what this looks like. This can't be. It's Sean can't be. It too. So that's like, what the fuck are you doing in this, Sean Bates? Fuck! So. I do know that everyone that watched it said it was awful trash and yeah. it was like the worst thing ever. It got some pretty harsh reviews. It didn't even have Pegasus Any Fantasy in it, man. Like, how can you have one? How can you have Saint Seiya with no yeah. Pegasus Fantasy? And I have like half the fucking cool. That, this show has a great soundtrack, by the way. What, the One Piece show? Not One Piece, but uh, Knights of the. Oh, sorry, no. Saint Seiya. Yeah, Saint Seiya? Yeah, Saint Seiya's soundtrack is legendary. Oh, yeah, it's so good. In fact, they're uh, for uh, Record Store Day in Japan this year. They usually do like a couple of anime releases for that, and one of the releases this year is a seven-inch single of Pegasus Fantasy. Woo! Yeah, that was fucking. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to get my hands on it. Well, dude, nice. Well, Disco Tech gonna have an announcement this Monday, so expect nothing we want, Enron. <laughs> they uh, Dragon R, Dragon R, please finally announce Dragon R, please. Be nice if they did. Well, I mean, we've already spoke everything else into being that we wanted from them. Fucking Lazner and... Chris, Chris has got his prayer circle going. 
<laughs> what's, he, what's, he, what's he prayer circling for? Dragonar. Dragonar, yeah. Dragonar. You can you can you can add you can add the you can add the other Chris to that as well because I am also got a got my little prayer 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 circle up for that one. Prayer circle of the Chris. Because every 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 time I get every time I get in their stream every time I get in their stream my, the first thing I always type is announce Dragonar. We said we were surprised at the lovely complex flat last time, which we were fans of. It was like a com from like a late two thousands. Dude, when they announced lovely complex, I lost my shit because like when he first when he when he said this is this is a shojo from the two thousands and we've been sitting on it for a long time, like immediately my immediately my head went to lovely complex. I was like, oh god, please let this be lovely yeah, complex. Exactly and sure enough, the opening started playing, and I just fucking flipped out. It's actually a pretty fun show. I like, love that show. I had a good re re reaction on the on the on the chat too, on the YouTube chat. Which, I mean, like, yeah, really it's one really it's fun. one of the best shows of the 2000s, and I I feel like not a lot of yeah. people watched it because it was a shojo and it was uh the, you know the art is very like the art is very basic shojo art, so it's kind of mm -hmm. hard to watch um, art wise. But the show is brilliant. I mean, there's some there's some stuff in there there's some stuff in there that wouldn't fly today. You know, because it was from like 2006. 2007. There's some there's some character archetypes in that show where oh, you're yeah. just like, ooh, I can't believe they've done they they did this. You know, um, so it didn't age very well, but the show <laughs> itself is just it's it's really good. They it's, actually got a really popular uh, YouTuber on on there for the, one of the voice actors for the dub. They okay. actually dubbed the show, I think. Real quick, yeah, it's dubbed. Real quick, mm -hmm. yeah, shout out to Ed. Ed writes, uh, I do, I guess I do okay uh, when it comes to music quiz. I do okay with modern shonen anime OPs. I prefer the manga for One Piece to the anime. Uh, yes, uh, the, he was the star of the live-action Saint Seiya. That movie was Basura. Yeah, yeah total trash. Yo. What's this link down here? Oh, that's the an anime quiz. Uh, show shared it with me. Uh, the 80s OP ED quiz. All right, I'll save this for later and go through it. Yeah, oh shit! Oh so, god, it's almost four o'clock. Oh my yeah, god! I can't believe it's so late, man. That fucking time went by like nothing. I I'm know. Probably, I'm probably wrapping this up around four o'clock myself, but man. Uh, I mean, might as well hang on to four. Uh, it's yeah. three this late, so. Yeah. Right. Uh, actually, yeah. So, brother says I uh, show mentioned that I felt like I'm good. The thing, one thing I even feel more as that I was playing Payday Three with him and Yup, and there was a DLC machine there. We had to create meth. Yeah. And <laughs> in the game. Wow. Yeah, yeah. You get criminals, you know, try to do, you know, sell money and everything. But the thing is, my volume was shut completely off, and I did not know that this invoice thing's going on in the game, give you instructions of what to do. I just started putting random shit in there, and all of a sudden the, the screen blew up and showed you. I was like, Yasmin, what are you doing? I'm like, I'm like, what am I supposed to do? It's like, you're supposed to not mix certain things up. And I failed on rap because I'm making math. I'm like, I need to go back to watching. Oh, because there's he was giving you audio cues, and you were like, you had audio turned off. I, I turn it because I want to get picked up on my headset. No. <laughs> and they don't put the, it's not listening to subtitles. I know. I had no idea what was going on. What the fuck? And then women need fucking so music. Funny in retrospect. <laughs> it's kind of. It is really funny. All this shit. God damn it. <laughs> yeah, I blew myself up. <laughs> this thing is a fishing mini game. It, it does. It, you, you unlock music and fucking items for um for um. Uh, what's it called? Uh, pictorial mode, and for your um, for your character icon. Oh, speaking of which, let me go back to um, Grand Blue Whoa, Fantasy versus yeah. real quick. Uh, there's a mode in there I've been to do today, okay. and I didn't do it, so I'm gonna do any, it right now. Any any game that I play that has a fishing mode, I end up spending hours doing the fishing mode. Oh, it's, if you got the money for it, you certainly can. <laughs> It's, it's, it's like it's the in-game money you earn for your playing the game. That's what it was with the Guilty Gear. Uh, all the, actually, a lot of the other previous Guilty Gear, you unlock stuff, and some of them, they, you know, you actually unlock characters maybe by using your in-game currency. You, you yeah, read them. Yeah. Stuff you unlock. DLC. Absolutely. Or Xenoblade Two had that in there. Um, Let's see here. There was what else had it? All, all the I think the the um, what is it? The fucking Cold Steel games had had a fishing mini game. Mm -hmm. They do, but it's not very good. A lot of games have fishing mini games, but uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, all, when the, I was, all the Atelier games have a fishing mini game. When I was playing Animal Crossing, the thing that I spent most of my time doing was fucking fishing. <laughs> <laughs> all the Yakuza games have a fishing mini game. Yo, Yazi blew himself up. What in that? Uh, in that fucking meth? meth? That meth? Oh no! <laughs> yeah, that was really funny. Fantasy versus. <laughs>
rising. I told you. I did the dog. one thing that my people are very stereotyped for in real life. <laughs> oh, oh, Jesus God. Christ! Oh, Jilly. <laughs> That is fun, sir. And why you got me laughing? Why you got me laughing, dude? What the fuck? It's not even a pod this time. It's just a Yo, Don't let us not get so oh, stream banned, please. Oh, I'm about to get canceled. I'm about to be canceled, my friend. Oh, boo, boo to you, Yazi. Boo. You got me. You got me, sir. Oh my god. Ooh, oh, this should I say this? If something's worth doing, it's worth I, I didn't say what the context was, so I didn't know what those <laughs> only two, three people that know what my nationality is. So. What is this Legends thing? Oh, this is like a a, a a party mode. You can go online and play against people. And you play I against like... races and a horde mode and all this crazy shit. It's actually a lot of fun. It's like mini games? It's mini games, yeah. And uh, this game is free, by the way, on PC. So you can download it. I don't know if this first portion of the game is free or not. But if it is, jump on it, man. It's, it's a lot of fun. It's like obstacle course races and shit. It's Fall Guys. It is not. It is not wrong. It is. It is Fall Guys. But I can't stand Fall Guys. I'll play it in a different skin. I'm cool with that. Fall Guys. Fall Guys pisses me off. I suck at it. It's so. It makes me so mad. Oh, I suck at this too. <laughs> oh my god. Can I play, please? Oh, what's that? What should he make him meth, but really good? At if something's worth doing, it's worth doing well. <laughs> yo, it is it is tight. Yes. <laughs> it is tight, yo. Oh my god. <laughs> I wish it was good. I wish I was good at fighting games because I really wanted to play Grand View Fantasy versus. It's easy to play. Let That's me tell you something. Fun. Play through if you get it. Play through the story mode. It's very involved. It teaches you the basics of how to play. There's easy ways to do moves. You just press buttons, really. See, um, I did all that. I did all that in the first one that was on PS4, and I sucked oh, ass. Wow. I was so bad at it. Well, I mean, because because I like this property. I like the designs, you know, and I like I like the music and the production values of, every, of all the Grand Blue things. Mm -hmm. But I just I suck at the fighting game. Oh, just because I suck at fighting games. It, 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 it's not for everybody, but I think this game is like a very good bridge. To like learning how to play fighting games and getting the ropes and i've just been watching a lot of people's content on like how to get good at the game and um easy ways to kind of get into it and I, I will say that the the story mode is a good way going into training doing some of the um the tutorials and training i think is very good um and yeah man I, I i think they did a lot to improve this game i was mad when i bought the first one and the online was shit but oh, this yeah. one this one playing mm -hmm. it online has been pretty good man it's been pretty fucking good. Uh oh, show just act show just activated the Enron trigger. Oh, he said, "I'll play the adventure he, game coming out." He mentioned he mentioned relink. The RPG. <laughs> I did. No. Yeah, if no. if if we ever get it, if we ever get it, Yo, I still won't believe it until I see it. The game has been in, in the works for six years now, so I mean, Grand Blue's popularity is come and gone, and we still don't have this game. <laughs> Damn. And Ross, like, the only Grand Blue I believe is a diving manga. Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe this shit is not working. Oh, yeah, dude. Yeah, so, if you ever have a chance yeah, to watch says... uh, Grand Good. Blue, you should watch it. Oh, the anime? The diving yeah, anime. Nothing, oh. with, oh, nothing to do with Grand Blue Fast. It's pretty much about. like uh, Animal House, the anime. Yes. <laughs> I usually see clips from that. Oh, now, the go. manga is extremely funny. The anime is okay, but the manga is really funny. I haven't laughed not la laughed that hard at manga in a very long time. It's or, uh, misunderstanding, which is my one of my favorite things in comedies. <laughs> I mean, eighties rom coms is nothing but misunderstandings. I mean, that's that's cool, Rumble. That's Ready? romance in general, and I don't mean just anime romance, just life in general. Oh yeah, this is de this definitely looks like five guys. Oh, five guys. guys. Fall guys. Oh, no. <laughs> Damn it. Your heart. This is a way to oh, run. Oh shit. I forget how to run. So the so Nintendo hasn't made a spin-off called Shy Guys? No. <laughs> mm. Shit! Oh my god, I'm sucking out loud. God, really? <laughs> really? Oh my fucking god, just go. So can I get this place? Can I get an item? I think, I, I think you're in last place. Oh, I'm very much in last place. I am dead to rights. Oh! What the fuck? 
Just go. I don't even know how to use weapons. Okay, can I get spat this first section? Yes. Alright, cool. Use your birthday boy powers. <laughs> non existent. Summon the power of Leonard Part 6. <laughs> I think it's where you hit the reset yeah, button. He... Yeah. <laughs> no, it's, it's when you, it's when you give game. the other people rupees and I make them fall asleep and so you can win the match. Oh, fuck! <laughs> Yo, I can't do this. God I, damn. I like, I like the horde mode so much better than this. Which I thought this would be my favorite part of the fucking game, but... but I have not been able to come in at any place besides last place in this shit. Oh, hey, what's up? Oh, there's somebody, there's somebody, that's, there's somebody worse. Fuck! Law of average. <laughs> God damn it. Let's go. Zorbo is failing at Ninja Warrior, the video oh, game. Man. Oh, no doubt. Man, fuck. I'm just taking my time. I got 13, a minute 13 to get to this, the end. I ain't this shit looks harder than Fall Guys. Yeah, it might be. Bounce on this stupid thing. Oh shit! Just get to the finish before the time is up. Oh yeah, I forgot. Side, side Games is the one that's producing that, uh. Oh. Ang Brave Mecha anime. Oh, oh yeah, that's right! Oh fuck! It's coming out next week, I think, so. Is it next week? I believe so, yeah, because the anime season pretty much started already, so I believe it comes out no! next week. No! Damn. When that is, I don't know. Oh! I'm eliminated? No. <laughs> well, I mean, you were in dead last, so yeah. Damn. Use your birthday boy powers. <laughs> Second to last is the goal. You got this. <laughs> <laughs> gold brick hoarder. Oh, what's it? Wrangle up the gold bricks to take them. But that went by real quick. Jesus. <laughs> RPSPR. <-R> <laughs> Let me get these gold bricks, son. Ready? In game. Fuck am I? Oh, I'm spectating? Oh no, I'm done. I, I can't be spectating. No, oh, close. Get the fuck and withdraw. Thanks. I thought I got. I thought we'll I would be shooting gold play. bricks in no time. You might even f fight a cat girl or two. <laughs> bite. Grand Bruise has a tendency to get uh, raucous. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. All right, cool. Let's try one more time. And I'm try done for your the best night. out there. If something's worth doing, it's worth doing. Why does she look like that girl from Fire Emblem with the that with the horns? That's a good question. The Fire Emblem Fates, I think it was that. There's a lot of races in Grand Blue that have horns. Yeah. So there's the uh, the 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 sheep girl. There's this lady who I'm assuming is uh, a dragon lady or something like that. A demon lady. Normaya. Is one or the other? There's a, I think there's a cow lady too. I want to say. I don't think she's playing one of the game, but she might be one of the NPCs what? you run into. There's a, is she busty then? Is she the cow lady? There's a sheep lady she... that's super busty. Well, all the girls in this game are freaking busty. Oh, no busty. doubt. Except for like the, the main girl. The, yeah, Lyria. The, 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 the girl in blue, the one that has Lyria. Lyria. That's her yeah, name. Lyria. Gotcha. Yeah, it's Lyria. I mean, she's like, she's supposed to be like 14, so. Oh, well, yeah. there you go. There you go. Done. Hey, we've seen 14-year-olds have, uh... Be careful what you say now. Oh, I, 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 seen, I saw that when I was 14, yes. I, 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 there was a girl I, was I knew s that was, uh... Until, en until was Enron, like, uh... Until Enron, uh, d uh... Interrupted me. I was gonna say, we've seen 14-year-olds in anime. Oh, yeah. Have have those, uh... Thousand percent. Asset, so, <laughs> so not, nothing new. Or right, was it the joke in Broken Blade? There was a really young girl that had the, those really busty, but then there was an older woman. Yeah, that really, that what's like, her name? Like she's like 10 years old. No, there's the, um, it was like the, uh, okay. she was like the, she was like the ace pilot of like the other, the no, other kingdom no, or whatever. Yeah. And yeah, they, the, yeah, and the they, cat, yeah. she gets captured. Um, yeah, puberty hit her she's like, like a, a son. she's like a 13 year old that looks like she's 30 or some shit. Stop. Yeah, I remember oh, that. I remember that. Busty. Yeah. That was a plot point in Breakblade. Just the titties just just came in the season. A broken blade well, or whatever. Other, yep. Well, well, her same side. There, there was this uh, psychotic woman that you know, kills people with pile with like giant claws. Yeah. Uh, she she looks like you're know, like a, a twelve year old. You know, she's like thirty like thirty years old. So. I didn't get. I don't think I got that far in Breakblade. So 
I must uh, she's like it. a she's just a psychopath. So. These, these motherfuckers know what they're doing. The psychopath in this game also has sizable uh. Size oh, the Yandere oh. chick or whatever. Yeah, What's her one, name? The one that's in love with uh the the yeah. the fencing woman. Um, yeah. The one I have as my coach. I forget it. Uh, freaking. The hell's her name? I forget. Uh, Va Viria, Vira, Vira. Vi Viera, I think it's Viera. Yeah, she's yeah. She's, it's crazy, man. And she's in the anime. I'll, she shows up. She shows up in the I'll, anime. I'll find that one when I play the game. So it'll be my first introduction to Frank. And I know nothing else about these. Right I like. I like Zeta. Zeta is my favorite. Yeah, like, Zeta, I, lo I love Zeta. I love uh, Zo Zoe. Um, everybody, everybody likes Zoe. Yeah, Zoe. Zoe's based on the Zeta Gundam, apparently. Like her design is, is somewhat inspired by the Zeta Gundam. Yeah, Zoe specifically. Yeah, you figured <laughs> it'd be Zeta, but it's Zoe. That's crazy. <laughs> Show immediately hates her. I'm sure now that he know he's learned that Zoe, who the fuck is Zoe? Fuck Zoe. Zoe and fuck the Zeta gun. She got that pacifier <laughs> in her mouth. Oh, let's go. Keep her popping, y'all. Get off of me, man. Why y'all attacking me, man? I didn't do nothing to y'all. Ooh. Awesome. Oh yeah. Keep it poppin'. Stay the fuck away from me, assholes. Get in there, baby. I'm gonna be punching you all. No! That's right, get shot! Get shot, motherfuckers! Oh my god! Uh, no. <laughs> no, I'm getting there. I'm qualifying you, motherfuckers. Checkpoint, motherfuckers. No, get off of me! I'm punching you! Punching your ass! Get away from me! <laughs> no! No, I'm not falling, assholes. Fuck y'all. Stay fucked. I'm waiting for this to go up. There you go. Oh! oh. That's right. Punch! Punch! Get out of here! No! <laughs> oh, God. Punching you, motherfuckers. Oh, no, I lost my sound. God damn it. No! Get on! Get over. Yeah, 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 yeah! No! I'm not fucking getting disqualified. Fucking blew off. No, Get getting, over it. Get off. I'm chucking. I'm chucking you motherfuckers. Yo, I got guns. I got guns. No, no! Fuck you! Shit! Am I gonna be last? No! Oh. Damn it, I was cooking. I was cooking. You were, you were for a while. I was cooking, no question. Fuck you. Fuck. Get the fuck away from me, you asswipe. No. If I'm last, I'm gonna be so mad. I'm nine. I'm, I'm gonna be ten. Get, get going. Don't you disappear on me. No, no, no. Get up. No, what? What the fuck just happened? That sucks. Can you fucking believe this? And my sound went out. Yo, fuck you. Fuck you, game. Now I gotta sit and watch Rage, uh, fucking Horde mode, man. I was cooking in Horde mode last time I got there. Boo. Boo. I'm so mad. I'm not. No. Mm. No man, I can't go out like this. One more time, one more time. I was I was doing so good, and then assholes. <laughs> Fuck! Hurry up, game. Come on, load. Can I just leave? Withdraw. You don't want me to sit here and watch this. No, I got some. I got some. Did uh, you enjoy? Did you enjoy yourself? No, I didn't. I didn't. I would have if I had beat the if stage. But fuck doing, you. It's worth doing well. What are you guys gonna have to get for food on, on your birthday? How do you get celebrate? We'll probably have pizza or something. I know my wife's making my cake. But, get a calzone. Uh, she, I actually had a calzone the other day. It was fucking great. Get one for your birthday. Yeah. Oh, she, birthday calzone, baby. Let's see if yeah. I can. But, so Sho can yell at you. Oh, yeah, Sho, he hates, he hates calzones. <laughs> he thinks it's selfish. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly why I say it, because I remember that. Yes! It's a personal pizza. It's like a personal it's, pan pizza it's, folded on it in on itself with feta cheese in it. It's fucking delicious. It's as good for the culture as we are. Oh, I will. I fucking, you get I your will. own. You, you can just get your own calzone and it won't be selfish anymore, yeah, right? He don't, he don't like feta cheese, I'm assuming. <laughs> I'm assuming yeah. there's something I, about I'm not, I'm not feta cheese guy. So I'm a feta cheese I'm guy. Not, I'm, I'm, a not, I'm not feta cheese guy. I'm a stand for that shit. Let's go. Damn, I'm so hungry right now, man. You have no idea. I've been starving the last... Last three fucking hours. I'm gonna go right to bed. I'm not eating shit. I I I I've, I've just been eating one meal a day, so I hope to lose some more weight. I've lost like thirty pounds since. Hey, dude, the congratulations! Yo, and, oh, oh, wait. Fred, Fred is making strides. Saw him post his pictures online. Yo, man, good stuff, man. Health is so important. 
it's so fucking important, man. Don't don't let nobody tell you about body. I mean, body positivity is cool. I don't, I'm not one to make fun of someone because of their body, but I ain't one to fucking. I'm not one to um, engage in someone's delusion about themselves either. It's like, look, you're out of shape. The best thing you do is get in shape. So yo, you'll still yo still have some of those days. What's that thing from uh, Parks and Rec? Treat yourself. You know, you guys, every once in a while, good, you know, yeah. get, enjoy your life. So. Just don't, just, just don't be like me and neglect it to the point where you work yourself into heart problems, yeah, like yeah. I have. Yeah. So. I have a. Uh, That's what problem. you want to do. Oh no! I have sleep apnea. Yeah, so. What can turn into this fucking thing? Yo, look, man. Yo, fuck you all. All right, so bro, so I have a lasagna recipe I use, uh, which apparently is heresy because I did not know this is weird. So, uh, so rather than using, uh, what's the type of cheese you use to put a lasagna again? Oh, ricotta. Fuck. Ricotta. ricotta. Yeah. I don't, I, I don't use ricotta cheese. I, 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 I use Alfredo sauce. Yeah, my wife doesn't use ricotta either. She, she hates ricotta, so she put, she put something else in there. I forget what it is. Look, I'm so I'm, sick of y'all. No. I don't know where my mom got that recipe from to put Alfredo sauce, but it, it works. Oh my mm -hmm. god, just make it. I'm not even Italian and I'm offended. <laughs> oh, I smell definitely offended. I'm, I'm <laughs> doing, I'm, I'm pinching my fingers at the computer screen as we speak. But What's the matter with it, you? Know, I don't know if it's good or not. What's the matter with yous? <laughs> <laughs> What's, the, What's the matter with yous? That's my attempt at an Italian accent. Italian American accent. Oh no! How do you get so far? Hey my, my, hey, my name is Guido for a reason. Whoa now! Oh shit! No! Sorry. That oh. might be a slur. <laughs> Not 100 no. sure, but I don't know. Oh. Damn it! Oh, pop culture. Uh. Like actual... No! Oh, it's just, that's one of the weird ones. Oh but... my god! We gotta come last place again. Uh. It falls in that you know white people slur category. You're not, it's not. You're not entirely sure if it's actually frowned upon or not, but it's probably best to avoid it. Got it. Get up the stairs, you asshole! Get in! Oh. Yes! Yeah, you made it. Fucking made it. Calzones are just like pizza, but harder to eat. They're stupid. You're really. <laughs> You're stupid. <laughs> God damn it, Sean. Yeah. Give, give, give me a sports point. Let's see, yo, Ann says, every time I get a, a calzone, I forget they have feta cheese. I just <laughs> use the regular calzone. I've never seen a feta time. cheese one, but I'm guessing those those do exist, I guess, but I've never seen a feta cheese calzone. Oh, you can you can get skins from other side games properties in this game? Because that's, want... that's, 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 that's okay. a Musume right there. Oh, shit. Well... There you go. I guess you're gonna watch it. I was gonna say, yeah, it looks like Uma Musume character. So. It is. It is new Musume character. Wow. Yeah, I, don't, she's I don't. Running has a. Yeah, so. I don't know what. I don't know which one because I don't watch that shit. But I didn't recognize that character. Go to the next stage. This guy quit, man. I know horse shit about it. This guy quit. Oh. We did it. <laughs> oh, let's get it. All right. Top of horde mode. Tell only just a pizza that where it's okay to use a fork and knife. <laughs> Boo. All I know is I made it in before the last person, so that's that's my shit. <clears throat> oh, we're shoot I've I've had I've I've had some burgers, you know, like you know, like fill the you know, chili and everything. That's you have to eat with the fork and knife. It's like so messy, but that's different than so. so. That's why my pet peeves is messy hamburgers. Engage. Like if, nah, your if your hamburger, if your hamburger, if your hamburger requires you to eat it like it was an open sandwich or whatever, like it, it's not a hamburger. What if it's it was just true. so fucking big that it's like you gotta eat it that way? If I can't hold it with two oh, hands, I was gonna say, yeah, uh, have fun, want. have fun unhinging your jaw trying to eat it too. If it's that big, <laughs> like the fucking giant burger in a uh, free run. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Big Borg. Was it uh, I Chill Twenty One? The dude had like what twenty patties in there. <laughs> Removed the bun, just ate the patties on so I'm lighting it up. Oh no! Oh, so this game, this game turns into no! this game turns into Vampire Survivors. Yeah, it looks like it. I got eliminated, man. What the fuck? Get good. Get good. Why do those things <laughs> look like those blocks from from Super Mario? What are those things called? Oh, the swamps. Uh, the swamps. Swamps. Yeah. Older yeah. dudes. 
think these just yeah, these just golems. Yeah. Like I said, Nintendo can make a <laughs> Mario version to replace with Mario it? IP characters. Oh, the birds. This is what how far I got the last time when I actually got to the stage. But I got a different gun this time. I, I like the one that you can like spread shot and then uh, give me a laser one. Redshot was always the best gun in Contra. Yeah, it sure was. Uh, Redshot, yeah. And, uh, yeah, I wonder how that new that new Contra game is going to be decent or not, because it's made by Wave Forward, which have a... Probably. Application. Yeah, probably not. Contra hasn't been good in a yeah, while. The last, well, I know, that's why I said... The last the game, so. Contra, hasn't, Contra hasn't been good in a while. It's kind of, kind of sad, actually. Oh. That one that was on DS was so much fun, that new one, that, that first new one that came Contra out on DS. 4? Yeah, well, I forget which one not it is, but when that I first when that shit first when that shit first came out on DS, I bought a DS just to play that. And it was super awesome. Mm. And you regret this for some reason. I kept thinking that Alien in game for Aliens alien game for the DS. I thought maybe by the same developer or somebody, but I wasn't. Uh, yeah, I don't remember. I don't remember shit about DS anymore. That was like 15 years ago, 16 years ago. Many years ago, it'll be 20 years ago. Uh, in 2004, I want to say. I still have the DS games. That are oh, still good edition and everything. <laughs> so. I still have. I still have my. Uh, I, I don't have any. D I, I have like. Well, I think I do have like two, two or three DS games I saved. And I have like five or six 3DS games that I kept. Um, I think I, I don't have rare. Got, rid of, got rid of all of mine. I don't. I don't have a 3D. I don't have it. I don't have a 3DS anymore, but I still have. I kept these games just in case I ever got another one just for the hell of it. Like, it's all the Ace Combat There's games that are on... Have... Oh, sorry. No, 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 no. Nah, you go ahead. I'm... Oh, I talked to you already. Yeah, the... the rarest game I have for the DS is Dragon Quest V, which is... Very hard to find, anyways. That's what I'm here. Oh, I think my wife has it, too. It's still the best game to practice. Oh, yeah, you can get it for the mobile for the day, but the only game console you can, you can play it on is the DS. Yeah, That's just, you know, not the original. She, she still has a DS, and she has a couple, um... She has a couple of Dragon Quest games for it, I believe. We were just talking about it yesterday. So four four, two, through, three four through six to the degree, so it's on the DS. I think she actually has all of them. because I, I, I had nine. Got them. I had nine. I either got them for her for Christmas when I worked at uh, Cybertron or when I worked at um, uh, uh, EB. Oh, sorry, uh, GameStop. Yep. Oh, did I you worked at GameStop or? briefly, like in the last ten years. No, when when show worked there, I wor worked there part time a little bit at his store. Oh, uh, many years, many moons ago. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're talking about like uh, the two thousands. Yeah, that's a long time ago, man. Yep. Don't fall off. Do I get the player? No, I'm spectating. I'm out. <clears throat> friend of mine, a good friend of mine from high school, ended up working for GameStop corporate because he uh he worked at the Ga GameStop in Athens, Georgia. At the university, like the one that's at the mall here at the University of Georgia for like five years. Mm -hmm. And then he just went straight into corporate after he graduated. Oh! No, GameStop is it's, it's such a bad place to work. It was a fuck company, dude. Yeah, it sure was. Yeah. It's so sleepy. <laughs> they still remember the, the best story I have for, for GameStop. <laughs> I think I, I've told it multiple oh. times. I don't like. I don't, I'm not gonna miss GameStop when they die. Like I know a lot of people are gonna lose lose jobs and whatnot, but man, that's a shitty job. You probably need a better job, anyways. Yeah, man. Uh, most of people, quit, most of people quit, not too much people left at GameStop anyway. So, but yeah, what a horrible company. And like, I will not miss them. Like I, I, I haven't set, I haven't set foot in the GameStop in like three years, four years probably at this point. Ever since used well, GameStop being a thing, like I have no reason to go into a GameStop anymore. I don't have any reason to go to a Best Buy or a Target. The game's actually just even joke. It's been a while since I've been. That's the one thing I, we haven't mentioned tonight is Best Buy discontinuing um, physical media sales, mm -hmm. at least for DVDs or Blu-rays. People are all upset about that, but man, okay. when was the last time you actually went into Best Buy and bought a Blu-ray? Like it's got to be years. It's no. actually more pertinent now though than before. Because we're coming to realize that these streaming services are taking people, take, taking shows off. Things down. And on yeah. top of that, that shit that went, happened on Sony PlayStation and with Warner Brothers uh, Discovery, where they were taking shit off and not wanting to um, reimburse the people that they took it from or make it still available for people who bought it. I was like, mm -hmm. well, you, you guys are kind of showing us that buying shit digitally is not worth it because we can't keep it. So what's the point of us doing it? So you, you want to take, take those shows away? I don't care if it's fucking 
my 900 pound life i don't give a fuck if yeah. i bought it it's mine and if there's terms for me buying it i'm sure it's in the 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 whatever that fucking legal eula. Is that, eula. the eula, eula yeah I'm sure it's there but you're not giving me any confidence that if I buy a movie I really enjoy, that I get to keep it. Which is why I agree with a lot of people, including my man uh, Lewis Rossman on YouTube, talking about piracy is is the way to go. You can get better yeah. copies of shit through piracy than you can watching it. Like, if you have 4K on Netflix, there's no guarantee you're going to get it. You have to watch it in a very specific way uh, on, on, uh, on your computer versus the app, because the app will downsample it, even if you have a 4K fucking account. So you don't even get true 4K on um, on Netflix half the time. So you you better off going to fucking uh, a pirate website, downloading that same movie in 4K, oh, yeah. and watching that shit. And and that to me is like, well, what's the point of subscribing to these fucking services? Um, mm -hmm. It's just it's it sucks. <laughs> I, there, there are a lot of people who are like they, their instant reaction to Best Buy discontinuing selling that thing is like there's a lot of people who started posting well i'm never shopping at best buy ever again you know you've lost shit. my business whatever shit like that holding it against best buy but man Yo, when, it, when physical it, physical media takes up space right it takes up inventory space and it's a liability on your books yeah, those at the end of the year if it's not selling then i don't i can't really blame them for discontinuing it you know hey those motherfuckers are lying because if they need if they need some kind of appliance down the road they're gonna go right to best buy and get the fucking best the best I know. Credit I know. Rate, uh, the best yeah. um, fucking interest rate and fucking buy a new washing machine. Yep. You know, that's the last time we really shot the Best Buy. We got fucking, we we got uh, appliances. So the, the because Sears appliances. doesn't exist anymore, you can't go to a yes. Sears to buy appliances. So yeah, you're your exactly. only your only place to buy that kind of shit is Best Buy now. Yeah, Best Buy or some other fucking or oh, Amazon. Home Depot or Lowe's. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean, we got a, we got a Best Buy card just sitting collecting dust. So when we needed a new stove, because I broke the fucking glass on the last one. <laughs> How did you do that? I, I, I fucking I, le I I leaned on the glass on the stove just a little bit, and it must have hit like a sweet spot, because uh, I and was it and it sh fucking spider webbed, and it's like oh my god, we've had this for like ten years, and I've I've done this before, and it's not happened. I thought this shit was oh man, like gorilla glass, and it's like uh, only for a while, <laughs> only for a while. You know what? Built-in obsolescence. You know, yeah, that was a couple of years ago that I did uh, that. But go ahead, Yazi, what was that? Uh, uh, actually, now you bring that up, but I told this show and yeah, because I was playing Payday Three with them uh, like, uh, like a like a few like two months ago. Um, I went downstairs, you know, like, I was eating some food. I was you know gonna grab you know something on the side or something, and my parents did not tell me that the floor was wet. So I tried to grab it. I slipped on the floor. I tried to grab the table. I jumped in the air. I tried to grab the table. It was a marble table. My elbow hit it. I smashed that part of the table and. Landed on my back really hard on the mm -hmm. bare floor, and that marble, which is extremely heavy, almost fell on my back. And I barely avoided it, so I, I avoided getting injuries or something. But that table broke, and the the what's it called? The middle core part it was breaking apart too. We'd had that table for at least a good fifteen years. And it was extremely expensive. I'm sorry to hear. I felt extremely bad. Yeah, yeah. no, no it's, we we got a new table for like you know, Couple of hundred dollars, which was not too bad, all to consider. Because, but I, I'm surprised I survived that shit. Because I would, I thought I would have broken my back if I, the way I landed. So marble tables suck, man. Marble should not be a should not be a material that you make a table out of. Yeah, countertop, true. sure. Countertop, sure. Yeah. Table, no. Because it's a fixture. <laughs> yeah, because countertops a fixture, so it's not that it's yeah. as dangerous. But yeah, uh, fucking marble not table. Tip over, but unfortunately, the way the way my elbow hit, I don't know what the I don't know how it would happen if I hit some kind of like you know. Like, uh, fits a North Star side, like, you know, like, <laughs> or something on there, but oh, Jesus. I don't know, like, the way my elbow hit it just broke it apart or something. I don't know how the fuck that happened, but wow. Why did you at the, 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 the table, Yazi? <laughs> no, that, that, that would have been me screaming in pain after falling on the ground, so I don't know how my <laughs> elbow tried to hit it, tried to grab a hold of something, and so I end up snapping it, the corner piece off it and taking like half the lower beast with it. Just. Man. Yo, shout out to Rob Adler, man. Uh, HP, EB Games Horror Story. story. I once oh, pre-ordered yeah. Steel Battalion, and the SOB had it at the store. Called me to get it, and then sold the damn thing to the first fucker to walk in the door. Yo, that's some fuck shit, for real. I had money down on it, too. How in the fuck did they let that happen? That thing was like $200, too. Dude, like, it wasn't cheap. How, how did someone just walk in, ask for Steel Battalion of all motherfucking games? Was it new, or was it like mad... Uh, was it like uh, a used, a used copy that um 
had been sitting for a while. That's so fucked up. Maybe they. It's like mm -hmm. it's not like he was insinuating it was a pre-order. That's insane. Oh yeah, he pre-ordered it. There you go. Yeah, pre-ordered Steel Battalion. And that's so fucked up. That's such a hard game to get, even when it was new. I know. That's, that's crazy, dude. Fucked up. When I picked mine up, like the store only had got two of them. So I remember I asked him like, "How many of you guys? These things did you get? Did you get in?" And the guy was like, two. <laughs> that's it. Jesus yeah. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh my God. Hilarious. Let me see here. Yeah. I wish oh. I'd have kept. I wish I'd have kept that thing and didn't sell it. Like I, I sold it after I got done playing it, and like, I kind of wish I'd have kept it. Although I wouldn't have had space for it. Yeah, but. it's it's a bit, a bit of a clunky clunky boy right there. Uh, the need, yeah, the understatement. Yeah, I remember we had one at uh, Cybertron for a while, and uh, mm -hmm. oh no, I always picked the wrong one. God damn it! Let's try this too. As a note, to talk about this whole like physical media and piracy stuff, like. Um, yeah. I, I talked about this like I think last week where basically some we were talking about USB splitters right and we were talking about uh, the uh, Elmero's dad's uh, Gundam component <laughs> the literal piece of junk the piece of junk man to copyright because yeah, of the trademark <laughs> we also have that sound clip in uh, in the in the, uh, the oh yeah Discord. I remember you played it for me this shit is great <laughs> and we have and we, and we have two different emotes one's a junk it's literally called junk, junk in our discord of course and the other is upgrade <laughs> <laughs> and it's and they're two different pictures hey man the magnetic coding <laughs> but realistically but getting back i was talking about like how this guy on reddit mm -hmm. he basically had like a networked his entire house and ripped his entire ripped like a bunch of dvds and blu-rays and created his own streaming service within his own house essentially God. really so so basically he got like uh, those big like uh just hard drive uh components where you just put hard drives in and they compilate basically the computer create one like super s server he had like 18 terabytes or something like that oh wow so, and so he ripped everything he possibly could get or in everything he had and just put it on there and basically created his own personal streaming service within his own home. Are you ready for the post apocalypse? I thought you, uh, <laughs> I thought you said you had it on cloud rather than actual like uh But the cloud still has to go to a server. Yeah, yeah it does. So oh, okay, I see what you mean. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so he basically yes, he killed he built a cloud essentially where he can connect to it through wire and Wi Fi and stuff like that. So that's basically the same thing that I'm describing. And I'm like shit, yeah, I wish I could fiber. Do that. Fiber too, probably. He didn't. Need, he didn't like network it to like the internet or something like that. It's just something he can access no matter where he is in the in this house. A lot of boxes there, soul bro. It sure is. It's too many. It looks like my living room. Be, to be quite honest, my living room is, is a disaster of cardboard boxes right now. It's the fucking. It's the the downside of ordering from Amazon. Besides the slave labor. Um. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I need to break these mm. down. My wife and I have to break down boxes all the fucking time. It sucks. But uh, it would knock these out. But yeah. Oh, you know, uh, SPT laser uh, Blu-ray finally shipped out if you ordered it, so bro. So. Oh, I didn't get the chance to. I need to order it though. But first, I need to order this fucking mix. So uh, I'm gonna hold off on that. I gotta yeah, talk yeah. to the wife first about that. But we'll see what happens. But uh. No, it's not going to. I just want to point out if you pre-ordered it. So. That's what's up. Uh, I, I, if anything, uh, let me know when you get yours. If anything. But um. Yeah, yeah. It was supposed to. Sh it was supposed to come out on a twice on. I ran it to Christmas for some weird release date. They only started shipping yesterday. yesterday. Oh, shit. So they took that long Part of me for wonders if they just said, Part of me wonders if they just said that just so, like, they would give, like, okay, this is when we're going to start doing it. Right. But Good God only knows. I know, I know a lot of people are, yeah, are very upset right now, and I'm, I can't even really fault them just because they've been waiting for so long. Yeah. All right, I'm going, is, to, I'm going to bed. I'll see you guys later. All right, man. Take yeah. it easy. Speaking yeah, of we're going to go anyway. Past so. four. Guys, man, thanks for joining me on this one, man. Shout out to Luke from earlier. Everybody who's in the chat, wanna... show Ed. Uh, Ed wrote, um, I've seen here, um, uh, maybe the exact, uh, no, he was writing something about, uh, oh, it's, uh, my GameStop sold my pre order at the midnight release. It was MVC3. God damn. Yo, you do not need to order a mixer. Oh, Oh, Ed, you sure about that, Ed? Oh, Ed. Ed, that is so generous of... Man. Man, Ed, thank you, dude. 
for real. That that's that is um that that, that touches me, man. You 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 helped to replace this old this old goat right here. Damn it! Thank you, thank you very much. Um, thank you, Ed. Uh, if anything, that that's above and beyond, man, and I appreciate it. Not that's what you sent me, so that's what I'm getting on Wednesday. Man, thanks. That that puts my mind at ease, especially with uh having to do Gundam in a few weeks. Man, thank you. That that's that's so cool. The rock, Ed. Man, like you, do. you do. You do. Props to Ed the Crimson, man. Follow him on Twitter at Ed the Crimson, mm -hmm. by the way. SBO never look. D you know what's funny, show? People order shit in my wish list and it won't disappear. Like I've had people order shit, it does not go away. Let's take a look. Okay, uh, let me refresh it. Okay, cool. It's still there. See? I don't know why that happens. Maybe there's an option I need to select where it gets rid of it. Yo, Chun Tian, you. I clap for it. Thank you, thank you, Chun Tian. Man, good shit. If there is an option to, uh, to make it so that if anything's picked up, to make it go away, that is fantastic. I'm gonna just take it off. I think uh, honestly, it, there isn't because yeah. I've had the same issue too. Yeah. So. Like my wife bought, um, ordered my Bumblebee, and she noticed it was still on the list. She said, "Take that Bumblebee off the list because uh, I already ordered it for you." It's like really? It, I thought it went away for like anybody else. Like I thought the gimmick was if it was somebody else who orders it for you when they look at your list it's gone uh or if it, the things that have already been bought for me are gone for the list but he said uh gotta show love for the homies amazon will let me use the gift registry for the mixer oh shit that's the reason why I did. okay cool well i'm glad it took it off and thank you very much ed you rock dude for real man god damn Mm, I, I don't see Street Fighter 2 V on here, so bro, oh, I know, what, right? what's up with you? Why what you added to a wish list? What, what a shame! What a shame! It'll, it'll have to go wanting. <laughs> <laughs> if I get that, you're not Street Fighter fan, so if, bro, if I, don't have that on your if list. If I get that before the fucking Star Trek Prodigy season, season one part two, <laughs> I'm gonna be upset. <laughs> oh, you bought me this, huh? You bought me this shit. <laughs> I'll tell you what, though, that show had some really well animated fights like the, the the animation team behind that show street fighter 2v no fucking joke i see people put up highlights of fights in that show all the time and they must have like really like um rotoscoped a lot of martial artists but speaking of which before i go let me pull in this fucking trailer that i just saw of a game that's been in fucking development for like two three years already it's based on the anime give me a second i'm gonna find it um what's it called fuck uh, it's about. Uh, hang on, I, I I know how to find it. Bruce Lee. Uh, game trailer. But it's not really about Bruce. Okay, it's called uh The Outcast is the anime slash manga whatever. And um, the cool thing about this trailer is it has Bruce Lee narrating. Um, talking about his, uh, sampling from his interview from years ago. Let me see. I'll put it over here. This trailer looks amazing, and the game looks pretty cool. Um, that's the wrong one. All right, cool. For those who are looking for the trailer or want to watch with me, you're more than welcome to. I'm gonna put the link in the in the chat, and um, you'll be able to see it on stream. For those who are in the chat, would be here on on um, Discord. Discord. Yeah, you'll be able to see it. So let me see. Here. Control V. Can I? Okay, there we go. That's the one. Or if you just want to look at it yourself. Your aunt said I had to do it myself. <laughs> so you had to, you had to bring it up manually and put it in there, man. <clears throat> well, you got it done. That's all I know. All right, cool. Let me pull it up over here. He bought you the he bought you the uh, the turntable, right? No, the like mixer, the, the mixer. Uh, the, uh, my uh, my replacement mixer. Oh, uh, from my oh the, one that... the Behringer that's mixer. Really... Yeah, that I use. That's still really nice. Yeah, it's super nice, man. That, that's all. Oh, it's two hundred something odd dollars, man. It's it's super expensive and this is the wrong fucking page let me go back okay i got this i got this let me go here i got this go here will you please load no you're not gonna load well fuck you <laughs> all right so let me go back here all right cool it's gonna bring up that bullshit let's change this god i made this so difficult for myself because i didn't fucking set my i didn't set my shit before getting on all right it's either i want to say it's display three Yes, okay, cool. So we got it. I'm bringing it up full screen. Turn on this music. All right, this trailer looks pretty cool, man. I am at zero. And on what? You can unpause on one. Here we go. Three, two, one. 
Good damn brought to you by it. What is the oh, highest yeah. technique you want to achieve? There is no Man, technique. motherfucking intro. <laughs> yes. What are you thinking when facing your opponent? <laughs> I gotta find Shout that. Out to you. And there is Shout no out opponent. to you if you remember that one. Yeah, Why yeah, is I that? I definitely do. Because I do not exist. A good martial artist never becomes tense. Without thinking yet, without dreaming. Gong Fu, the best example would be a glass of water. Every Gong Fu man is trying to do that. To be soft like water and flexible and adapt itself to the opponent. <laughs> this is like the typical thing everybody always talks about when it comes to water. <laughs> Empty your mind. For some reason, I thought, I, thought, I thought it was like all to a like water. Not cross for two you put water into a yeah, cup. I, I, you know, I get vibes from that cup. one guy, yeah. You put water into a bottle, it style. becomes the bottom. You put it in the teapot, it becomes the teapot. The water can flow, or it can crash. Be water, my friend. Three houses. Cares of friends. This is an anime. I, I've got to hunt this anime down. Well, look. Joe said I had to end my stream with the song after I showed this little stream. Oh shit! Fucking nice. Ooh. This is another one where he's um the dude in the suspenders is being hunted by an assassin, and it's fucking that one's cool as hell too. I'll bring that up next. Ooh, watch this shit. Fucking rude. Well, Jeff, this is actually a funny thing I want to tell you. You must guys. liberate your uh, ambition. Be short, so. Right on, no worries. Not to think, to, to feel. feel. <laughs> Bruce is such a fucking personality, man. Yeah. Ruchuala,就别到了。我操！咱们跟着王道长的线索，说不定能查到他的东西。谁谁都消减利息了。It's <笑> That's a good question. Yeah, I'm curious what the developer is. I, I have, a, I, I get the feeling it might have been an indie game, but then it, um, it's, it's got ramped up as of recently. All right, let me find that other one. But what, what was the joke you had? Uh, uh, it's not a joke. Uh, so this is like Bruce Lee related. So you know, if it's a North Star, right? Mm -hmm. There's a comedy manga called Kenshiro ni Yoroshiku. Oh yeah. yeah so yeah. it's about a mat. Uh, you've, you heard of it? I've heard of it in passing, yes. But go ahead, go ahead. Continue. Okay, so, so the concept is, Fist of North Star. He a man learns the fighting style Fist of North Star because he wants to get revenge on Yakuza, but he it doesn't work out so well. He ends up being a skilled masseur, so he knows how to make, do massages. Yes, He's absolutely. North Star style. <laughs> I was gonna say I want to read this manga. It sounds too fucking funny. <laughs> Yeah, it sounds pretty cool, man. It's, I, I love these, like these, these, um, 
what's it uh these these mangas are coming out that are like adjacent to the fucking series that we love uh like uh the Haman one I need to get caught up on the Haman one by the way I haven't read it in a while I read like a bunch of chapters for that and then I fucking fell off but uh the Haman Khan uh office woman one was fucking hilarious I should I, I got catch up on that one that, that shit had, that shit had me wildin' oh my goodness uh all right, so the English name for this is called Send My Regards to Kenshiro. So you that's think what you it's can, called? It's tra- yes. Because <laughs> that's, 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 I mean, imagine the Japanese uh, translation, so oh, I'm going to start to read this one soon because it's too funny. Well, I'll have, have, have to hunt that down myself. All right, I got the other one up. If you guys uh, are want to watch along with me, you're more than welcome to. Um, uh, sure. It's, it's uh, six minutes, and uh, I'll count down on one. Here we go. Uh, you gonna pause on when I say one. Here we go. Three, two, one. Guessing this might be a Japanese made game, given the title, but I'm assuming it sounds like you're talking speaking Chinese. So I think the the setting of the game is in China, or at least in uh, some Chinese nation. You know, the, just the, just oh, the, the good reason I'm gonna say because they use the they use the kanji, actual Japanese kanji on the title screen. That is so. Yeah, true. But I could be wrong though, because it's all based up Chinese characters. So very well, very well could be right. Just gotta, I gotta do a little research. Hmm. Yeah, this this. Yeah. Yo, what the fuck? Yo, he's he's got the Kitsune eyes. Look at him. <laughs> Yo. Yo, he's right. airbending? My man. Yo, Rob says Ren is due. <laughs> yes! Oh, rent is due. Yo. Yeah, the rent is due because it's always paid in advance. <laughs> Yo, the rent is too damn high is what it is. Especially now. That's that is definitely uh true. God damn. Alright, here we go. You sure this is about Fist of the Blue Sky instead, so bro? Shit, I wish it was. This, this is some creepy shit coming out. Oh wow. This reminds me a little bit of uh of that one um Silent Hill uh, game with Norman Reedus. Project whatever the fuck it's called, I forget what. Oh, PT. PT. Yeah, that bitch is going. <laughs> oh, was, that the, was that not the, that new chick from Street Fighter Five with the creepy face and nails? Oh, you talking about uh fucking uh Aki. Aki, yeah. A little bit of Aki. Oh, she, she has the same. She's, I mean, different hair, but she's got the same similar build as her. Yeah. Uh, I think this video is actually not not recent. Oh, yeah. This came out months ago, if not a year ago. I'm not, I've got to look back at the date. Yeah, because it kind of looks like it has like a alpha build thing to it. Because yeah. I see a little few glitches, like that guy's on the, on the window and everything. So. Oh, that's true. Do these characters know the way of the bonobo, though? God damn! Oh man, backstep! He did that back there, the Korean back there. <laughs> Yo, let's go. I think yeah, this looks like it might be a Chinese made game. It's a I mean, the game is mobile, so I can definitely oh, tell. It, it is a mobile game, game, right? I heard about that. Yeah. Oh, you can, oh so. you can just you can tell by just looking at the at the, the menu. The, they got, the uh, I, they I, got I, I was right, kind of. They gotta put the shit on console eventually, man. Chunti and you says this is a Chinese web comic that's being animated by a Japanese studio. I found a, a clip oh, from the anime as well. But they'll probably give me a DNC warning, a, 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 a fucking uh, copyright fucking claim if I play it. But I'll put the link in the chat so you guys can check out the clip from the anime itself. But shout out to Chu Team. Okay, so it's kind of right. So it's made by it does be an because I'm looking at the visual. I'm like it's not Chinese made visuals right here. So okay, so that makes sense. So good shit. Fuck, up, fuck that motherfucker up. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> the show says they plan, they do plan on porting it to other consoles, it looks like, other formats. Oh, okay. Yeah. So that's awesome if that's the case. Yo, look at the movement. And there's more than one? Oh, shit. Shit. 
这样的凶手，若不是亲眼见到，还真不敢相信。But when did we make a game based off Kung Fu Hustle? Oh, that'd be so cool. I would love that part of the game. I don't know why they never made that back in the back when the movie came out. Woo! Because like we base IPs and games usually sucked. Still have some pretty bad reputation to stay. Oh, part. We wonder. Oh, yo, Rob says, walking up to the roof for the fight. Do you think they have to book their time on the roof to avoid everyone else? And then build this red fight? Ed says yes. <laughs> oh, she has a mega. She has Ooh. a gar uh, um, Yo, Garrus style machine gun arm. This motherfucker is not playing. Huh? Yo, that was gangster as hell. Oh, shit! Fuck. Yo, garlic? Yo, nice. Yo, my man. I could go for some ramen right the fuck now. Or eat. God, I'm so hungry. Oh my god. god why, why, why you make me watch this goddamn it? Fuck. Oh, who's the yeah, problem? Yeah. Problem is ramen. You're gonna get hungry again in no time, though. Oh, yeah, so true. That's true. the problem. Believe you. I put a lot of stuff in my ramen, so. If I can, if I can help it. I tried to make it filling, but. Oh, yo, the, the, the motion capture. Yo, nice. Speaking of which, you know how Ra did a lot of motion capture for the early Tekken games for oh, a number oh, of characters? Oh, he did? Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you're talking about it. He's like, yeah, I did a lot of motion capturing. I did the Kuma's voice in the early g games. Uh, he did the wedding poses and everything. Yo, and I'm like... Yo, man, Kuma can do electrics now, though. Kuma can do the, H e the EWGF. He learned the move, man. Oh, do you see Uma try to learn the the the, the, map, the map, the game input style? Like he's, Look, he's like, how the fuck? Yeah, I this saw that. It's like he's not gonna sugarcoat it. <laughs> he's not gonna sugarcoat no. it. He, he's got, only gonna honeycoat it. Yeah, yes, exactly. So here, here's a clip from the anime. <laughs> There's a clip from the anime right there. Uh, I don't know where you can watch it, but uh, I'm going to get the the clip for this real quick, so that way you guys. Tori no Shita. Let me look that up. Cool. In season three, damn, three years ago, yo, AMV. I'm not trying to look at AMV. So. Not, not for oh, it's on Crunchyroll. Hitori no Sh Sh Shita, the Outcast. It's all. It's already available officially. I believe I've not seen anything of this at all. Not even in a fucking meme clip. Nothing. God, I'm so uh, out of touch with you, anime. I'm uh, so mad. I'm out of touch with anime. I uh, view uh, Wikipedia is labeled under one person. Is it? Man. Yes. Let me see here. Yep, and the, the and Chinese slash anime TV adaptation Hitori Noshita the Outcast. So. Right, yeah, this is the yeah, this aired back in 2016, no, and the second season aired in 2018. So it's been out there for some time now. So that is crazy, dude. Crazy. God damn. All right, cool. And there's another fucking clip right here. I don't want to watch too much, but uh, that's the clip scene. If you guys want to check it out on your own time, more than welcome to. I'll mm -hmm. put the link in the chat for those. But yeah, man, uh, we we did it. We we got a stream on. And uh, props to everybody that came uh, for, out tonight. For, What's for that? a second, I, I was worried about the music video, music group Outcast me <laughs> in a game collaboration. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> it's, it's Sorry, I couldn't know. Terrible. That it's army of darkness. Weird picture, collaborate. Oh my god. Oh, what was that? No, I just think it was just weird as collaboration. I'm like, I don't want to see who I'll cast do that very game with collaboration. It's already bad enough when Neo Yokio exists. I don't want to see any other oh, shit like that. Fucking soon. gross. I'm not ooh. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Mine goes a lot of places. Oh, you bring out the worst in me, I swear to God. Yo, yo, Ed, you got me. He said, apparently I watched half of episode one according to Crunchyroll. That must have been years ago. Holy shit. You must have got you must have been like the beginning of uh, anime season. 
and you were like crunching a lot of shows and then you went back to like uh you, you probably hooked on a different one and forgot you started watching this that's crazy though but the best part is what he wrote here he said three stacks is gonna make some flute music for this game <laughs> If y'all don't know who Three Stacks is, <laughs> Three Stacks is Andre 3000. Um, it's, he recently just dropped an album, nothing but flute music, which is great. I, I, I've been listening to it once, and it's 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 a it's a fun listen. I gotta say, um, I'm happy for him. I'm happy he's trying new shit. I'm not mad he's not out there rapping right now. He'll 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 get back to rapping one day, but um, right now is not the time. But I, I I like the fact that he's been he's been getting his uh his recorder on, man. He's been doing it well. Three Stacks. <laughs> Uh, actually, speaking of which, I'm going to be the last thing for tonight, I promise. Uh, yeah, have you heard of a music group uh, album called Scaring the Hoes? Yes. Um, uh, uh, Danny Brown and um, El mm -hmm. I, I forget the name of the other cat, but um, he has uh, he has a lot of iconography for Capcom vs. SNK 2 as when they've been yes, on tour. so I show that. I, I died laughing. That with shit <laughs> kills me. I retweet it every time. There's a, there's, a, there's a video, you can find it, where they're on tour. And they're on stage, and they got the iconography up for Capcom vs. SK2, but they photoshopped themselves as Ryu and um, yes. Ryu, Ryu and Kyo. <laughs> and then some dude from the audience, they're on stage, some dude from the audience just hands them a copy of CVS2 on the PS2. And they take that shit, they're like, yeah, man. <laughs> oh, that's right. That shit slayed to me, me dude. Oh, my God. Hold and then on. they cover when you see the actual character from Street Fighter. Yes. In the, in the, on the bottom, but it's their faces on the side. It's I'm amazing. I'm laughing. It's called it's Scar not, This is the greatest out. It's Scaring the Hose. Scaring the Hose. There's the, there's the album cover, which has nothing of CBS2 on it, but it's a cool album cover. But hang on. Let me see here. Let me switch back over to where I was. I'll show you guys what the what the tour poster looks like. If you're familiar with Capcom vs. Oh, SK2. You will know this. I've shared that shit with Nick, and we'd laugh for like five minutes. <laughs> I shared it in my Facebook group, especially for when oh. I went to school in you know in, in Wayne Coffee, State, in Detroit. Yeah. We had, we, and I you know I, I hung out with all the uh, players down there, the uh, game players. They saw it like, yeah, this is our underground experience of playing video games. Oh my god. Okay, so here's here's a poster right here for it. Look at JPEG Mafia as Ryu and Danny Brown as Kyo, and then there's a fucking game <laughs> case. And then, where's the other one? This is another one I got. Oh, this shit right here. This must have been an early draw. This must have been an early, um, <laughs> early concept, but, uh... I did not see this one, but it's so dumb. This is the album cover right here. It's pretty cool. Yeah, but I like the game version better. Yeah, yeah, man. Fucking the, the tour. The tour shit is the best. Let me see if I can find that. They video. were here in, uh, Detroit, like, uh, I think, like, two months ago, so... They were in Orlando not too long ago, either. So, let's mm -hmm. see. Yeah, I, I heard the main track is actually not bad, so but just that poster mm -hmm. just sells me. Damn it. Mm -mm -mm -mm. The downside of rap. Oh, man. Damn it. This is this is a this is a cool video. I gotta pull it off my Twitter, but that video has that one dude in the audience just give him the give him his copy of Capcom vs. SK2. And he fucking he holds that shit up and then pockets it and it's like <laughs> <laughs> It's like, you gonna give it back to him? He just, he just gonna take it. <laughs> it's like fuck it. I guess he, back after it. I guess so. it was meant to be a gift. I guess it was meant to be a gift. But this dude just randomly gives it to him. And it's like, yo, that's the best. That's the best. It's like I've never seen an homage to that shit like uh, to, to that game like I have with this tour. It's it's so good. <laughs> Fucking grass. Yeah, it's, 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 it's like the one of the funniest things I've seen like all of, like yeah. around like. Fall last year, so sorry. Yeah, I, I just want to bring that up. No, I man, I'm glad you did. I'm glad you brought it up, man. Uh, I, I'm sorry. I, I, I showed it. I, I said my Facebook group, and all my friends from my Fuck, college it. days are like laughing our ass because like, oh, we play a lot of fighting games. They're the ones that introduced me to CVS. I was like playing it down in the gaming area with them. And it's like, yeah, this is uh, this is how it is back in D Town. So. <laughs> Let me see if we can find on Twitter real quick. S C A. Oh, that's the wrong keyboard. S A. God damn R I N G the hose C V S two. Let's see if anybody has it. Alright. <laughs> this poster is what ninety percent of you fuck boys in FGC do on a daily basis. God damn. <laughs> you goof up. This poster is lit on another note. Shout outs to the random <laughs> Yo, what? 
Oh my god. Does Majin Obama approve? That's what I want to know. Yeah. Majin Obama actually, yeah, he put a he he's the reason why I know of this. Because he had posted <laughs> it on his good. on his feed. And I was like, what the <laughs> fuck is this? Is that Danny Brown? <laughs> you know, like, that's what I fell down the rabbit hole, man. Shit was great. Oh my god. I just realized my whole CBS2 CBS2 team is on the scary the host poster. That's partial my team. The other character is Morgan. Or I sub Morgan out with uh King. Damn, where's that video, man? Oh man, I'm so mad. Yeah, I don't see I Google oh, it. I don't see it. There's an Escaplone sample on Scary in the Holes? And the CBS2? I gotta <laughs> listen to the album. I've been meaning to. I got I, I'm gonna I'm 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 listen to it tomorrow. I'm gonna listen to that shit tomorrow. I've been I, I've had it on my back burner for a while. But I haven't had the chance to listen to it yet, but I'm gonna listen to it. I like Danny Brown a lot. He's always funny when he's on the interview. He was on uh, Danny Brown was on um Double Toasted about a year ago. He was visiting fucking Houston, uh, dude, but he sat in on a double toasted session and it's like, yo, is that Danny? He said, he said record. <laughs> He's cool people, man. He's good shit. But uh so, so if you had your Photoshop skills, just put Martin and Corey and place them on three you. <laughs> Exactly. With Marvin with a hat on, because the way they did it, from the shit the Fucking toast. brilliant. Okay, they were here in August. Yes, and you said um, mm -hmm. your part is uh, Detroit, right? Or um, I know, it's in Michigan. Uh, yeah, that. they were in Detroit. Yeah, but I'm I'm, I'm, I'm I close to Detroit. But yeah, yeah, I think it was in October or November. They were in the yeah, area, so that, that's after this poster. So no worries. But yeah, I remember when they were coming here, man. I, I I dare you to find a better al album cover tribute to, than that. I, I dare you. I can't, you can't. It's it's wild, man. I, I I give him all the props in the world, man. But fellas, I'm gonna go ahead and dip out, man. Y'all have a good weekend. And uh, to those I'm uh, seeing tomorrow, man, I'm a look, I'm looking forward to it. But uh, fellas, I hope y'all have a good night and be safe and happy New Year to everybody. By the way. Uh, all right. Enjoy the rest of your birthday, so bro. Thank you so much, guys. It was a pleasure. It's a pleasure chilling with y'all right. on my birthday, man, for real. I'll catch y'all later. Peace. All right, have fun. Thanks. It's a piece of junk. That's right, it is. <laughs> <laughs> yo, good shit. Oh, yo. Yo, Ansys, thank you for the scream. Thank you for the mixer, sir. That's real talk, man. I appreciate you. For real. Man. All right. Oh, okay, here we go. On the GameCube disc. What is it? Capcom versus SK2 on the GameCube disc. Okay, screen the holes for those on gaming. Like, this is not. The, I thought this was the video. I guess it's not. God damn, I'm mad. All right, whatever. Regardless. <clears throat> All right, you guys have a good night, man. Thanks again for being a part of the action. I appreciate you guys. All these years, man. We've been streaming. I've been streaming. Uh, um, uh, we're not. At, I'm not a regular with streaming now, but I've been streaming off and on since 2013. I think I attempted to 2012. With my other capture device, the Hall Pog, that shit wasn't working. But we recorded with that and posted that Resident Evil video in 2012. But streaming live on Twitch and other venues, we've been streaming since 2013, and now it's 2014. So it's been over 10 years, man. It's kind of crazy. I still have the same capture card I used back then, and yeah, it's uh, it's it's been uh, it's, it's been it's been some time, man. I, I hope to stream a little bit more this year once I get done the things I need to get done. I hope to get on here so uh, I could get in, uh, get back into uh, the touch with you guys and all that stuff too. But uh, it's always a pleasure to know you guys and to, and to rock with y'all. And uh, it's an honor to be honest. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and set you guys free, man. I hope you all have a great weekend. And thanks again for being here for another session here on Fighters Ready, man. Take it easy. Thanks.
So it's been a lot of fun, but well, I guess that's all. No bitches around us, man. We, we stay bitchless, man. I wish I would evolve, Burton. I wish I would evolve, Burton. Where's my iconic slave role? Hey, motherfucker. I wish I would evolve, Burton. Fuck all y'all. Fuck all y'all. Want to be don't rainbow read me. <laughs> I wish I was Lance Reddick. Yeah. I wish I was Lance Reddick! I wish I was Lance motherfucking Reddick! Thanks, LeVar. LeVar. That's LeVar Burton. For real. That's him, baby. And that completes the meet. <laughs>